Hello, everybody, to the DNA show. We are here. We. I realized I wasn't sharing audio when I want to play. You know, why get demonetized anyhow? It's not worth it. But that was closing time. It was perfect for what we're doing today. So, you know, Dennis, you often tell me after every show we do on Wednesdays, I wish you would sing more. Your voice is like an angel. Well, my friend, because of that, closing time. Do, 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 do. Because I, I don't know any more of the words. Oh, I thought you said you should shower. <laughs> I, I guess I get those two confused. I should shower more. I should sing in the shower more. You know, whatever. You're so hurtful <laughs> sometimes. You know, you could you could you could say something nice to me every now and then. I did. I'll bring you over a bottle of polo and when I go Andy and you go you'll be like <sighs> polo. What do you you mean the disease? What are you talking about? No, Everybody that's polio. polio. Oh, I... well, you know what, Dennis? It's 2024. Bring over a little uh, can of Axe body spray. How about that? That's not so uh good, but I got. It. First up, First comment, first in the chat, uh, Mr. Hunt, because I'm formal and I, I want to call you Mr. Hunt. I don't want to say your first and last name because that would be disrespectful. Uh, if it's nice and tight, why does it require assistance closing? That's a very good question. Uh, Randy Howell, closing time, last chance to get loaded up. It sure is. And of course, Randy's posting tons of links. Thank you so much. This one's true. 125 from its final stretch goal. Oh, nice so and tight. Close. Let's do it. Uh, leg kick. Hello. How are you? JP Roca is in the house. Let's go. Uh, Billy Glassby, hail. Hail to you. Um, and there you go. Grifter says, hello. Hello to you as well. And uh, guys, so that is why we're here. Let's show this real quick. Uh, nice and tight comic book pencils by Andy Smith. That's me. Uh, finally closing down the campaign it's supposed to ship in may and by darn it by diggity do uh every campaign i've done uh we are shipping out on time and this is no exception so I'm, we're closing it and next week i will shoot it off to the printer so we can get it in your hands i spent this afternoon doing some bagging and boarding of armor x for the people that bought the armor x one through four set with the campaign and uh with that hey look at that look who's in the chat and look who's in the house it's grandma there he is hashtag wuh andy <laughs> that's right hashtag wuh i'll have to fill dennis in on what that means later yeah <laughs> uh, more acronyms i've got to know mm -hmm. that's right buddy you do you do so we're um, welcome nice to the tight huh excellent we are we are closing it down 125 away from nine grand. It's the little campaign that could, because honestly, when I launched this, you know, it's an art book of a different nature. It's not sketches and stuff like typical sketchbooks. It's mm -hmm. pencil full pages, each, you know, one penciled. Uh, well, there's the trading card, but, uh, you know, it's full pencils of some of my stuff, of course, without my name scrolled across every page. Uh, Dennis actually requested his copy to have my name across every page because he can't get enough. And I was like, well, I can't really print just one for you, big guy. So you're just going to have to take the normal one. Oh. Now, are, are some of these blue lines too? No, no, no. That's why there's a digital uh, tier. Um, oh, okay. So if you want to practice, you can print your own blue lines. You can pop it open and clip studio or Photoshop if you digitally ink that way. Um, or but procreate. the 9,000 stretch, what's that? <laughs> or procreate. Or procreate. That's true too. Procreate. Um, and you know, the, the 9,000 stretch goal is for the spiral bound because then you can really lay it flat for scanning and all that stuff. Oh, nice. You know, I mean, I know a, a staple book you can lay flat, but not as nice as a spiral bound. So, so that's what we're, uh, we're shooting for there. Cool. Um, and uh, yeah, I've I've got almost uh, I've got probably an hour or two left on compiling the book, and uh, and then it'll be print ready. I I've got the Art of Andy Smith, the sketchbook that I'm reprinting 
that was originally 64 pages and is now 84 with 20 pages of new stuff. Uh, I have that all ready to go to the printer. So uh, I worked on that last week and got that that sucker all set up, ready to go. So yeah, we are, uh, it's, it's just that time. It's closing time. So all good things. So there you go. Guys. That. That's right. All good things do. And you know, we need to uh, close it because in a few weeks, it's going to be core draft two launching and uh, we got to make way for that, which has, I don't. Did you see Bud Roots cover for this one yet, Graham? I can't remember. I don't think so. For, well, for the new one? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Share, share. Yeah, I will. Uh, it's right there. Um, it uh, is, of course, the lovely Adriana to match right up. If you want to put your books next to each other with the Lilaneth from the first campaign. That is so, sharp. Thank you. Yeah, Bud, uh, Bud hit a home run. I told him the, you know, it was, a, it was something Dennis and I were fulfilling books in December and we knew Bud was going to do another cover. We wanted him to. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we talked to him about it and we were trying to think of a cool idea. And I was actually, I think I was shipping out or fulfilling a Lilneth one. And I thought, oh my God, it would be so cool if you did Adriana and it matched up. So, right. you know, we talked it over with Bud. He liked the idea. And the only thing I really stressed was she's got to be a little bit taller because she's like five, six and Lil Neth is only like five, two, five, three. So he got that down. Yeah, he did. So, uh, and then Dan, you know, I felt bad for Dan in a way, because it would have been easier if this was planned a year ago when you're a year and a half when we did low enough because Dan could have been like, OK, so I've got to make the background be able to go all the way across. But it was not. Oh. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, Dan, uh, good news and bad news. Good news. Another bud cover. Nice single figure you can work on. Uh, bad news. I really need you to make that background continue across. And uh, oh, so Dan Lawless colored both these. Oh yep. yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was yeah, sure it up really nicely. Yeah. Yeah, that's sharp. So, so there it is. Um, oh, Brian Blevins in the chat. Uh, Dennis, if you want to send Brian the link, you can. Oh, I already did. He's sick, actually. Okay. And uh, see, he's hacking up a lung. So Brian, get better. But I did send him a link just in case he can pop on and and do the uh, and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, Brian, I'm very I'm very hurt. And don't worry, I will hold this against you when I uh, meet you in person because I think he's coming to South Carolina, isn't he? I think he, he's watching. He can type in yes or yeah, no. Brian, for that. are you going to SC Comic Con? That's just in a couple of weeks. Yeah. A lot of us going, so uh, you should. That's, That's right. Be a fun show. Graham, what's your first show for the year? Is it Garden State? It is. Uh, I'm not doing really any shows this this summer, uh, other than Garden State. Um, That's cool. Yeah, I, I just you know, I'm kind of tired of of doing them. Uh, they've become a lot of them have become these you know pop culture things, and um, I find them boring and a waste of time in in many cases. Uh, so I try to do just comic centric ones and, uh, and maybe some large ones that are, um, um, in destinations where my friends are at, you know, that's all. Uh, sure. So yeah, I'm cutting back because uh, I'm busy, you know, I've got different books. I got the next Joe Frankenstein, which oh, I'll be no. launching in another month. Um, I just got pages in from that from Anthony. Fuck. He's killing it. Oh, like, cool. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know he started drawing it already. Yeah. Yeah, we, I wanted to get oh. like uh, five to ten pages um, in the in the bag uh, for 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 building the campaign, so people could see yeah, what because yeah. they're used to seeing me draw it. You know, now they got to see Anthony draw yeah. it, and uh, it's uh, he's, the guy's amazing. It's so cool. Now is that now how does the writing work on Joe Frankenstein? Since that's a you and Chuck thing. Uh like, yeah, we uh, you just did or. No, we're working on it together. Um, yeah. uh, what I did was uh, I gave an outline of the story. Uh, then Chuck turned the outline into a plot. And then I enhanced the plot. 
and then um, Anthony's going to work off the plot. And when it comes back, I'll add the first round of dialogue to it. Chuck will take a look at it. He'll he'll tweak things, add his thing, and then I'll have the final say on the on the the um, the final package before it goes out. So it's kind of like a very back and forth organic thing that Chuck and I do. Now, when you say plot, I already know since you said add the dialogue, it's going to be, um, you know, it's not obviously full script. But is it panel breakdown plot or is it just like old school Marvel? Page one's a paragraph. Page two's a paragraph. You know what I mean? Well, it's and a little bit more than that. Down. Yeah, it's a little yeah. bit more than that. Uh, and there's there's indicated dialogue in there so that uh, right. emotions can be uh, yeah. you know shown, uh, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, oh, yeah very it's cool. Fun. It's fun having somebody yeah. else draw it too. You know, are you uh, without? You know, obviously, if you can't answer, go. I can't answer that. Okay. Um, I assume you'll be doing a cover for it. Or yes. No? Yes. yes, see, I will be. I'll, and then I'll do what about, okay, so you're doing, a, and then Anthony's doing a cover. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Cool. And, and I might it, get some other guys to do some covers too also. Right. Um, depends. Now, can you say who's coloring it or is that not? Anthony. Or you don't know Anthony yet. Anthony does, yeah, he does the oh. whole thing. He does a digital, oh. uh, he does it digitally. Um Okay. Yeah, so it's uh, he's you know he he did the cover uh, he did the variant cover for uh, Joe one and two, and uh, oh, his okay. colors on that were amazing. So okay, God, I, you know I'm just blank. So when he colors his own stuff, it still looks traditional, like black and white. You know, like ink art with color, or is it more paint? No, it's not. Or is quite, it both? It's sort of a hybrid. Uh, you know, it it, it looks uh, it doesn't look like like my stuff where, where it looks like it's inked and then colored his looks like um, it's sort of a hybrid between the two, like the blacks sometimes are gray lines, you know, and they, mm -hmm. uh, they flow mm -hmm. into color and stuff like that. Um, yeah. I, I think it looks really, really neat. It, you know, it's, it's stuff I can't do, you know, it's, sure. it's a style I can't do. I, I'm not that talented uh, digitally. Um, yeah. and, and I've got my own style, you know, that's me neither, yeah. <laughs> but that, it, that's why I color the homage and, covers. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's younger and, you know, he, he's up on the tech and, uh, and he's really good at it. So. Well, guess yeah, what? no, I hear you. Ooh. Oh, 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 like uh -oh. Shazam. And there he is. Mr. Brian. Back. <laughs> I thought we were going to see a Frankenstein movie there for a minute. Oh, I know. <laughs> so Blevins, you're a little under the weather, huh? Yeah, I have. I have a bad cough and a, a fever. So if you hear like it sounds like I'm in a wind tunnel, I got the fan blowing on me because I got like a just a hell of a fever trying to break it. Oh damn! But, is it uh, is it the Rona? No, no, it's not the Rona. It's the the just crud that's going around right now. Like uh, we yeah. had uh, had to had to go have a big. Um, at a town hall meeting about all the people that were looking at uh, running for city council again this year. Uh, I was already a city council member beforehand, before I ran for, for mayor. And uh, oh, wow. so I went and had this meeting with all them about me running again this year for for city council. And I think I picked it up there. Uh, what, um, wait, you ran, were you, I didn't, I'm sure we talked yeah, about this. I was, I yeah, were I was you a city, mayor. No, I was not mayor. I did not win win the mayorship. Uh, but a guy that that I know who, uh, I mean, did is doing a fantastic job. He he won. Like it was it was just we had to get the old guy out that was in there. He right. had no, uh, yeah, he had no drive. And then also, I'm getting ready to re reopen my game store, which is called the Game Store. It's going to be all digital online. Uh, Thegamestore.com. So. How oh, close are you to finishing? Uh, just the website, man. I, I um, we decided to go with Shopify because we're doing a deal where, um, you know, after after like the recession, everything happened. A lot of these distributors they raised their minimums for you to be able to even order from them. So I'm trying to create kind of like a gaming co-op where I'm the main person and I kind of like drizzle down the the you know, the discounts to the people underneath me for them adding on to my, like basically 
adding on to my purchasing power to give, you know, to get a better discount. And I trickled it down with them. So, um, so the, I found out that Shopify has an amazing back end in order to control all that. So I'm dealing with, dealing with Shopify, um, professionals to try to set up a really awesome website to kind of do that. Very cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Lots of stuff nice. going on. And then we just had a, had a pipe bust at the building and it ruined like $150,000 in inventory. So that's oh, good. really, yeah, that's always good. Insured. Wow. Of course, of course. Yeah. Wait, so where, wait, where do you keep all that stuff? It's all in a, we actually have a warehouse here in Jacksonville. Oh, okay. That all the stuff yeah, is yeah, kind yeah. of stored up in. Nice. So, um, so everything's kind of, kind of shoved up in that, but, um, yeah, like it, it knocked out uh, three of my arcade games too. It took out my my original Killer Instinct, my uh, original Ultimate Mortal Kombat three, and my original One Slot Neo Geo. Oh, Neo yeah, Geo. yeah, it's pretty bad. Does uh does insurance help with any of that stuff or what? Yeah, insurance covers all of it. But you can't really replace the games, or can you get them fixed? Or? Yeah, I can. I can replace the boards. I mean, that's what the boards were down the bottom and it came a little bit, it was really close to my Tron, but luckily it didn't get to the Tron. So. Well, know. you know, Brian, it's just Tron. Tron's the it, one that could have went. I, no, I got to be honest. Andy, Andy, it's not just Tron. <laughs> it's Graham. It's just Tron. Am I right? Or am I right? It's just Tron. Uh, as a Graham, don't tell me you were a Tron, Tron guy. You mean don't tell movie? me you were a Tron guy. No, the video yeah. game. But he's talking about the video game. Oh, I'm, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about the stand-up arcade machine. Yeah, yeah. that was an oh. awesome game. Yeah, from back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I used to have I used to have like 108 arcade machines, and I ended up selling them down, and I have like 14 left right now. So, well, mm. you, you, you had 108. A, a you yeah. yeah, I had I had my own arcade. Jeff, ask your own arcade that people came in and, you know, no, like I never, I never let people come in and play them. Like, I don't want them messing up my stuff. Sometimes <laughs> I had, I had a, I had a buddy of mine that I had a buddy of mine. Like, uh, I mean, his kids, they had a, they had a, they wanted to do a birthday. So I'd let them come do a birthday party at my place or whatever. But no, like, never, never would I let them, right. never would I let strangers come in and play with my stuff. Like, that's ridiculous. Right. Okay, now Brian, if I remember right, you're a single dude, right? Yes, I am. Never married. Never married. My my girlfriend died of lupus uh, a couple years ago. Okay. Oh, Jesus! Yeah. Terrible. Wow, Andy. Well, way to bring <laughs> this show down, Andy. That. I'm not making a joke about that, but I'm going no. to say, see, guys, when you're single, you can have 108 arcade games. When you're married with kids, your wife would never allow that. No, so, no. Uh, it so, I mean, says the man with 45 comic long boxes behind him. <laughs> for, I, no, I've got like 25 back there. And they're not in the house. Hmm. They're they're above the garage in my office. They, they right. would never be in the house again because she probably wouldn't allow it. But that's okay. <laughs> wow. So, and besides, Dennis has more than I do. So hey, it's not a contest, Andy. <clears throat> they uh, you know, when uh when Arcade One Up came out with these uh the Arcade One Up arcade machines, I thought a lot more people would be uh would be buying them to fill their houses with them, but I mean, they went pretty well in some markets, but not a lot of markets. But yeah, having arcade machines are pretty cool. But I mean, they're just kind of like a like when you're not playing them, and they're just sitting there, like yeah. not you know you don't want to turn them on because that wastes electricity and money. They just kind of look Take weird just standing up there next to each other. So. Just I gotta gotta ask Brian, do you happen to have a roller games pinball? <laughs> no, okay. no, I don't. <coughs> I don't have any any. Uh, well, first of all, I don't have any pinball machines at all. Um, I, I almost bought a Judge Dredd one not too long ago because that was like one of my favorite ones growing up. But no, I just have I have like um, I have an original Smash TV, uh, which is I'll buy that for a dollar. Uh, I have I have uh, Mortal Mortal Kombat one two three Killer Instinct one and two. Um, I have a Popeye. 
Uh, well, I have the, 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 the Marvel, reason I asked Marvel, Brian, Marvel's Capcom, some of those, all yeah, fighting reason, games, pretty much. The reason I ask is my wife and I. That's one of the games we used to play when we met, and she's always said if you can find a roller games. That is the one game she wants in the house. She actually wants a pinball game in the house. You don't now, have any to room. One that's working is like you, impossible. Dennis, 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 you don't have room in your house for a full size pinball machine unless you never want to have a guest room. You could put it in the guest room, but then you won't have a guest. No, no, I was literally just at your house two and a half hours ago. If There's I no room. Of, if I get rid of this piano. I think it would fit. <laughs> well, it would if you got rid of that. Look at Will XL throwing, just like wanting to make me cry on my own stream. If I back at the review level, can I trade it in for an in-person review with Graham? Well, you can back at the review level and I'll wear a Graham mask. There you you know, I'll just grab a screenshot and print it out, poke holes through it, put it on. It'll put be about time, time you finally that use that you. mask. You've had it for a while. Yeah. Just put glasses on it. Dude, I can do that. I don't, I don't wear glasses actually during streams because my distance vision, like right now my screen's blurry because my oh. distance vision isn't that bad. That's why I don't wear them on. But, yeah. but they're like... Justin side wants to know how one dies from lupus. Uh, she, we, didn't, we didn't catch it in time. She didn't know that she had it. She started treatment and then didn't even make it through the first start of treatment. So. Wow. Well... Right. Uh, uh, what? Oh, look at this. Why is there two grams? Funny guy. <laughs> Funny guy. You know, if Brian was actually on camera, I could move Dennis down next to Brian and Graham up next to me. Then you really might think you're seeing double. Well, then, <laughs> if, if, if Graham took his glasses off or you put yours on, there you go, twinsies. No, I know. I know. Hey, everybody. See, I'm look. closing out nice and tight tonight. Um, there you it is. Yeah, it's, a, it's a fantastic <laughs> art book that I've drawn. Lots of muscles and half naked women. Uh, I think you guys are going to like it. That's right. Okay, so you can't read this because your glass is off. Will wants to know if you're going to Nickel City. That's uh, no, I'm not. I have not been invited to that one. Where's that? Oh, okay. Howard's going to be there. I, I already uh, oh. contacted Howard. He's going to be there. I'm going to probably uh, have dinner with him. No, oh, that's when is it? Is it soon? I don't know. I think it's in June. Oh, or July. I don't know. I oh, don't know. Okay. I wasn't invited. <laughs> yeah, apparently not. Uh, Graham, if you want to share your campaign, uh, feel free. <laughs> we can always pimp that because you're closing that tomorrow night. So, tomorrow night, Will yeah, Excel is dead on to Andy's Dennis's worst nightmare. Yep, who would have thought there could have possibly been more than one? They should have broke that mold after that first one. Dennis, that's not true. You've always said when we share a hotel room, you wish there were two of me because then you'd be the meat in between an Andy sandwich. I'd be the bread and you'd be the big slab of meat. Under that's not the first meat that's been between Andy. Uh, but <laughs> Whoa. Dude, look at your backer number. You're teaching Dennis how to read right now. Dennis, read his backer oh, count. Look at that. Holy cow. Smokes. It's, I'm counting one, two, three, four. Funny. That feels like the combination to my luggage. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice that. That's pretty wild. I know. Wow. That is. And you're so close to, to breaking the six figure. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. We're, what are we? Uh, 70, 200 and uh, 1,270. Uh, That's dollars right. To win. Yeah. We got 36 hours left. At the hundred thousand K mark, I'm adding an eight page uh, short story to it. So it'll bump the page count of uh, R2MI to uh, 80 pages. So everybody's going to benefit uh, with, with an extra story um, in, in the book. So let's get her there before we have our closeout uh, tomorrow night. Because right, if, if, if it doesn't hit that before, before it goes in demand, the eight pages aren't going in. It has to be in the live right. campaign. So, uh, so, but yeah, I'm pretty, pretty confident we're going to get there. Um, you know, we, we, we don't have that far to go and, you know, we can get that with just one damn, uh, you know, uh, uh art piece, you know, <laughs> it'll get us over the, oh, over yeah. the, what, what number of campaign is this for you, Graham, like six or seven? Uh, let's see. It's, I believe it's, um, 
So this is number eight. eight. So I've got I've got seven, wow. and so far I've I've funded uh, eight hundred ninety thousand nine hundred fifty dollars. Totally off the mark. Can I borrow like twenty bucks? <laughs> <laughs> what? The man who's got like 108 games. I'm just joking. I was, I was just joking, obviously. Yeah, uh, but you see, I live in New York State. I don't have any money. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> they take it all. That's right. And if, he, yeah. if he leaves his house for more than 30 days and I happen to move in and he comes back, I can be like, dude, squatter's rights. Sorry, Graham. Right. I like that, uh, that person in, was it Queens? Yeah, she changed her. She wanted to change her locks or something, and they arrested her. Oh my god! And they found out people were living in her house after you know. I think it was her parents' house, yeah. and they passed away. And oh my god! Yeah, Only a lot of that stuff. So there were people moving in, and they say like they just create like a like a fake lease from say some fake company, and then they they write some checks and get cashed by somebody they don't even know, and then next thing you know, they get to stay there for. A year, yeah, more but I don't even think there. I don't even think you have to go through that much of a hassle of like creating a fake lease from I think at least in the, New York, from what the they say, yeah, just give the utilities in your name, yeah. But well, how do you I mean, do that? if you, if you I don't even think you have to do that, I think it's literally like from what I, all I hear is New York, and it's like if you're in the house for 30 days. Squatters and then the right. owner comes back, they can be like, no, I got squatter's rights. I was here for 30 days. I now qualify as a tenant without yep. any paperwork. Yep. My question was, is it is it 30 days? Is it New York State or the city of New York where it's a 30-day squatter? Hmm. Oh, I don't it's know. probably That's the, the city of New York is my guess. Yeah. Well, the sorry, I, I didn't mean to jump around with all that, but uh, no, so ahead. so with this being with this being your eighth, like Completed, going to be your eighth completed campaign and stuff. Like in the success you've had from this, I mean, is there ever like, are you just like, you you don't know why you haven't done this before? Like, there's no going back to mainstream. Like, they called you up to do stuff. Like, like this is kind of what you want to do now, right? You're just oh, absolutely like doing your own stuff. Never just locked in now. Like, never, never yep. going back. I mean, if 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 uh, if so, let's say Marvel Comics. Um, came to me and said, we want you to do a 12 issue series of the fantastic four. And uh, you can write and draw it and do whatever you want. That I would do. I would take a, a 12 nice. month break and do that, but there's no way in hell. They're gonna <laughs> ask me first off. And there's no way in hell. Secondly, they're going to let me do what I want to do. So it, it's, it, I might as well just be, you know, talking science fiction here because <laughs> it just ain't going to happen. So barring that, then yes, uh, right. I am totally happy doing what I'm doing. Um, uh, I, I'd like to say, I wish I could have done it sooner, but the, the really, you know, I, I did my first crowdfunding in 2015, uh, and the, the, the nature has changed since then. It, it wasn't the same back then. Now it is, you know, um, and now it's different and, and, and people are, are trusting of it. And, uh, you know, especially if you deliver on it, like, like Andy has, and, and I have, um, yeah, so it's it, it's fantastic. I couldn't be happier. Forty years in this business, and I'm happier now than I w ever was. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. you're your own boss, right? With oh your yeah, own IPs, your own story. Like no one yeah. can tell you you can't do that with your character, or you can't have that happen. You're like, man, this is my character. I'll do what well, I want. That ties in directly with the question. Um, sleeping psychopath psychopathy is asking. Other than your own IPs. What would be your dream projects? Well, I already well, said I mine. Graham just said it. Fantastic, Fantastic Four, yeah. Yep. Um, I mean, for me, uh, God, I don't, I don't really know because I like so many characters. I mean, the first one off the top of my head would be uh, Green Lantern because I like the space cosmic type stuff. And I'm talking Hal Jordan, OG Green Lantern. Yeah. Um, OG, OG costume as well. Mm -hmm. uh even the even the costume the vest one where it's like the green didn't come down to his deltoid jet you know the mm -hmm. very first oh yeah, yeah. Did. i uh i'd love That's to do that um you know it's it's one of those things where i did get to draw green lantern for one of my very first jobs and it was hal jordan but you know it was one of my first jobs and i just look at it and i'm like oh my god that's horrific so 
I'd love a <laughs> second bite at that apple and stuff. <laughs> you know, like Graham, if you were huge, 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 like just huge, like you, your favorite job was Transformers, you would probably go, man, if I could go back and just redo that. <laughs> you know and that's how i feel at that green lantern job you know mm -hmm. it was one of my first ones and at the time it was a thrill but looking back on it 30 years later it's like oh man who, who wrote that, have another story, bite of that who wrote it oh you know that guy that was in jail gerard jones oh, geez, jones okay yeah. so it'll never be reprinted oh. jesus <laughs> So, so if DC for some reason ever wants to reprint like an omnibus of that big Eclipso uh, yeah. crossover thing they did because it was part of that, oh. yeah, they'll probably be like, okay, uh, this Green Lantern annual not in it. <laughs> so yeah. that's the hey, Eclipso Andy. thing Bart did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Andy, you so. might want to uh, just pull up your yeah. nice and tight. Yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna refresh it. real quick here, and we are at eighty nine. Sixty dollars, only forty bucks to go. Nine thousand, boom. Wire bounding, binding, however you want to call it. So you can really lay that book flat, even wrap it back on itself. Refresh. So again. then, if you want to put tracing paper over it, you could or vellum, because that's Refresh the old them. way of learning to ink is vellum. Mm. Uh, I never liked inking so. on vellum. Boom! Oh, oh, there it is. Stretch goal met. Thank you guys so much. Ooh. Honestly, I really, really appreciate it. Thank All you. Right. Thank you so much. Uh, Will XL, thank you. I know I, I did see your chat go by, but I didn't want to uh, interrupt Graham with his campaign up. And then uh, Bloody Drake, thank you so much. Really, guys, really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, so there you go. Wire uh, Bound is going to be coming your way. Uh, 64 pages, oversize book, and uh, there you go. Yeah, so yeah. I'm very excited. I think you guys are really going to like it. I, I went back and forth with some pages on what to include and what not. I had the whole book put together, and I showed it to uh, somebody else besides Dennis to get their opinion, and uh, you know, he gave me some good feedback on it because – I mean, Graham, you know how it is. You're so close to it. If somebody asked you, hey, you've got 64 pages to fill with some of your favorite pencils out of, you know, your career that you have copies or scans of, that's a hard thing to do. It is. It is. Because <laughs> I might like a page for a certain reason that somebody else might not like it. They might think it's a, a boring page, like it's a talking head page or something. Right. I like because of the the... the the way I positioned everything and turned a nothing page into a cool page to me, it's cool, but you know, somebody else might not think so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just, so look at that. I just, I just got a call from now Scala. He just wanted to, he's, he's driving from one place to the other. So he can't actually get on and say anything, but he wanted to tell you congratulations. Oh, oh well, thank you. That's great. Uh, Randy Howell is is right. Seven fifty five, like fire tonight. Sure, if we hit ten grand, I'll do like fire. I'll do a shot uh, for my two hours. Can I get thirty minutes of Andy and one and a half with Dennis to complain about Andy? You know what? <laughs> you sure can, and I, I, I'll tell you why. Because I get all the money, and Dennis is doing three quarters of the work. So of course you can. <laughs> it is, and just like when we were fulfilling, you saw that wonderful serenade that Andy was doing singing. That is what I had to endure for four weeks plus every day or, or one day a week. Well, you're going to endure it again <laughs> when we fulfill this one, big guy. I know. So. I really can't wait to get my copy to practice my skills. Because, <laughs> you know, uh, I'll show you guys. Here, pop this up. I do first man. And I've been I've been harnessing trying to trying to do it. There's my first man. Oh, wow. That's yeah. great. Dude, that's... And I, I tried really hard and I thought, you know what? With Billy Tucci, she, I'm going to do it and I'm going to see, see if you guys can see the subtle difference. Oh, wait, hold on. I, you might have yeah. to be large for that. Wait, that's why do you have an arrow pointing down below? Is that because there's no VJJ or there's no wee wee down there? No, no, no. It's just, it's oh, just she's funny. holding a sword. I get it. Yeah, see? Mm -hmm. So, oh, so yeah. I'm hoping that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. And, and do that, but look at that. First man versus she. That is the extent of my artistic abilities. So when well, they, when, when they said, wants to know it. 
Right, hold on. Graham, uh, Will wants to know if you ever do portfolio reviews. Uh, where? You know, like conventions, you mean? Or, or like if... Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to I'm gonna guess he's house, maybe or... talking about what I'm doing with the whole uh, thing like this. Because the way I do it, Graham, is it's this. Except it's me and it'll be me and Will. And it's obviously not live. But I record it. So once the two hours is done, I download the, the recording and I uh, share it with him through, through a Dropbox or something, so he can oh. always go back and review it. Is that is that a uh, uh, part of a campaign that you offered? That's part of this campaign, yeah. Oh, very cool. That's a, that's a cool yeah. idea. Uh, yeah, then no, so, I have not done that. <laughs> yeah. So basically, and I I got to give credit to. Oh, before I do that, let's bring in. It's Dan Lawless. Oh, Dan Lawless. Danny boy. Hey, Dan. Great job oh, on that plug we cover, Dan. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, that was fun. I love coloring his work, man. It's, it's a blast. You yeah, it came out home great. Run. Yeah. So this is what it looks like, Graham. These are screenshots from the one I did with uh, with Eric Hodson, where basically, I, you know, whatever the person wants me to help with, they can send right. over. This was over a printed comic. He did. Okay. And I just, you know, uh, pull pages from it, but a PDF, but it could be figure drawing. It could be inking. It could be whatever. Yeah. So they'll get the full video and they'll get the Photoshop assets as layered files as well. When the two hours is up. Oh, so, very nice. That's a cool. So idea. One on one. Yeah. Thank you. So, hey guys, well so now that Dan's go. here, I'm gonna I'm gonna balance Dan's Dan's way way better of a guy than I am for this. Wait a second, Brian, you're telling me <laughs> that me? Dan would have got here. Have, have you don't seen know, me on shows? Ago? Have you seen me on shows? Yeah, you were just on our show. <laughs> I am not that you? great at all. <laughs> I'm I'm Dan, just saying Dan's that if best. I knew if I knew all it took for Brian to leave was Dan to get here, I'm gonna give Dan <laughs> shit for not getting here sooner. That's all. Wow. wow. Just kidding, Brian. I can't wait to give wow. you a big, big hug in Noogie in South Carolina. Noogie. Yeah, and I yeah, think I, I think I'm also gonna know what that's code word for. I'm also think I'm gonna try to make it to Heroes Con as well. So so that'll be uh at both of those this year. And I'm trying to get Nile trying to get Nile to come along as well. You should come to Garden State too. Maybe. I think Nile's gonna be at Garden State. Yeah, yeah, he did he say he was going to be at Garden State. Yeah, he was last but, year, wasn't he? Yeah. No, he was. Yeah. Nile was Nile there last year? I think so. Yes. Yeah, yeah. he definitely he was. was there. He was at the oh. cigar party taking pics. Oh. We got another guest too. Before you leave, Brian, let's say hi to Mike Barron. Mike Barron, <laughs> Mike. Mike Barron, hey, where are you? He's at a convention. Who's at a show? Uh, the Indianapolis Comic Convention, sitting next to Pat Broderick. Hang on, hey Pat. Oh. <laughs> What's up, Pat? Hey, Pat. Big screen, Hello. big screen. You mean I'm, oh, oh, hey. <laughs> hey, Pat. How you guys doing? How's it going, doing man? Great, man? We are doing awesome. I'm going to see you guys in Heroes Con. Yes. We'll be running into you there. All right, dude. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Yeah. That's, That's all I got to say, guys. All right, Mike. Nice to see you. Got to check out. Carry on. Good luck. Thanks for Man on the beat. Mike. See, Mike. Keep, us, keep, it, keep us posted for any news. <laughs> <laughs> he can be like a roping reporter. That is what yeah, that's right. Look like Dan is sitting there reading that X-Men comic. <laughs> It does. Yeah, yeah it looks like his shoulders are right over that that, that tangent line there in the wrinkle. <gasps> the giant size X Men. Yeah, Can't believe right. it. What? What? Oh, I got it right. Wow, the X Men was good at one time. They changed all the yeah. characters. <laughs> Why would they do that? Why? It was good. It was a great. It was obviously <laughs> my favorite. And we did watch X Men '97. We did watch the two episodes that uh, dropped. And uh, needless to say. I enjoyed it. I liked what Pretty, they did. They keep talking about how they did all this woke stuff to it. I, I'm be honest with you. I haven't, I haven't seen it. I, I didn't mean, see I know, it I know, I know some of the stuff is coming, but I mean, well, yeah. I, I'll worry about that when it hits. But the first two were solid. 
I'll be honest. I told Dennis, and I'm not poking fun at it or anything. I never watched the X Men cartoon in the '90s, so I was like, "All right, let me watch this." So I got like halfway through the first episode, and I was just like, "Yeah, this just isn't for me. I just don't care." And I turned it off and watched something else. Yeah, it's just not my. It's really I'm just not as as weird as it is doing what you know I do for a living. Just not a cartoon guy like that. Now, mm-hmm. old Space Ghost episodes I'd watch there you and go. stuff like that, but... Space yeah. Ghost and Dino I, Boy? I did not like the animation that X-Men stuff. I just thought it was so bad. It yeah, was, I agree. It was, just... it, it, was a, yeah. it was a different <laughs> style. That, that's, that's the issue with it. No, that's not the issue. You're talking to... You're, we're, Dan and Graham and myself, we're talking about the original X-Men cartoon from the 90s. This one's yeah. based on... Right. I don't think it was a different style. I just didn't think it was great animation. No. Yeah, it was, not. you know, just typical crappy like Saturday morning animation that they It did. wasn't even that good. Yeah. It, it, it just drawings were just bad. It just it, everything was, you know, the faces were weird and and just when you think about even Scooby Doo animation, at least yeah. the, the, they were drawn well. They only they had a couple poses. Right. But, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah, give me a good drawing. Too. I need I need yeah. good art. I, but see, I never the liked the thing. X-Men either, so it's like, it's well, a double yeah. whammy for me. Yeah, actually, we're, Graham, aren't you, you, you have never read an X-Men book? Is that, is that true? Hey, there's, uh, there's yeah, outside the, the first, like, Kirby ones, uh, yeah, I've never read a, an X-Men book. Wow. wow. Aren't you curious? Yeah. Wouldn't you want to pick it up? and uh, my like, eye just hearing uh, that. Well, I, I, I no, drew I will some say. X-Men with, with Chris Claremont, and I didn't know what the hell these characters were, but it was actually kind of fun to draw them. I, okay. I will yeah. say this book about the fir- the X Men cartoon in the '90s that we're we're talking about. This is a great book, nice and thick. It's got cool art in it. I mean, this yeah. is really a nice book. But and that and after getting this book and looking through it, I'll be honest. I I went in. I told Dennis this, and I was like, "All right," because th- Disney Plus has all the original X Men cartoons. So I was like, "All right, let me try watch a couple." And I was just like, oh, I don't, I just don't get the appeal. And I got through one episode because it had Alpha Flight in it, which I love Alpha Flight. Mm -hmm. But after that episode, I was like, yeah, I don't need to go back and watch anymore. But this is a cool art book. So do they have the same voice actors doing it? uh, In the new one, most of them them are the same. Um, Like Jubilee, that was this was interesting. She gave up the role. They asked her to do it, but she said, no, thank you. I would actually have a, rather have an actual Asian play that. And I was like, well, okay, that's kind of cool. But on the flip side, you're an actor. You should be able to ask. That's like Hank Azaria giving up the role in The Simpsons. Right. Because he's like, no, no, I can't play that, uh, that Indian type Apu. dude. Yeah, at Apu. Apu. Apu anymore. Right, and it's like, no, dude, you're an actor. Of course and, you. And can. Hank's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, and Cal Cal Dodd's still doing Wolverine, right? Yeah, now a couple of them don't call. They're older, quite a bit older. So you know, um, is he Canadian? Because if he's Canadian, are. not Canadian, no. he shouldn't be able to do it. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah play by those right. rules. Yeah, if you're gonna make those stupid rules. We need to revolt. And well, he's got to be short because yeah. Wolverine's short. Too. That's right. If he's the not vertically challenged, then, uh, I think you know. was Aussie. He had an Aussie voice in the very first uh, animated X Men with the one episode of Wolverine and X Men Evolution. Another great. That was a great series. Now, see, I didn't watch it. You know? I I didn't watch Evolution, mm-hmm. but uh, Stephen Gordon did the character designs, and I I really like Stephen Gordon's artwork. Um, and I thought the animation and art in that was really good. So I'll give it that. And then Amish Ninja, I never watched Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes, but I do have a little digest size uh, they printed using, you know, cells or whatever from it to put the story together. And I thought the art in that and the style, the uh, style of the characters was really good as well. On, so. on Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, like each season – was like a um, was like a a movie that was that was broken down in 22, 22 episodes. Like they did the the whole Thanos, you know, Infinity Gauntlet storyline. Uh, they had oh a really? Panther, yeah, and they were incredible. 
they were absolutely incredible. Uh, and also the same with uh, Wolverine and the X Men, even though they only did one season of that, which I don't know why. But they had a Wolverine and the X Men, where it was Wolverine teaching the X Men how to how to be X Men. What year did that come out? I don't even re- I've never even heard of Wolverine that. and the X Men came out after X Men Evolution, and uh, man, I think God uh, Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes season five, which was the Black Panther season, just. I mean, I want to say it just happened like maybe five years ago was, oh. was the last season of that. And it was about the same time they did the uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy had their own series with the, oh, same, art, that. With the same art style. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Good. I assume all that stuff's on Disney Plus, right? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't oh. think all of it is on there. I will tell you that they have um, they have a future like the, the manga versions of the stuff, which I think are good. And then they have a future Avengers, which is a manga, a manga edition, which is incredible. Uh, and I have yet to see it brought, you know, brought over to the, you know, like it's dubbed on Disney Plus. Right. But I haven't right. seen it collected anywhere where I could buy it or, or get it all in together. But uh, right. But yeah. Now, are you watching? Because somebody in the chat mentioned, and Graham, you can. Uh, too. Are you guys watching Shogun on FX? Yeah, come on. If you're not watching no. Shogun, like you need to. You I should. like it. I think it's. I think now I saw the original movie way back, so it's not like top of mind. But this series, I think, is really freaking good. God, they, they um, did, I haven't they seen this week no yet, so no spoilers. So, what so was that Brian, Brian? R- Richard Chamberlain. Or, or this guy, which one? Which one uh, does him better? Uh, man, like, well, it's Richard Chamberlain. We only got to see him in three three episodes, right? They only did yeah. three episodes of that. And uh, I will tell you that the supporting cast makes this guy way better. Yep. So, I, I think so I, agree I would, with so you I would say I would say this I would say this guy is infinitely infinitely better by just by miles only because. You know, rising tide <laughs> raises all ships. You know, yeah, Richard yeah. Chamberlain is into the the old the older actor. Or? Yeah, he was the old. Yeah, well, yeah, he was yeah. in the original yeah, was the one. Oh, that's one. right. Oh, I remember yeah. now the, the Shogun. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. wasn't Rachel Ward yeah. in it too. Wasn't it Rachel, Rachel Ward? I don't. I don't, sure. I don't even know. I don't the remember. Original? Ask Billy Tucci. He knows about girls. He's a smoke I was one. <laughs> I mean, the only question I would have then is. Because this is how far removed I am from their original, not remembering it is, you know, in this in the new one on FX, the series, every you know every actor in it is Asian except for, you know, the Shogun guy, who's you know uh, a, a British white dude. So if Rachel Ward was in their original, what who'd she play? Like, yeah, I mean, see. I don't know. Let's see. She's not. Marcus Pellegrew says yes. I she was. Yes. Mm. Uh-huh. And by the way, Brian, so I haven't seen episode four yet. Neither is Dennis, but they're on episode four. five. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, that's what four. I meant. We episode five. five. We haven't seen five yet. But dude, the way four ended, mm. holy crap. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, good God. Yeah, so the, the moral of this story <laughs> is everybody needs to watch the new one, even if you didn't <laughs> watch the old one. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I'm just saying, Brian, I, uh, or I should say Marcus, I do not see Rachel Ward at even on the floor. I don't either. Even at the bottom. Yeah. I don't know. I don't but see her either. Bloody Drake is right. If I have one complaint about this show is the fact that they don't, uh, the <laughs> there's no dubbing or anything. It's literally you're reading 90% of the episodes. <laughs> Yeah. Unless yeah, it's are. unless it's the main dude playing the the Shogun guy, the the white guy, you yeah. if if it's him and his translator, you can listen. But if it's everybody else, you are reading the entire thing. And the only reason I don't like it is because after I after I watch a couple uh, episodes of a show and get into it, I can usually look down and like read something at the same time because I can get the story just from hearing. And then, you know, you know, when something action is going to happen and that's when I'll look up and watch, I can't do that with this show. I've got to literally stare at the TV for the whole hour and change. 
I, I was just wondering if they were going to get Richard Chamberlain, because I think he's still alive, to, uh, to do a cameo. Well, well, who would he cameo as? I, I don't I don't know. He's like, I mean, there's not a... There's not a... There, I, I know. I know. I was just... They would find a way to work him in if they if they invited him, if he said yes. How old is he? Uh, JP, Roka, JP Roka wants to know, do we have an update on Nice and Tight? Do we make the stretch goal? I'll show you. We did. We're at $9,310. Woohoo! Yes. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so uh, yeah, much. Yes. Yeah, yes. 90, 90 am, years old. I was just going to say. He's 90? Yeah. 90, 90. 90 years old. March 31st, wow. 1934. He's wow. three years behind William Shatner. Oh, yeah. Wait, today's his birthday, birthday, isn't it? 93? 93, birthday. 93 for Shatner? Yep. Yeah, he Holy just turned 93. Hope, you, hope all of you wished him a happy birthday on his uh, ex Dude, Shatner doesn't look it either. No. He really doesn't. Like, if you just asked me how William Shatner is and showed me the current pic a current picture of him, I'd, I'd guess either late 70s or maybe mid 80. But there's no way yeah. I'd say over 90. There's just no way. I think the secret to him is he stays interested in life. Uh, he, he's always trying new things, uh, new shows, mm -hmm. new. Uh, he, he goes into writing, goes into music. He does a million things to keep. He's got his horses. You know, he's he's got so many interests in his life that uh, it just keeps him going. You know, he doesn't just get stagnant, doesn't sit around and get stagnant and bitch and moan like George Takei. Right. I think, oh, I think when he went to, I think when he went to space, he came back with a new. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you ever watched the video when he came out of that pod after seeing, yeah, I did. Uh, seeing Earth yeah, in space. Awesome. Like that's, like that was a that was a guy who's been changed. You know, yeah, I didn't yeah. want to see my Captain yeah. Kirk crying like a little baby though. Yeah, that was, that was that was weird. He wasn't but... he wasn't crying. He just was, yeah he was he was trying to explain he was trying to explain to people what he's what he saw and he couldn't find the words. I don't know. See, Graham says he doesn't want to see Captain Kirk cry, cry like a baby. See, I don't relate to that. I don't want to see T.J. Hooker. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I can relate to T.J. Hooker. I don't want to see Denny <laughs> Crane cry like a... <laughs> I'm telling you, T.J. Hooker sliding across that uh, cop car hood, just like yeah. the Duke's of Hazard, you couldn't ask for more. Dude, I'm telling you a show that it sucks that it only lasted one season that he was in, because I thought it was actually funny, was uh, the show Shit My Dad Says. And, of course, they yes. you know used all the oh, yeah. symbols for the word shit. Bleep. And it was on ABC or CBS. And it was literally from a, a, uh, uh, a person on Twitter whose handle was Shit My Dad Says. And all the guy would tweet is shit that his dad says. That was hysterical. So they yeah. built a show around it, and Shatner was the dad living with his son and his son's wife. Yeah. And um, Will, damn it, what's his name? He's from Mad TV. Will. Will Arnett? No, no. Well, no, this Will something. He's a big guy, big uh, husky guy from Mad Will TV. Sasso. Will Sasso. Will Sasso was the son. And then another, uh, the actress that played his wife was also from Mad TV, and it was it was freaking funny, dude. Graham, I'm <laughs> telling you, if you can find it, I I think you should watch a few, see what you think. If it wasn't for Shatner, I would never recommend it. But right. you know, you're a Shatner guy. Did you ever so. see his? Uh, I thought one of the best shows he ever did was his talk show, uh, Raw Nerve. Uh, no, when was that? Oh my god, it was on. Um, it was on one of those uh, the cable networks like Lifetime or something like that. Uh, he would have a guest come on and the guest would bring like a gift for him and talk about it. But then, you know, he had this couch that was like an S curve so that the two could sit on the couch and, and face each other. And then he he was a very good interviewer. He, you know, he would get into deep dives into these people's lives and stuff. And one time he had a uh, Rush Limbaugh on, and oh, that no was a fantastic. Interview. Yeah, that was. So are we really talking? Good. This was in the nineties, or no? It's like two thousands. Oh, really? Yeah. So probably yeah. early two thousands. What was it called? Raw Nerve. I'm look yeah, Dennis, if you can it find it on uh, on the YouTube, uh, share your screen and uh, 
we'll play a little bit of it. I don't care. Oh, yeah. Leonard Nimoy, he had Leonard Nimoy on, too. Yeah, he had Nimoy on. He he had – the funny thing is I, I was recording. I would record it, and it would always cut off because uh, they would run the credits at the end, but he'd still be talking to the person as they're kind of outroing, you know? And so yeah. – He's got Scott Bayo on one time and Scott Bayo's talking to him and he says, oh yeah, I'll never forget, you know, um, I was in this, this, this movie with, with uh, Charlton Heston and Charlton Heston said to me, and it cut off. <laughs> no! <laughs> like, what did Charlton Heston say? <laughs> yes. You know, here, here's the trivia question. He had everybody on once except for one guest. One guest came on twice. Do you know who it is? On Raw Nerve? Yeah. One guest came on twice. Was it um I know we had Walter Koenig on. That was yeah, an interesting once. interview. Uh give us a hint. Was it somebody from Star Trek or no? It I'm was saying no. Not. Yeah, no. I didn't think so. And I've never was, even seen the show. I'm just let's just say he hung around with Kathy Lee quite a bit. Gifford? Yeah, Frank Gifford? Kathy Lee. Frank? Regis? Frank Gifford? Regis. There you go. Regis. Oh, Regis. Oh. Really? He was he was really? on the show twice. I wonder why. Wow. He's trying to get that million dollars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so wow. Shatner wow. is conservative, right? Yeah. Well, I think so. I, I don't know that I would say he's conservative. I would say he's more libertarian than anything. Yeah, and he's yeah, his, but he, he's his own mind and speaks his own shit. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he just he's 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 ninety three and he just doesn't put up with some of the dumb shit that has mm -hmm. gone on that yeah. is so obvious, you know. Yeah. Well, his his he's get a, a life guy. his get a life thing was pretty bold and actually probably well needed to just hear that you know people need to get expand. I mean, we love comics, but go live life too. You know, you get out there, oh yeah, hike and bike and. Do all kinds Look of at stuff. you! You, <laughs> you probably never kissed a girl. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking to me personally? <laughs> yeah, no, you had two kids. <laughs> we know you did. What did William Shatner say no. that too? <laughs> <laughs> Saturday Night Live, back when it was funny. Yeah. That's right. All right, here's something. I I shared this, but I thought this is something we could. Uh... So I'll, I'll set this up. Before I share the screen, because uh, I don't know if Dan saw it. I know Graham you did because I shared it. Um, so Captain America, right? Captain America, he's got the super right. soldier serum coursing through his veins, super strong. He throws his shield. Now we know when he throws it, it's going at a you know a heavy force, right? It ricochets off of something, whether it's a person or a building or whatever. I'm gonna assume the ricochet coming back isn't as i guess fast as when he initially throws it but it's still pretty powerful we can all agree with that i would say yeah sure mm -hmm. okay so with that being the case do you think black widow could just stand there and stop it with one mm -hmm. hand like bucky did <laughs> in uh winter soldier because she's not enhanced in any way from what no. i recall only, only no. number one there, there's two things he has to have Bucky had his bionic arm, which, you know, he could stop it. But but number two, it takes very special skills because, you know, even Falcon, they had to practice with it. I mean, that's kind of the thing. It takes an incredibly, you have to be strong and a skill set in order to do something like that. Yeah, I, I don't buy that at all. But wait, isn't she catching it on the ricochet of getting hit in this guy in the face there? Yeah, but yes. you still don't lose that much velocity. Think about even, oh, cool. even they do it in the films where it ricochets mm -hmm. off and Captain America, you know, even has a hard time when it comes in. Then they had the uh, the magnetic version where it helps uh, bring it back in. But, yeah, no, that would just cut her hand off unless she's Thanos. There is so much wrong with these three panels. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> I know. It's like, why are they fighting ninjas? Like, isn't that a daredevil? Thing? Well, this, okay, so a, a quick cares? setup. <laughs> Marvel's <laughs> doing a mini series. Marvel's doing a mini series that takes place, from what I can tell, I didn't read it. Um, but, you know, Dennis and I, we hit the shop every Wednesday. So uh, Marvel's doing a mini series where it's Wolverine, Cap, and Black Widow, and Madripoor 
So I assume this all takes place during that time of X Men two sixty eight. So that's why it's a ninja in red. Gotcha. So. I think this is one of those self inserts where he's, you know, he's the writer was writing about when he was a kid and he was playing Captain America. And his mom came in the room and grabbed the that's shield. Right. <laughs> Look at that. He says, "Do a do a redraw stream like Dan does." You know what? I'm going to work on that right now. Mm -hmm. while, while there you go. You can bring in the next guest, <laughs> Gary Martin. Welcome Gary. to the show. Welcome hey, Gary. Martin. Hey guys. Uh, I right. thought I would interrupt this nerd fest. You guys talking about catching Captain America's shield? Yeah. Oh come on, Gary. You might not be a super nerd like you know. I can admit it. I oh, am Captain Brian America. Dennis. I won't throw Graham in under the bus for that, but he is a big cat fan. I hey, uh, when, I, when I was a kid, I used my uh, garbage can lid as my Me Captain too. America shield, and it, there, it, who it did? was much easier to catch when it ricocheted off of something, so I can confirm that. Right. I painted mine, too. I painted the... Did you really? Oh, oh, you oh yeah. That's awesome. I, uh, oh. We had a croquet set, and I took one of the mallets and, and shortened the handle and wrapped it in leather. And had, that was my Thor's hammer. I used to chuck it at my backyard fence. <laughs> nice. Wow. Nice. This, this, this action America sequence is the, it's the, the weakest action sequence. Uh, oh, yeah. First of all, you know, Captain America's uh, body language here, it looks like he's, you know, you know throwing a, you know, a hat to somebody. Uh, yeah, he's doing a dance number. It looks like to me. Too close. the The shield is completely out of the the uh, the, uh, the panel, it, so there's no sense of power in the throw. The second panel is okay. You know, it's not bad. Um, the third panel, the 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 inker didn't even use uh, ellipses on it. It looks like it was somebody's tin shield that's all bent up. Um, it's it's returning to Cap horizontally, and yet she's catching it as if it's coming off the ground. Who's the artist? What? Well, yeah, exactly. No I'd idea. also say that uh, it's the same penciler inker because I mean I feel bad for inkers these days because there's not many actually doing stuff. So it's the same artist for both. But yeah, I mean, if anything, I'm with you. The second panel, I actually I don't mind side shots like that. I think they're kind of no. cool. No, but I would have tried to do cooler. something. If if he if he, if they made the the ninja slightly smaller and then had his legs coming out of the panel, um, yeah, so that you know he he had the full figure you know coming mm -hmm. out, it looked like he was more in the air because we don't know if he's still on the ground there or not. It would have looked right. so much more dynamic if if he was um, you know if, if if they had done that. Can you imagine? Well, I also Kirby think illustrating this, it would be completely different where the action and the, like the force of him getting hit in the kisser with the shield, you would feel it. This, it just looks like he's falling oh, yeah. asleep. Exactly. Yeah. I was thinking that same thing. It just, yeah. it looked, there's it no just, power to any just, of it, you know, no, right. no. And, you no know dynamic. Cap uh, throwing the shield. You can't tell if he's throwing it or catching it. Is this new? Right. Yeah. This just came out this week. Uh. Hey yeah, guys, I'll see y'all later. Thanks again for having me on. I really right, Brian, Brian. It. Hey, Brian. It, was, it was a hey, honor later, being bro. on and congrats on your uh, campaign for sure. See all you guys later. Thanks, Brian. Later, Bye. Take it easy. Get better. We got a super um, two dollars from Two Hundred Watt Studio. Thank you. When Nat <laughs> get super serum to catch the shield? Good question. If this That's takes place talking. during that Jim Lee storyline, never. So right. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, guys. Well, and, I, I updated. Yeah. I updated the uh, art. You ready? Remember oh boy! We had, I don't know. We, we, we had first man for those Big screen. joining us new. We had wow. first man, and then I did. Oh, there's a Teen Sensations. She, and oh, ready, ready. Oh yeah! Oh, oh, right. yeah. oh yeah! Look at that, guys. I, I followed Andy's book on how to draw, and look at what we got. I got a shield in there. Yeah, baby. Yeah, can, and you know what the sad thing is? is? Is that Dennis's shield's concentric circles are better than the one in the comic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I did that freehand, believe it or not. You can you add some boobs, though? EBay. I'm, I'm bidding on them. That's right. <laughs> Dennis, add some boobs. <laughs> Confirm. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the, the shield is too small on the panel that she's catching it. Yeah, um, even, even the saying... direction lines, like Graham said, the direction lines—it's coming like it's off the ground, 
Right. But he could have at least put the direction lines in perspective. Yes. But they're parallel, basically, or almost parallel. Because so. in, in panel two, you can see it ricocheting horizontally and actually going up. Right. Like, like yeah. it's hitting him in the chest to the chin, and it's going up, so she should be catching it over her head. Or she's you really notice, tall. notice the camera is placed at the exact same angle, too. Uh, everything is from uh, y- your horizon line is right at chest level uh, on yeah. every one of these. And each one of the figures are, are approximately the same height. So without that variance, it makes this page look boring, uh, among other reasons, but that that also contributes to it. You have no no focus on anything larger or smaller. There's no sense of depth, and there's no sense of action. And the camera angle. Well, the really other thing too is if she's catching a ricochet that is going back to Captain America, he's not in front of her, and she's it's like she's looking at him. But wait, she's catching the shield. He should be behind her, and she could be turning her head at least like you know, saying Steve, like if mm-hmm. he was drawn on the right hand side, like she stepped in front of him or something. I mean, right now you're like, Oh wait, caps in front. How's he supposed to catch the shield? I'm confused. I'm not confused by the Vespa guy. Two bucks. Thank you very much. Uh, did the corn dog King put Bruce back in his book? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, one thing that bothers yeah, me just with the, the, the pose itself of captain America is he's, when you're throwing something, you don't end with your hands straight out. You know, you, you've got some twist to it. There, there's right. it's a it throw, like, and that's, and that's. So there's a lot to the gesture that's missing from this that figure. His head's not down even at all. You know, think of a baseball throwing a, a pitcher throwing a ball. He's just whoo, all over it, and uh, this guy is just like sticking his hand out, like, like he's just throwing it like that. You know. And so like, are they implying he throws the shield straight away, right? In panel one, panel two, it looks like it hits the guy. And it looks like it's arcing back towards Steve, right? Yeah. Or it, is it is it supposed to represent that it flew off in a different direction where she just happens to be there to catch it? No. I would say it's right. ricocheting back towards Steve and she's catching it instead of him. Right. Like, so, like I said, she stepped in front of him to go, Steve, stop it. Stop yeah. being so mean the to these ninjas, Steve. Yeah. Yeah, like, Do you have the panel yeah. before to sh- show their setup? Like, yeah. where uh, she was placed when he threw I was it. thinking the same thing, that there's no, we don't know where they are in relationship to each other. Oh, I can find it. Yeah. But, yeah, I think Dan mentioned the angle. The shield's coming up at her, which doesn't make any sense. So did it bounce off something mm-hmm. else? Like the ground? Right. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But yeah, the, yeah. See, these just, are all questions we shouldn't be asking. No, that's true. Exactly. Uh, yeah, we picked it. <laughs> we picked it. Clean. Yeah. If, if well, yeah. Mind. I mean, but, but it, it behooves questions, and that in storytelling there should not be questions about right. what's happening because right. now you have taken the reader out of the story instead yeah. of uh, um, uh, inculcating him into the story. All right, hold How on. The sound effect, Quang. Quang. Is that what is, is that a normal hit for a, is a shield? But look at how okay, you know, it just on. looks so I'm weak. Gonna... It's got a little burst, like boop. <laughs> I should just put it said Wang instead of Quang. Should have said Wang. Dan, what is on your mind? <laughs> well, just just to make it total shit. <laughs> Complete the All process. right, here. Since you guys want to see, so there's the cover. Uh, so we, we start with. I assume that's a two-page spread. Unless this is a digital book, because they do do digital stuff only. Um, so oh, hey, that's the star looks bigger. That oh yeah, the, it, yeah, it changes proportion apparently. Um, so then that so you want to know what was before? Here well, that's is. before. Mm-hmm. That's so what was before. Before was they're standing around. They have this little teeny sequence, and then the payoff is they're standing around again. Yes. Well, see, another thing, too, is and, and you know, I'm not going to blame the, the artist for all this because the writer wrote what he wants the artist to draw. Now, of course, you can always say, well, the artist should know these things. And if he gets mm-hmm. something, he should change it to make it make sense. But, you yes. know, on the setup page in the third panel, we see the ninja slicing, I don't know, some chick and then they pop into the room together. So it's like, OK, well, you would think a shot after that 
might be a long shot to establish all of them in the same scene together, but it's not. It's Cap throwing a shield, hitting a ninja. She catches it and hands it back to Steve. But she's looking straight out like Steve's in front of her. <laughs> so normally when Steve throws it, it would ricochet off him and he would just catch it. So this, for, for some reason, his angle was off and he went right to her for some reason. Yeah, okay, so Cap should be right standing right behind her. Yep. Right. <laughs> or next door somewhere. Yeah. So yeah, okay. the perspective on this picture too is just so bad. The people on the ground, the Jubilee and that other ninja, they're just not in correct perspective at all. True. Oh, is that Jubilee? <laughs> I have no idea. It's gotta be. See, what I'm thinking it, is we saw well, the the previous panel of, of the establishment shot of that room. There weren't any ninjas in it. There was just one. Where'd these guys come from? A ninja. Uh, they're ninjas. No yeah, I mean, yeah, but well, there's look, there's a couple the there's a couple empty. on the floor already, but yeah, they're, you're right. There is just the empty. one. Where did they come from? And and it looks like in that uh, that top panel right there that they're in a room with a low ceiling. I was going to point that out. Yeah, they and are. Then, they're in a then, room like <laughs> oh, here they are. They're jumping out of the rafters or something. <laughs> yeah, they just yeah they just materialize. Yeah. Yeah, this should, guy needs to get the hard draw coming down. He, this guy needs the so. hard draw comics to Marvel White Book. I mean, he should you know just get the, the dynamics back into the work. This is the fact that editorial editorial hires people that don't have the skills uh, to compete at a professional level is just mind blowing. The only yeah. thing I can think of is that they're the only ones that'll accept those shitty pay rates, pay rate, um, pay rates. Be. Yeah, do yeah. we know what Marvel? pays these days because i know it's it's oh, man, i have no idea look at widow's broken leg there <laughs> it's it's what are you talking about that's sexy <laughs> but you know you you, so you can do it but he's just the way he's, he's trying it looks it looks it just isn't working it, that looks looks like the leg is, is i don't know i, I just of, uh, groin just looking at that <laughs> that doesn't yeah. bother me to be honest it's That's, just not drawn. The, the it's it's not, not one of the worst. Right. Yeah, no. that Captain America does nothing. Some action, <laughs> Captain America. Okay. I well, mean, who, dude, come on, that leg's not attached. Andy, yeah, uh, yeah, that foot. Yeah, who wrote and what drew is this? his face is silly, you know. Andy, he, he, go go see the credits. Oh my oh. God, Chris oh Claremont God, actually Chris wrote Claremont? it. Chris Claremont. Oh. Well, here's the and thing. Unless Chris changed his writing style. He's probably writing plot style because that's what he did on X Men Forever when I did it and Graham did it. Yeah. So if he's writing plot style, it does really fall on Edgar then as the storyteller. That's right. To have to make it work. Mm hmm. You know, because it's not a panel by panel breakdown full script. If that's how Chris wrote it as a plot. So. Mm. And this story takes place after X Men two sixty eight. So there you go. So this is just probably a matter of no money, right? They just don't have the money. Uh, I don't know. They have money. They're just they're not paying, paying the money. <laughs> yeah, and the other yeah, thing they, I'm they have it. it. Super chat. Super chat. Oh, super chat. Two hundred watt studio. Thank you. The disappearing low ceiling to high ceiling reminds me of the T Rex wall in Jurassic Park. When the T-Rex first attacks the Jeeps. Yeah. Good analogy. Yeah. If I remember that correctly, yeah. And you obviously remember it, so. Wait, but that's um, out in the open. What, do you, what, is, what does he mean, low ceiling? Well, I'm thinking, is he, t my recollection is he must be talking, I was thinking the end of the movie when he comes in, the T-Rex comes into the interior. Because oh, he if he's attacking the Jeep, Jeep, that's outside. Yeah, that's yeah, outside. I know. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was the Explain angle yourself, of the, uh, 200 the electrified watt. walls. Huh. Uh, yeah, maybe. Well, we read it. I don't know. 200 watt. He can expound on it in the comments. That's right. You can expound on it. So, so there you go. That's what Marvel's doing these days mm. with some stuff. But I, I mean, it, it it just pains me to look at superhero comics and honestly dan i i mean you do nail it and i've said it to and many times 
give out copies of freaking how to draw comics the marvel way if you have to because i swear <laughs> to god every book i look through and this goes for dc as well and not every book but 80 percent of the stuff they draw if you remember in how to draw comics the marvel yes. way the, the, Usama the, has the, right, the, the, the boring comparison. pose, and then he shows the different actions, exactly. and then he gets to the one where yeah. it's like, that's the one you do. Exactly. And everybody's drawing that first one, yeah. that boring yeah. one. Figure, yeah, you know? The, upright. Everything yeah. upright. You know, there's no no angles, no nothing. Yeah, no, do the Dutch angle or whatever they call it. You know, that, for Not time. too long after um, my inking book came out years a ago, I was at uh, San, San Diego Comic-Con. And a Marvel editor came up to me and said, Gary, really love your inking book. I give it to all my inkers. Okay, Graham, I got to get into the position for this one. And and I says, okay, you, you give my how-to. There how you to, go. You ha my how-to book <laughs> to your Marvel inkers. And I said, how about you hiring the guy that wrote that book to ink your yeah. stuff? Yeah. There you go, and right? He just, he just, you know, that smarmy smile disappeared and he just kind of walked away yeah <laughs> exactly so he thought he was complimenting me by telling me that he wouldn't hire yeah. me but he gives his inkers a how-to book on yeah inking. that he can hire cheaper right right mm -hmm. speaking of great books gary what do you have on that table behind you why don't you show us yes uh i got a shipment the shipment of my uh Ooh. my art book and and Pushing an art book is, I think, is harder than pushing a comic. So I tip my hat to you, Andy, for your there campaign. You um, putting an art book out there, I, I really appreciate that. And that's why I you know, came on your show. So my art book is being shipped um, this week and next week. And so people who ordered it should be getting it soon. Do you want to hold one up? I assume that's a batch of them back there. It looks like, oh, look at that. Let's see it. Oh, that's great. Nice. Man. Beautiful. So 130 pages. Every illustration is full page. Wow. Oh, very nice. That's fantastic. Oh, I can't wait. That uh, looks great. Yeah, oh, awesome. recreations too. Very oh, cool. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. That's awesome. All right. Let me grab this. I'll even keep you full screen while I do Are you making a CG for book? 10 bucks. Hold on a second. Uh, 10 bucks. Thanks. Uh, thank you, 200 watt. He says when the T Rex appears, there is no wall. He just comes out of the jungle breaking the fence. But later in the same scene, the Jeep dangles on a steep wall where the Rex came from. Okay. I, I'll be honest, I'll have to watch and Dennis can back me up. I don't remember shit, especially from that yeah. long ago. I remember the scene, but I don't remember that detail. He, he doesn't fun. remember Ghostbusters that we watched yesterday. <laughs> Wait, what did we watch yesterday? Exactly. <laughs> Uh, Vespa guy, not bad, Gary, but it needs more Bruce. Can we, can we put that What's to rest? What's he talking about, Gary? Yeah. I had uh, a Bruce Lee piece in the book, oh. and it was limited to 130 pages. And so every page was spoken for. And then I did a, a Gina Carano piece, and I mm -hmm. thought the Gina piece was better. So I, okay, what piece can I pull out? at Gina and I took out Bruce oh. and I've been getting crap <laughs> ever since wow. so well, I guess I, I, Lee getting, getting the cut for Gina. Okay. And I now what's him, the Gina. Now I don't remember seeing the Gina one. So what pose was the Gina piece? And was you the guys Bruce Lee piece the famous if one. I, if I put put him full screen. Let, let's, let's yeah, do the job. Full screen. Full screen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that is the Bruce that is piece, good. I assume. Really good. That's the famous yeah, boat. Yeah. Shorts and That's fantastic. There he is. She, yeah, classic. Rendering on his pants with a brush, too? Yeah, it's all brush. Wow. Good <laughs> Lord. Oh, Freaky Zoe. Okay, Thanks. there's Bruce. That's beautiful. Oh, you froze You're a little frozen. bit. Hopefully it comes oh. back some real Oh, there it is. Wow, that is really cool. Oh, I don't mind that one. I'll yeah, take that. I like that one better. I yeah, think either nice. one is great. Yeah, yeah, I like that one better because the Bruce Lee one is such a, a overused photograph. Right. Uh, you know, photos right. of him. We've all yeah. seen it a million times. Um, so this is fresh. Let's see. Okay, I appreciate that. Uh, no, I, I like, I like the Graham. Gina one. I like my, them both, but 
Yeah. My point of view is not about how iconic their achievements are. Right. But if if I think the art is which is more successful, and I thought this one was more successful, so that's why I took out Bruce. Now, and Gina. I, I hope you tweeted that and you did at Gina Carano or yeah. whatever her screen name. I is. did, and 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 she told me she thought it was sweet. Oh, oh very no. cool. That is awesome. yeah, so and then you should have replied back, right. what's your address? I'll send it to you. <laughs> DM me. Yeah. That's the guy. You, you know, you know you made the right choice, Gary, because what did Bruce Lee say? Yeah, Bruce exactly. didn't exactly. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't yeah. even reply, did he? No. Yeah. He yeah, and then and then Graham, even worse, Bruce didn't reply. So he's like, Well, fine, I'll try your son. He's probably not stuck up. And Brandon didn't reply either. Oh wow. my gosh, this is okay, family. So very rude. Very yeah, rude. I appreciate very you guys rude. putting that to rest once and for all. So that's the guy. Les Bruce. Les Bruce. Not to you. <laughs> I bet Gina Crown could beat up Bruce Lee right today. I, I bet I could beat up Bruce Lee today. <laughs> I'm not going to dig him up because that takes a lot of work. Even Brandon, I, mean, I, I could take Brandon, no problem, too. I'll, I'll punch the skeleton, no problem. Um, hey, Gary, what type of ink do you use? Ink is so good. That's ink is good. so hard to get. Yeah, it is. Do you it's really? Black magic. Yep. You don't find that gunks up or anything? Do you like, do you cut it with anything? I utilize that. So I have uh, three different versions of that. New out of the bottle. Uh, aged uh -huh. and watered down a little bit. And okay. depending on what I'm inking, you know, for big heavy lines, I'll use the, the dark stuff. And for uh, filling in the blacks, I'll use the dark stuff. For feathering, I use the watered down. And for regular, I just, I use the regular ink. If you look at, as an example, if you look at uh, Mark Schultz and Frazetta, if you look yeah. at their originals, Mm -hmm. Especially their feathering lines have clearly been watered down. Yeah, and yeah. I've I've found that that technique helps with control when you're inking with a brush because you can use less liquid, less ink in it, mm -hmm. and and it goes further. And so you have no. That's control. what I do too. So when you water down, so do you? So you've got three different bottles. I'm drilling yeah. down on this. Yep. Do you take a brand new bottle? and water that down or do you use it for the other stuff and then once it gets down some you add water to it yes that's what i do it's just like the the okay. new one is what i add and then i'll i keep the lid off of one bottle i want it really dark i like the original art to look crisp and clean you know so yeah right after i erase the pencils i that's when i fill in the inks i mean the the blacks yeah, I yeah. do that very last, and and yeah. I use the, the darker ink for that, trying to get the black, you know, the big areas of black to be as as you know consistent as possible. So you can't, you know, that ink can get too dark to where you you dip it and then you have one stroke and then you have to dip again. That's when I'll you know keep adding water. So you have to you, you know, use to play with the with the formula. Do you use just tap water? Because yeah. I heard yeah. I've heard so many things like, no, you shouldn't use tap water. You should use, you know, buy a gallon of whatever, you know, right. pure water Distilled or whatever. Water. Yeah, Distilled, no, yeah. Just, yeah, just regular it's water's water for, you know, we're talking about ink. I'm not drinking no, it. that's what I thought too. But then somebody was like, No, the water out of the tap or blah blah blah. So you should use <laughs> no, distilled no. water instead. And I'm yeah. like, it's you know, it's got chlorine in it. So yeah. Yeah, and no, I didn't know if that messed with the ink or not, or yeah. So yeah, so it's just um, different vintages of the ink, and 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 for different uses. But I I've used uh, Higgins Black Magic for years and years, and I haven't I haven't found now how uh, how much Wait, you're in the occult. How much water do you do with the ink? Like oh, just a few drops. Just kinda... Yeah, just a few drops oh, okay. will make a big difference. Yeah. Gary, I thought you were a Christian. Okay. You're in the into the cult. <laughs> Using black magic what? for years? What? Yeah, well, um, I mean, Dan, get with the program. Yeah. 
you know, guys, look so, at this. 95, 79, approaching 10 Gs. Let's make it like fire tonight. Let's do this. And uh, nice. if, if we hit 10 grand, Dennis will not take his shirt off. So um, if yeah. it slows down, he might take his shirt off. <laughs> Nobody wants that. So uh, let's you can't unsee that, that, guys. You can't unsee no, that. No, guys, remember unsee. Andy did say yeah. he would he would have a shot. Oh yeah, I got a big uh, big uh, container right up there. I can of? I can kick it open no problem. So it's important. So to yeah, bloody Drake says, "Oh, thank God, guys, I'm gonna have to run. I gotta go pick up pumpkin from uh, daycare." Mm. All right, one last time. Give it a pitch, Graham. Yeah, Graham. Give it the old pitch. I got your campaign up. Hey, but you got oh, two more um, backers. Okay, thank you, Andy. Of course. Did I? Yeah. You no, I got your. I got it up for you. All right. Uh, Return to Monster Island is the sequel to my original Monster Island. Uh, you can get both books uh, in the package deal here. Uh, the campaign, it's, it's high adventure, romance, action. Uh, it's old style comics um, that I wrote uh, for my kids, basically, uh, that they could enjoy, but adults could enjoy on a, on a totally different level. Um, so it, it's just classic, fun adventure comics. Uh, the campaign's closing tomorrow night. And uh, if we hit 100,000, uh, then I'm adding an eight page um, short story called Kirby Cigar which is a satirical look uh, and uh, at the comic book industry. So it, it's going to nice. be really great. I think we're going to hit it. We're only, what, uh, yeah. 70 or 65, 165, $1,165 away. So, wow. oh, we'll hit it. Um, I think we're going to do it. But we got to do it before tomorrow night, before it closes, because um, if, it, if it happens in demand, it doesn't count. What, what time are you go. closing out tomorrow? There you go. Graham, what time are you closing out tomorrow? I haven't decided. Uh, I'm thinking I'll probably go on around 7. Cool. What would you cool. say? Eastern I said time. cool. Okay. Awesome. Is that Eastern time, Graham? Okay. That's, I, I, I think I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting some uh, lag here, I think, on my internet. Yeah, it's Eastern time. It's Eastern time, Gary. Everybody hear that? Yeah. Eastern, Eastern time. time. Seven I'll put a link Eastern, most link likely. The there you go. Yeah. All right, Graham. Well, thanks for joining yeah, us, big guy. King, really so appreciate it. Okay. Cool. Congratulations, guys. And uh, keep thanks, going. Man. Close it out at 10 Gs, buddy. All right. That's the see way. Take care. Okay, see you, man. Bye, Graham. Bye, Graham. Cool. Do that. And suddenly um, we're bigger. There, I know. We need more people so we get smaller. I don't oh, look at myself. I know. Got to get, got to get <laughs> some some other people in here. The link has been shared so they can come in. Uh, Art of Voice says, uh, Gary, have you tried Eon Production Vortex High Carb Ink? Supposed to be marker safe. That sounds way too fancy for me. It does, doesn't it? Um, at this point, I'm pretty happy with Higgins Black Magic. The only way I would try new inks is if somebody uh, sent it to me for free. Because I, you know, well, there why, you go. Why? Uh, yeah. Um, does that sound like a hint? I wasn't actually. No, I think I think I if you have, to... uh, I think like I think Anna does it. I know Ethan does. If you have like a PO box or something, you post it down a you know, somewhere and say, Hey, if you ever want to try and send me something to try, I'll do a review. No, uh, see, best I guy for five bucks. Thank you. I just like messing with you, Gary. No offense intended. I still bought four copies, all the prints and three headshot sketches. You're the man. Yeah. Vespa guy. I have, to, I have to uh, give you a big thanks. I was going over the list of backers and he repeatedly backed different items throughout the campaign. Oh, so thank awesome. you very much. Vespa guy. Really appreciate it. And there was one from, I don't know, where was it? Do, 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 do. Oh, there it is. Art of Roy, thank you very much uh, for the congratulations, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Art of Roy does fantastic work. Give him a follow on uh, X, formerly known as Twitter. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he's always posting artwork that is really cool. So check that out. 
Oh, Graham's not here anymore, but he says he'll be backing tomorrow for Graham's campaign. Graham will hit that no problem. He will. He will. Uh, and I, re I really want to see that. Uh, that's a new story. I know. So do I. That Kirby type story. I think that'll be uh, that'll be fun. So. Yeah, you guys uh, see Roy's uh, Heather Swain the other day? It was really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's done a couple. Which one are you talking about? Uh, it's got uh, um, like Cyberfrog and Salamandroid in it. Okay, yeah, I saw that one. Is that the hey, one Dan, that... I'm really curious. Of... Oh, go ahead, Gary. I'm sorry. Um, was that the one uh -huh. that Ethan gave a little critique? And Yeah, Ethan was giving a praise, too. It was really great. Yeah. Hey, Dan, you want to uh, pull up your uh, latest video of the old drawing cars? I haven't watched it yet, but I'm very curious to see what you're talking about. Wait, my cars? Yeah. Yeah, you did a video on how to draw cars. I know, I wasn't cars. talking about it, though. <laughs> okay. I know, but I want to see it. And now I can kill two birds with one stone. Okay. You know, before that, can I just talk about the, uh, I really want to, before I, f I make sure I don't forget it, is we were on the stream the other day and we were talking about getting that, those covers to seamlessly yes. combine. And yeah. I was, I was doing it by hand. And slicing. I, yeah, it wasn't slicing though. It, it, well, I don't, that slicing may work too, but it was random McGranderson who, yep. who suggested uh, content aware fail. And what the content of Weirfield does is what, what I what I went back and did I, I took the original cover, and then you uh -huh. you push the content you you, you select the, the 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 other side of the you know the uh, background there, and do content of so it gets creates a seamless you know uh, background, and then I just go and, and erased it you know with the, with the new art right up to the edge so I have a soft transition now directly you know from one cover to the other it's completely seamless. So it's great now. So that because of that tip, I just want to give a shout out to him. Oh, I got to try that. So wait, so this is how I learn. I'm going to repeat back because you might have missed something. So you you opened up the you opened up, let's say, Lilith. You made the canvas bigger so you could fit the other cover next to it. You popped the to show around you? a cover next to it. Yes, yeah, just yeah. Show your screen and walk us through it because uh, that sounds cool. <laughs> and in fact, if you want, you could just, I don't know if you want to go through the whole steps of doing I it will. again. Oh I'll, yeah. I'll just, I, Cause I, I'll just go to the layer. Were the original background colors the same? No. See, see what happened. I'll Gary, show you how it's is, done here in a second here. Is uh, Let me Bud show did the done. cover. Show us. Before done. I show it, I'll, I'll explain to Gary. So Bud did the cover on the right with Lelneth and uh, the dark worm character oh, wow. last year. Right. Okay. Okay. And then for this new core draft campaign, which you can sign up for now, guys. So go sign up at that okay. link. I'm going to um, turn off the... He did. It... We we asked them. We said, hey, we got this great idea. We want you to draw Adriana and make her match the same perspective and everything. Because when Dan colors it, we'll have him carry the background over. So it makes one big image when you put the two covers together. Um. So that was the challenge Dan had was to make make it work. And uh, I think he pulled it off br oh, brilliantly. Yeah. Yeah. And then in our chat on Wednesday, when we debuted the cover and Dan was our guest uh, in the chat, um, uh, somebody mentioned, oh, you could just do it like this. And we were like, what? Well, let me so show now you. I, I'm, Dan I'm, I'm, is going to show us. Yeah. Uh... There you go. So, you know, what I was doing is, you know, I had a new background here and I was just going up here and there, there is a line here. I did a pretty good job with it, but you did you a really good you, job. You can, you can see a line here. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, you so can see a line, I was, you know, when I, you so I was just doing my best. Like, how do I, you know, I, I'm trying to, you know, get it right, but it's just, it was really, it was really difficult. So what, what he, the content aware thing is pretty cool. You just, you take your selection tool. Yep. And you just go over just over. I'm on the background layer of, of Lil, Lilith here. Right. And then now you, you can't see it because I'm just sharing a window, but I'm going to edit and fill and it, and it pops up my thing and it, and it has a, has a, a content aware uh, option. Oh, right. Yeah. And you just push OK and it, and it does the work. So hang on. You'll see in a second here. Oh, it yeah, takes, yeah. It takes a minute or two just to kind of well, do it. Yeah. It's a huge file. Now, when you did this, there it is. Um, 
holy crap. So it's completely seamless. Now I can go in here. I can create it, which is what I did. It's, I created I a, a yeah, layer I don't mask. I what it's doing. It's mimicking like the, the cloud or smoke pattern on the bottom, the warmer colors as well. Yeah. And yeah, it does everything. Sometimes it's and successful you... and sometimes it's not. Now what I, well, then what I can, what I do is then I, I take a, you know, go in with a, a big brush and, uh, and make that, you know, make, I get that layer mask. And I, and that, so I have a soft transition. Hang right. On. Hang on a second. Let me just, uh, Yeah, because I can see the layer mask is what you're painting over to mask out that. Oops, I went the wrong color. Is that to make the, the contour around the figures softer? Uh, well, this this is this down here is your layer mask. So uh, black conceals, white reveals. So I'm going over here with with a with a you know, a black, and uh, just painting now over that layer and it just makes everything you know dan i don't results. know if you realize what you just did but you know wally wood was famous for saying when in doubt black it out you just <laughs> came up with cool uh black conceals white reveals my friend i yeah. like well, that, that that's a that's a com that's not my phrase that's that's a common photoshop uh, oh well yeah. i think you should careful. put it on a t-shirt and go to a blm rally yeah uh careful you don't say that uh, with David Williams present. <laughs> Guess that's oh. not good, is it? Um, anyways, now I have I have the background that I did paint. You know, this is, see I painted this new background. There's a yeah. warm tone over it too, and uh, so now, you know, here, here's what I, here's what it was originally. Then I and then I duplicated that layer and you know extended it, and then I. So I have right. a nice soft transition. So when I go in here with this other one, it's seamless. There, there is, is no, no line at all. Yeah, there's Holy no line crap. at all. crap. It's gone. Well, now I want to do something like that. That is freaking yeah. awesome. <laughs> so it's really, really cool. And thanks to Random McGranderson. Hell yeah. Hold it so, off for us, that buddy. goes back to the cool point of the poster. I think that would be perfect poster then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the interesting That's... thing is that I, I don't know what's coming next. I, I'm going to have to thank God I got that thing because now I'll be able to, to get it seamless on the next one, you know. And I'm, assuming that there's a next freaking one. freaking right? awesome. Assuming, yes. Um, real quick, guys. Update. Uh, nice and tight. The comic book pencil of Andy Smith is now $9,619. Uh, Dennis is a math whiz. How much is that away from uh, 10? And thank you so much, Art of Roy. Really appreciate it. $381, guys. $381. We can do this. Hey, Have by the way, you guys, is there any way to contact Random McCranderson? No, I mean, he's, he, he, you know, I want, I want to thank him personally, you know? He would um, have to, uh, I haven't seen him in the chat today, no, but he would actually just have to be in the chat and then go oh here's my email okay. well if you guys see him on another chat or not social on, media if you guys see him on another yeah. day in our chat make sure that he gets the thank you for that really appreciate it so that was a, that was a big deal uh so. of course there will be a next one but we'll talk about that after Cordrat the awakening uh will wants to know dan how's the not safe for work uh version coming along oh and <laughs> yeah, that's private <laughs> <laughs> that, is there like a, a special I mean, link? Man, you're the one to put your foot I gotta in your code mouth. that file, like you know. You know you're the you're the one who draft. put your foot foot in your mouth because I did say, oh, that'd be funny. I should have Bud do a patch, and you're like, I could just do it, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose I could. I could probably do a very good patch if I. Yeah. Now, when he says it. not safe for work, he doesn't mean also, he doesn't mean add a penis to the ladies. He means take their tops <laughs> off, Dan. I know how oh, you think. I was, okay, I, okay, but well, good thing you said that because I was thinking the other thing. Yeah, there's levels of not being safe. <laughs> yeah, there's levels, Dan. Yeah, there's actually, levels. no, it's perfectly safe now. Nowadays, right. oh yeah, one, now it's perfectly. The safe. The other one's like, right. oh, that's well, it's, it's your lifestyle choice, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, it depends Speaking on your point of view, Dad. I mean, when I was a junior high kid, if I would have seen something like this, I would have uh, matured instantly. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to go to the blackboard to uh, figure out the math problem, if you know what I mean. 
Gary would have grown up instantly. Yep, hair on That's the right. chest. <laughs> oh, let's be honest. All of us had those times in school where it was like, don't call me to come to the board. Don't call me to get up and come to the board. No, I I'm afraid I never. Right now. No, no. Me, when yeah. I was well, maybe it was here, just me. He says, yeah. uh, hit that uh, <laughs> like and subscribe button. 70 watching. Actually, we've got 179 right now. Dennis is changing. 179. The, the breakdown is 91 on X on my channel, 15 on Dennis's. On YouTube, 69. Love that number on my channel. And four on the DNA Show channel. So there you go. That is the breakdown. I got to tell you, I love streaming over to X. Thank you, Mr. Elon. Yeah. Uh, so because it does, man. You guys, like, you guys had to have. Did, did Aaron ever say on Wednesday how many viewers he got when he had uh, Ethan on as, as the guest? Well, it was, it was, um, it was double. At, at least wow. at least double probably more than that yeah yeah actually i want to cool. go i haven't watched that one fully i want to i want to go back and watch it. It, it it was interesting yeah just uh he ethan put the spider-man piece that he did on Graybeards up on uh ebay the next day yeah and it went for i don't know last oh, i was it sold already um i think it closes out today the last i saw okay. was at 1200 Wow. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Oh my and gosh. Even Spider Man is, is rare. I know. Yeah, that's true. Question for uh, you. Roy, how can I get a pinup in the next core draft? Um uh, that's a good question. Because we usually don't run pinups in the actual book itself because of the we have all the content all the way, but uh we have been know. kicking what? around. We have been kicking around some ideas for fan art and stuff because we've had a number of people talk. Yeah. So, you know, as we get closer, um, I, I think we might be able to figure out something for for all you guys because yeah, we'll have to nice fan art coming in. Yeah, we'll have to figure it out, Art Roy. Um, coming, welcome to the show, the Teen Sensation himself, Billy Tucci. <laughs> Here's the bell. Really? Here's the bell, Andy. Yeah, we there need it that. is today. We need that bell. The bell tolls. What's going on, fellas? What's happening, Billy? I know that's a jacket. It looks like you're wearing, but it almost looks like the top to uh, pajamas. Oh, it's not a jacket. It's it's actually, well, it's it's you know what it is? It's a dog hair. Oh, it's catcher. a pole. It's a what? Dog hair catcher. It's, it's oh it's, yeah, it's, I used to have one. It's that material. It's really soft. But every, I mean, I've done the, the thing. Oh yeah. Thing. Look, I got it right here. <laughs> yeah. I just can't keep the dog hair on. It's so, <laughs> so weird, so strange. Oh my god. <laughs> but we take our love. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, see, Who's I used to house? watch hey. Bewitched just to see him. I always thought he was hilarious, and I couldn't understand why everyone on that show didn't think he was funny. He's the greatest. He's my he was, favorite oh, comedian was of all time. Really they never was. laughed at his jokes. I never, as a kid, I, I didn't understand that. Oh, really? Yeah. He was. Oh my God! I mean, just just a, a national icon, Mr. Yeah, Paul Lynn, was. ladies and gentlemen. There was a story about Paul Lynn that supposedly he was he was on a plane and I guess first class, and this oh, little cool. kid kept running up and down the aisle and stuff. Right. And. He just got so sick of it. He shouted. He goes, "If somebody doesn't take care of that kid, I'm gonna fuck him." Oh. I don't know if it was true, but it sounds like something Paul Lynn would do. I'm hey, just you saying. know what? I think it's out. It's- do or say? <laughs> yeah, uh, say uh, well, something yeah. Paul Lynn would say. <laughs> it may be what he would do too. <laughs> yeah. So is that when they allowed the coach uh, passengers to mingle with the first class? Well, sometimes those uh, kids, you know, you I mean, I'm sure it was kids. So, haven't you yeah. watched the, the YouTube or the Twitter with these out of control kids with bad parenting that are just like just lunatics and no no uh, respect for authority? Yep. It's really, what did you think of uh, the Steve Carell remake of when they did the remake of Bewitched? His uh, oh, his I poem. didn't see it. I haven't seen that. Oh, no, you mean the movie? Yeah, the movie the Bewitched. Movie? Uh, it Steve Carell. No, plays. that was that, no. I thought that was wait, Steve. Wait, 
Steve, Steve Carell plays, plays the Paul Lynn character. character. Yes, really? yes, okay. Yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah. what Uncle, Uncle Arthur? I think it was Uncle yes, Arthur. Yes, Uncle Arthur. You know, for yeah. me, there's only one Liz Montgomery, you know, Bitsy, as those of us in the biz call her, and Paul Lynn. So I don't see how you can remake that thing. My goodness. It was funny. Yeah, I thought it was. I would think charming. Steve Carell would be Darren. Yeah, that's what no, I was No, Will Ferrell was, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was Will Ferrell and Nicole Kidman. Right. Yeah, I would have loved to see Will Ferrell do a really bad uh, Paul Lind impression. <laughs> I think that would be funny. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Like, I you remember the movie? I mean, the movie wasn't that bad, actually. And you like okay. every movie. I mean, remember? that's true. You like the first Ghostbusters remake with the all female cast? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. Let's not go crazy now, Billy. Did not he like that one. Like that it, one. Billy. He loved no, it. you know, I'm just that, being silly. That was a silly ass, stupid movie. But the he new Ghostbusters, Dennis and I review. Uh, before we, we like move the on one. to the, the Ghostbusters, uh, Aaron and I uh, attended a convention years ago, and the actress that played Tabitha, the little girl. Oh, yeah. Was grown up, you know, a grown up woman, and she was a guest, and she had a table. Uh, close to ours and she hang out hung out with us and she she was very cool very wasn't cool. she beautiful oh, that's cool. didn't she grow up to be like a beautiful woman yeah very very attractive woman yeah yeah all right now i gotta look yep now we gotta find her yeah i don't no, remember. i've never seen her before yeah i don't remember too. her name but Andy, it, it whatever was, you do don't do it was a while ago. bewitched nude yeah because it, okay, I won't. Billy knows about that, right? When she's like five, <laughs> and that'll be all over for you then. Uh, so they were, they were you two better uh, erase actresses. Your, your browser history after yep, this. And then I'll have to draw core draft. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. Are we talking Aaron Murphy? Is that her name? I don't, yeah, know. I don't remember like her. her name. Tabitha. She was, was born in 64. Yeah, that would be her then. Oh, that would. all right, Jimmy. My Jimmy. Uh, let's see, hold woman. on. 65. What do you think? Because didn't they do a uh, Tabitha TV show? Like, year, many yeah, years that, ago? Yeah, with, uh, what, what's her name? That actress. She's from the town next to me, Sable. Uh, let's see. There, there, I mean, that's not a... I can't really blow it up much larger because it was a small yeah, picture, that, yeah. but... That's her. Yeah. Yeah, she did. She grew up to be uh, Aaron Murphy oh, yeah, is her she, name. She was, she was very, very charming. Aaron Murphy, a nice, nice, nice rat. Italian girl. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, holy crap, that's a Bud, <laughs> Bud Root woman right there. Yeah, Good that's Lord. a Bud Root woman right there, buddy. Let's yeah, go back is. to 1996 when, and let's make that... Uh, Kate Have you seen the Bud Root new cover yet, Billy? No. It's right there. Wow. Look at that. Matches up with the low enough. So if you didn't get low enough, now you got to get them both so you can oh. put them together and go, look at that. Dude, that's fantastic. Andy, you need to create uh, more female characters for this book just so you can continue this panorama. <laughs> well, you never know what could happen. You just never know. I Gary. think you should just do the the adventures of these two and call them like. I oh, don't know. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, I, brilliant. Yeah, something, Leader something. To, uh, to Billy, yeah, brilliant idea. Shield maidens, and you just had them like you know, yeah. the two of them. So, which one would you guys select if you had to? Oh. Yeah, it's like a Betty of Veronica <laughs> thing you could do with it. It is a Betty. It, oh. It is. Well, you, you know me, I, I'm always with the redhead, so that, that would be, always be my first one. There's oh. a reason why she looks like that. Well, Lil Lynn could have been a redhead now. she's. Uh... Yeah, she can shape change. But I'm a lazy person, so I'd go with Lil Lynn because there's less work I have to do. Oh, I hear that, brother. I hear that. Wait, did you just say shape change? Because that'd be perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like she could turn yeah. into a dude. Yes. Like, oh, I didn't yeah. say that. Oh, well, wow. yeah, that could be. Don't, don't put words in my mouth. That could be a two-edged sword. I mean, if you're, if if the relationship is good, then it could be a good thing. But if it goes south, you're in trouble. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, That's you could right. be in big trouble if it goes south. If you know what I mean. Right. <laughs> All right, I got to look this up now. Tor Torchbearer says Holly Marshall, uh, oh. the girl who played Holly Marshall in Land of the Lost, is a bank teller in L.A. 
and uh, his old roommate. So now I, I need to look up who she that was actress cute is. Cute as a button back then. Well, let's one find out who played Saturday her. Night Fever, one of John Travolta's pals, was a bank teller at a bank right by in New York City, right by our college at the the, the City Bank right across the street. Oh Look shit! I remember that. Kid. Amongst the young coeds, if you know what I mean. I remember that kid. Uh, she was born in 1962, so she is uh, Graham Nolan's age. Signed up. Well, the link is in the description below. So if you'd like to sign up for Quadrat the Awakening, please do. Randy's posting the link. Uh, Randy also two bucks. Thank you. Lilneth would destroy Andy's nice and tight. Hey now. Thank you. I think you, I think you mean that the other way around. Yeah, I, think, yeah, I, think. I don't know. Yeah, it is Randy true though. Yeah, she probably would do uh, horrible things. Pretty accurate. Yeah, yeah I mean, I is that you know? Start talking about what fictional character would defeat another fictional character. I That's know we right. could do that all so day. So here she is yep, I know. from uh, Land of the Lost, uh, appearing at oh, uh, Planet yeah. Comic Con March 8th through 10th. So you've missed her appearance as uh, Kathy Coleman, Land of the Lost. Good for her. She got a job. She didn't end up like, you know, Buffy from uh, right. Family Affair. Yeah. You end up oh, wait. The original before. Buffy? Yeah. Did the original Buffy do porn? I don't remember. I think so, and then she OD'd. Buffy, Buffy, mm. come back to did her. Wait, she did? Yeah, why'd Wait. you have to go and OD? Who will take care Who's of the Who's the, now I'm curious, who's the actress? What's her name? I don't know. I thought Marilyn. she was still alive. Did you bring it up Coleman, the other one, uh, uh, no. Montgomery Coleman, and the, the, the Tabitha, probably some other Irish chick, if you know what I'm saying. It is match. Yeah, that's a whole, that's whole show. I wonder if she's related about, to Vaughn Cole. <laughs> where are they now? That's right. And of course, talking about Cordrat the Awakening, here is the sign up page. So go sign up for uh Cordrat the Awakening. Get the snazzy Adriana uh trading card and front of the line shipping when you back the book. So you'll get your book first with this snazzy card drawn by me and colored by Kelsey Shannon. So go do that. And of course, uh uh by doing that, uh, you'll know when you can go run out and get that wonderful Cordrath variant cover by Bud Root and Dan Lawless, bringing the magic to it again. Oh, just look at them together. Just look at them together. Yeah. My well, God. Look Glorious. At it. But it, it kind of looks like um, she looks like a, a, an action figure. Yeah, that's oh, what everyone that said. That would be nice. Make a statue, You're right? right. Yeah. yeah. I keep telling Dennis he needs to stop being so cheap and bankroll statue, but he just won't listen to me. Come on, Dennis, bankroll statue, you cheap fuck. I know. Yeah, Dennis, I, stop being so cheap and bankroll I, I tried. statue. I tried. I sold. I said I offered to sell some of my comic books, so I've got all these Quasar number fifty signed, and I. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's not going to do it. You need to. You need to. You need to get rid of that crappy uh, old ass X Men number one that has some dude's signature on the front to just ruin the whole book. That would bankroll a statue, no problem. It sure would, buddy. It sure would. Yeah, it would, but yeah, not happening. Sorry, Andy. <laughs> not oh happening. God. Just like when Andy Smith was singing so that song to you, and you kept saying, "Yeah, not happening." Andy, what song were you singing when you guys were fulfilling? Oh, what song was it, Dennis? I don't remember. Jeez, oh Dennis, God. I know. When we were fulfilling. Yeah, and, 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 and you're singing it, and you're like, not happening. Nope. No. You're like, me and you so you know, like, I don't know. Guys, I'm telling you, you guys, everybody thinks Andy just did that for, like, show, for, like, oh, I'll just put a camera and I'll sing. No, no. Andy sings, like, all day long, and this, <laughs> this, is, this is what I have to listen to. So, mm. you know, there is a lot of truth when people are posting, poor Dennis. The guy is going to be a saint. He's going up after what he deals with. It's all true. Wow. Did I mean, you guys Dennis see the is so self host. Hold on, Did real quick. Torch, Dennis torch is bears. so. Oh, ben oh, you lift me up where I belong. Yeah, that's probably it. Um, well, the big thing in that video was what I really wanted. I wanted to do the old uh, um, Patrick Swayze and whatever that chick's name is from Dirty Dancing, where yes. I wanted Dennis and he holds me up over his head. Yes. But no. 
No, he wouldn't do it. Yeah, Christy <laughs> Swanson was the original Buffy. She's not dead. No, no, no. See, he's he's saying Buffy, Buffy from Family not Affair. From Buffy the Vampire. You're talking <laughs> oh, about Family, family affair. affair. Oh, I don't even know who that is. I know Family <laughs> Affair, but I don't know who. Hey, that do is. you uh, hey, uh, maybe if uh, now I'm not inviting myself over to the uh, Smith Mance this June. You're you coming over. Another, I don't little, know what uh, you're even talking about. Yeah, a little, another little soiree with the boys. Maybe we can reenact that uh, dirty dancing scene, and Dennis can lift you up there, and then well, throw well, you he the can. Pool. Maybe I want to be the one in the air. <laughs> well, I mean, if Billy's there and Frag is there and I'm there and Niles there, we could lift you up. Yep, I'll jump where you belong. That's right. Did what? you guys see That's the comment right. by Torchbearer Studios about what? Mrs. The, the comment by Torchbearer Studios no. about Mrs. Beasley. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> just take a no, look. No, I missed it. <laughs> um, Did you see that in, uh, in Russia? What's happening? Te major uh, terrorist right attack at their concert what? at a concert hall slash mall in uh, Russia. Hundreds of people are injured. Yeah, they have video. These guys coming oh, in with no. AK forty sevens or AKMs. And 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 just shooting people, man. It's it's like live. They killed at least 40, 40 dead. Wow. Um, and uh, and and hundreds, scores. They said earlier at least one hundred are uh, wounded. But the way these guys are shooting, and they're burning the whole building down right now. If you look, it's just massive. No, I, I just. Is it I Islamic? Just, uh, well, Is hold it, on. Uh, they don't know. It could be Ukrainians. Could be Putin trying to stir some little wag the dog. Who knows with that Putin? You can't trust that bastard, can you? No. Gary I Martin. think it was that shooter Here we go. on the wall. Uh, it's, yeah. it's, it's terrifying. I mean, it's Does just it, that. It Look at that. Yeah, it be, there uh, it is. Democrats. So video, dozens reportedly killed, 100 injured dude, in Moscow mass shooting. Dude, show the video. If you go to if you go to Twitter, you'll see uh, them several, shooting people at the mall. Like, just no, running up. And they're just walking in there. And these people crowd in this corner. And they're like, pop, 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 pop. If you're like you know sick and you want to share that, but. yeah, yeah, we don't need to see <laughs> need to see that. Wow. No, but oh, so wait, who? That's the. I'm mall. guessing the. I'm guessing the shooters they, let the place on fire, right? Yep. Yeah, they had their Molotov cocktails and stuff, and holy crap. Uh, looks like they did arrest one. They arrested someone. Not sure if it's a shooter or not, but you never know. They could be Chechen. They could be Islam. Islamo fascists. It could be Ukrainians. It could be. Yeah, that's a lot you know, of enemies. If, if here. Putin's looking for a little bit of sympathy from the rest of the world, which I think at this point he won't get. Wow. Made from the Chai comms. Dude, if you show that video on Twitter, if you go to like crazy clips or whatever, they it's nuts, bro. Or uh, Newsmax, I think, has it too. Yeah, we, we we've we've been busy all day today, so there's been no news. Didn't see see anything. Oof. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'll show that. No, well, yeah. You can Google it. People, you can go. Well, don't Google it, but find yeah, something. We don't well, it'll be over. Reveal all she has tonight. cancer. I told Dennis that before we went live. Yeah, and the, yeah, the Princess Kate. What's that? Princess Kate has stomach cancer. Princess Kate is. She's got stomach cancer. Oh, is that what it is? is I didn't know what type of Yeah, so she's going through uh, chemotherapy. That's where she's been. That's yeah. why she's been kind of. Um, her and William are trying to figure it out. She she talked. She spoke today. She's a beautiful woman. Very yeah, poised. That's what I, I didn't see this great speech, queen. but I heard about it. I mean, yeah. she in a lot of ways reminds um, me of Diana. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's better looking. But in the meantime, nice and tight oh, yeah, approaching five figures, Diana. young lady. Nice segue. It is. Look at that. Nine, six, five, nine, 130 backers. Thank you guys so much. Really so appreciate it, you guys. How can we not so close to 10. Away. Look at that. You couldn't even hear Dennis type into the calculator to get that answer. That's how quick and quiet he is on his end. Mm. No sound of keys. Crunching. I have my shoes and socks off. I've got toes ready to count. Oh, do you? Oh, we've got another guest. Nobody wants to another see guest. What? He's bringing a little bit of boom to the room. 
Dan Fragaboom. What's up, gentlemen? Fragaboom, what guess what I'm doing right now? Uh, uh, sitting in New York. Yes. I knew it. <laughs> Fucking knew it. Damn it. You I'm were doing good it. at I'm this doing, game. I'm doing your bro's cover. What is Dude, that? My, bro my brother Rob? Yeah, man, for Robert Bo Rob uh, Boom. Rob Boom. Yeah, he's the he's the uh, the original uh, Fraga Boy, that's for sure. Ooh, I like Fraga Boom and Fraga Boy. Fraga Boy. Nah, he's no boy though. He's he's Robert. He's Fraga a man, is a, baby. Is a, is a big old man. Yeah. So so get your brother, brothers. Right. Uh, Andy Smith just invited us back over to his house to hang out um, the night before Heroes Con. Of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah, did he? I don't know. This him. time. Tell Billy, this time tell you can bring brother. your bathing suits. <laughs> Woo! Why don't we just bring our birthday suits and have a real good time? Oh, we'll I'll just, just go skinny I'll dipping. Work. I got no problem with it. I just I don't want you guys to be embarrassed by my manhood. That's yeah. not going to happen. Oh, yeah. come on. It'll make it easier dress. for us to steer around the pool, if you know what Listen, I mean. Man. That's right. <laughs> we, can all, we can all do the uh, backstroke. Yeah, I, you could do I, I just hear all I hear. Sails is, up. I just oh. hear. I just Ooh. hear. I just hear stroke. That's all I hear. <laughs> I'll do. I'll do the tripod. Nice. Oh. Thank you. So Dan, uh. Dan, you missed it. We we were we're gonna imitate the uh, dirty dancing. So I'll be jumping up in the air, and Holy shit. it's it's you and Billy and Andy. You're all catching me. So that that's oh, all cool. at the same time. Right. Yeah. 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 Thank and then we're all in the pool, and then we're all going to jump in the pool. We're going to take off all our clothes and just jump in the pool. <laughs> like, oh. That's right. Can I just do the the part where they where they go? I've had the time of my life, my dude. Life you can rap time. that. Yeah. Yo, I've had the time of my life. My life is happening. I'm looking at the crowd, wondering why you're not clapping. In. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Did you just make up a word? Yes. You did. You did. He's a rapper. Of course hey, he did. Gary Martin, uh, good to see you, man. You are uh, amazing. And so is Dan Lawless, but he knows. Oh, thank you, Dan. Yeah. I was going to say, I got replaced really quickly. I mean, I just went to the bathroom and I come back and got another Dan. Like, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, <laughs> we need a Dan. We need a Dan now. Yeah, get him off the bench. Second <laughs> string, Dan. Let's go. Thanks. All right, Thanks, let me ask Porch Bear Studios. Hey, Andy, is the art of Andy Smith bundled with nice and tight the same? as the black book it is not the same uh the black book had different sections and chat it sounds like you got the black book so the black book had a table of contents with different sections and you know chapters various types of art and stuff the art of andy smith is more of a true sketchbook with basically a lot of commissions uh sketch covers that i did um stuff like that so no it's different there, I mean, there, you know, honestly, there might be one or two pieces that overlap each book, but it's, it's mostly different stuff. So, and it's smaller, it's six by nine. It was originally 64 pages, but I'm adding 20 new pages to it. So it's 84 You're a savage. pages. So there you go. Savage. There we go. Better light. Dan, how's your day going? Uh, it's been uh, a bit of a roller coaster, but going well. Kids are home from school. That's, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That means the house gets louder. It definitely uh, does. And I actually got to eat lunch with my wife for oh. the first time in forever. You know, like it's it's either I'm usually eating lunch here at home, but we we had to go out and uh, this morning, and then we ran some errands, and it was very strange to just be her. And myself sitting there eating pizza. It was very weird. You know? Oh, and there you go. I here I thought you took her to McDonald's, but you did no, pizza. No, I took her to Mellow Mushroom. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I, love Mellow yeah. Mushroom. I got the uh the the depending on who you're sitting with, uh I got the the the, the Pacific Rim. Uh, it, it, well, I so, thought you had lunch together, not sex. What were you doing? <laughs> it sounds like it. You know, this there is what go. I wonder. <laughs> the Pacific Rim is is uh, bacon, pineapple, caramelized onions, and jalapenos. So I, and the oh, the, the, the real Pacific, yeah, the the Pacific Rim though is like where all the hot volcano is, you know. And I'm just wondering if oh, those yeah. jalapenos are going to make me have the Pacific Rim. You I know think you mean? will, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Later yeah. tonight, yeah. she's going to be specific. like, "Dan, you should sleep in your studio." Yeah, maybe, maybe. I, I actually thought about getting some sort of something to be able to take a nap down here, you know, but uh, 
Who knows? Dan, Who knows? You don't, yeah, you don't want to make it. the holy shiitake. No, that's the uh, the the mushroom one. Yeah, yeah. baby, that like holy it. shiitake is a fan favorite. Yeah. Anybody who comes to town, we always go there with him, and, nice. and we always let's try go it. there it's on all Thursday it. night where we go to this place and get pizza like that. So we have oh, that's good. Yeah. Hey, Gary, Gary, oh, what we were could you do saying? a mellow. We could do a mellow mushroom over here. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Mushroom. There's a couple of them. What oh, was yeah. I saying, Gary? Dan, you don't want to make it easy to take a nap. You want to be able to, like, uh, if it's if you just look over your shoulder and, and see like a nice, comfortable place, you're, you're not yeah. going to get the work done. That makes uh, sense. See, Gary, that's where you're wrong. Easy doesn't even come into it. I've literally laid down on the floor in my in this <laughs> office before and taken a nap. Well, the do dog a bed. normal human being would, would find a comfortable a dog, place to take a, a nap. dog bed count, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I, well, because I this is what I told my wife. I said because uh, down here in the basement we have a full bathroom, and if I was to put a mini fridge, a microwave, and something to like take a nap on, I could probably not go upstairs for weeks. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah true, man. true. Thank you, Randy, for for posting. Well, you could that. do a sleep stream then too. You could just you know if you can't get on a show, you're but tired. What and... if I have one of them dreams? You know what I'm saying? Oh, well. Then it'll oh, be, like, be even more entertaining, though. Wait, it, it'd be the rehearsal for Andy's pool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, remember Dale? Remember That's Dale right. Keogh did his? Uh, oh sleep God! Train. He had like when nine other people watching. Yeah, him. he wow. fell yeah. out of his chair, right? But that was more of a drunken uh, pass out stream. Yeah, the drunkest. Man. Yeah, but he like quadrupled <laughs> his followers. That was fantastic. Yeah, it was Dude, great. It was, I, was, I saw that thing. It was funny. Maybe there I'll were a couple some... times when my wife was traveling for work. Where when she was out of town, I honestly thought of turning my phone on to do a live stream and just having it on my nightstand and being like, going to bed, y'all. Have fun watching. And then just, <laughs> just going to yeah. bed and leaving it on until I woke up eight hours later just to see I, what happens. What wow. if you could lock yourself in your studio and take peyote and then just turn the camera on, you know? <laughs> peyote. <laughs> or mescaline. There you go. Yeah. Is that a yeah. How long does it allow you to, to live stream? How long does does is, would YouTube allow you to live stream? Does it? Is there I, think, I don't know. I mean, I Dale's went for how limit. long? I don't know. I don't know. Because I mean, it's funny to do a twenty four hour uh, like a like a Truman Show type thing. You know. Yeah. That could be the tag line. Is is you're, you're streaming until YouTube shuts you down? Yeah. Yeah. And if you had a like, I got these little battery packs that can like. You know, charge your phone like five times. You could literally follow that. Have a camera person follow you around the whole time. You know, That's that true. way you don't, you're not locked down in a room. You know, I'm going Doc to Doc Bruschi says he thinks twelve hours. Twelve, really? Maybe. But who are those people that do the crazy ones? Is it Twitch then? Like some other platform? Yeah, Twitch probably does. Yeah. Twelve hours. Probably. I thought I've seen like closeout streams that that have gone longer, but I could be crazy. Hey, you I know mean, I've streamed for ten, but on it, different channels. Speaking so. of crazy, this is uh, I don't know if you can see down here behind me. See all those records? So Ooh, I uh, sure uh, can. Uh, uh, I'd say uh, records. Two, what are records? You know what they are. <laughs> two and a half of those uh, crates were mine. And then the other one and a half I inherited, my aunt gave me that belonged to my uncle and my aunt. And uh, I'd say 90% of it's country music. And I'm really not a country music guy. But uh, being that they have stickers on them that say stuff like Jemco, uh, and this record cost, you know, $3.83, I thought, hey, maybe I'll give these a try. And I found that I like a lot of it. Uh, there was a hmm. song by Waylon Jennings. This is why Crazy brought it up. It said, uh, um, I've always been crazy, but it keeps me from going insane. That's a song. And, oh, and yeah. I was like, I can relate to that. Now I can see the appeal, you know, relatability. Because like barbecue sauce and trucks and, you know, going going to the demolition derby, like all that stuff, I I couldn't relate to it. Well, oh, Bernie says yeah. after 12 hours, StreamYards will disable the link. But if so. you go stream through YouTube Direct, huh? Oh. Right. If you do YouTube Live that way, yeah. Yeah. Maybe uh, that's the deal. 
Santiago says, I would love Gary to do a reboot. I'm guessing he means recreation of Tomb of Dracula. Uh, you mean the whole series or a specific cover? Because that's yeah, a lot of work. What does that mean? <laughs> How long was that series? It was like a, over 100 issues, wasn't it? I don't know. If Aaron was here, he could tell us, that loser. He probably has yes. it. Hey, know. hey, Gary, what is that book behind you? It, it looks like oh, it's he didn't get the art. Seat. Of Gary Martin, where can someone purchase this? The campaign is closed. I'm starting to fulfill it. Um, okay, but you can have any like on order, eBay or a store or something. I have not set up anything yet. I will be, okay. um, but you can order it directly from me. Um, awesome. Ink art at earthlink.net. All right. Yeah, because I uh, I have your your there you uh, go your how to ink book. I have that one. Do you have both of them? Awesome. No, I have one. I didn't know there were two. I got. Well, you might have. Like, well, they they collected both into one, and that's what I have. Maybe that's what I have because it's it's a good inch. Yeah, the something. thick one is the collection. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. Then I then that's what I must have then. All Gary, right. have you ever inked a Gene Colon? Um, I avoided Gene Colon. He Why? was he was over my head. Um, hmm. He's really loose. Yeah. If you look at ink artists that inked him well there's only a handful i know palmer, i didn't palmer know the being the list the, the, of the uh, ink think, artists that failed i think palmer I think was joe my Bennett did a good job too well, yeah there's just I a did couple, like palmer klaus right. jansen tom palmer uh steve leolea on on Howard the duck can, can you imagine brilliant. can you imagine Wasn't if somebody, a guy named smith that did went to uh, can, can you imagine somebody unorthodox going over colon like like a terry austin you know, well, no. there, there are a lot of different guys. That would be a that tried him. Yeah, yes. a lot of different guys that tried them and and just didn't succeed. Because if, if you look at uh, seventy issues, Matthew. Uh, <laughs> Matt yeah, but I, was... honestly, I don't think Terry Austin ever inked them, and I really no. wouldn't be surprised no. if he was asked and he said no. Yeah, because really, yeah. because Terry told me this was this was back when I did my. I had a draw book in 97 when I was working on it and I asked him to ink a page of mine for the, that chapter of the book. And we were talking and I asked him about breakdowns and he's like, I don't like inking breakdowns. No, he doesn't. I, I want, I want everything to be there. Yeah. So yeah. I can't imagine him inking Gene Colon. Can you imagine like a, a 1989 to 91 Scott Williams? Remember when he? I was. I was actually just going to say yeah. I'd like to see Scott Williams do it even now. Yeah, because Scott, Scott, when he inked Textiera on a uh, on a Punisher, Punisher annual, it was really cool, you know. And and uh, it, he because before Jim kind of locked him down, he he inked a few people, you know, uh, like he he did a job over Liefeld. He did uh, the the Deathlock series. Was that over? Um, is that a guy who did that? Uh, the death. Oh uh, yeah. Well, well, Dennis Cowan did a Deathlock series, but but uh, Butch guys did a mini. One. Oh, that was Butch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but that was Scott. Was that Williams Scott inked that. That's Scott Williams inks on that. That's why I'm oh, saying shit. that pocket of time is when Scott was inking a lot of people. Not a lot, but now when you when you think about him now, it's like Jim and Wills, but mostly Jim. But back in those right. days, it was really interesting. That the Tex job is the one that I was like, "Yo," because Tex is usually really kind of brushy and and yeah, gritty. And yeah. Scott kept it true, but gave it that that you know zow. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. it's the same thing with when he inked Brett Anderson on um, Strike Force Moratory. Early times, you know, because Brent's kind of along those lines right? too. He yeah, well and Brent's, Brent's, I think Brent, uh, his his proportions can be kind of wonky sometimes. Mm. Yeah, and and you know, guys that that tighten him up and um, really make Brent uh, shine. You know, so like what you're talking about, someone that knows what they're doing on on Brent makes Brent look amazing. No. He's already a great artist, but you what did you what did you ink him on? Because I want to see that. Um, you remember a few different things. What was that series he did with Busick? Um, oh, Astro City, 
Yeah, I did uh, an issue of that, filling in for the regular anchor. Yeah. Right on. Well, and, I thought and, Brent was the regular anchor on that book. No. So maybe he was good. Um, I'm trying to remember who it was. It might have been Blyberg. I can't remember. But oh, to his credit, Busick to this day sends me uh, royalties on that one issue. Holy smokes. That's really? Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, yeah. Busick is is uh, an honorable man. He really he really is. That's interesting. I got to see. I'm going to have to hunt that down. I assume that was when they first launched the book you're talking about. I don't remember the different uh, types of series that was. It was just in the middle of the run. And um, the inker, I think it was Blyberg, couldn't think, get to it. All right. So. The I'm going to have guys, to try and find it. The best inkers are guys like you, uh, Gary, that that also draw. You know, like the that's when they, you know, some guys are, are really good at, like having a catalog of lines you know i remember at extreme guys did these drills you know fades and it, you know thick to thins and and the drills that you do but a lot of those guys right. were were clearly using sort of a set of not formulaic but it was like as long as you stayed within these guardrails on this stuff you're gonna look great and it's gonna be acceptable but i found right. that the guys that had penciling in their portfolios as well the ones that could actually draw those guys oh, yeah. are the ones that that really excel because they 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 put a, a little extra uh, dimensionality and you know volume and understanding weight and and uh, separation. So uh, you guys are appreciated. Well, thank you. I oh, mean, yeah. for me, it was always the drawing part helped me read the pencils, and yeah. so I I understood what I was looking at. The inking part. It's just spending hours and hours and hours studying uh, masters and 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 their choices, mm -hmm. looking at original art, inking over, you know, doing recreations, that kind of thing, and and that yeah. that adds to your arsenal of, of you know what you're capable. So you're not, you know, using your template of these are the lines that I use, and I have to fit everything into that. You know, like the example that you were giving. Right. What do you, you know, do? You have a uh, like one of the things that. Uh, I really dig and, and it was something that I realized whether it's uh, rap music, pop music, comic art, an actor or whatever. The w one thing that makes you remember them is that they do something that is instantly identifiable. You know, it's like when I see Klaus Janssen's inks, I know it's him. Right. And, and oh, yeah. And, and those those choices. Are so almost uniquely his that you can study him but part of me thinks he's just going you know what i mean well yeah i mean you can't <laughs> if i tried to mimic klaus um i would be it would be defeating the purpose sure. but do you see how he translates okay we were talking about klaus over gene colon gene mm -hmm. colon's pencils are he's just putting down gray tones yeah it's yeah. not like individual lines, you know, like like Andy, your your lines are very distinct. Right. Right. Um, oh yeah. Oh, you're muted. Billy, can't hear you. Billy, Billy's miming. I gotta run. I gotta take my son to wrestling. Sorry to interrupt hey. Gary. I apologize. Hey. Interrupt the big ups, story. big ups and, and break a leg as they say yeah, or keep, whatever. Thanks, bro. You can ask yeah. Andy. Um if I'm back and you're still on, I'll be here. All right, brother. Good Bye, luck guys. with your son. Bye-bye. Well, one so, thing. Yeah. Go ahead. But while we're talking about Gene and stuff, did you guys ever see the Captain America pages and Neil Adams inked over them for fun? No. 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 Oh, now, well, no. now you can. Oh, wow. I mean, you see Neil, definitely, but wow. And these aren't when the best did, scans. I pulled When did he do before. this? He did it. It was honestly, it was maybe a year before he passed away before oh, yeah. Gail passed away um that's why they're not like totally finished but um i think i might have i just opened the folder because i had them in a folder Ooh, it doesn't that. quite work but it's oh, it it's, works for me really yeah it's I see different it color on it you know what i mean like it, it, as a black and white i see where some of the forms get a little wonky 
Yeah, but, that's uh, the word I would have. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, but uh, I think some color would tie this down in a nice way. Like the look at the way he sh in that second to last panel of just fury, the you get a sense of sculpture on the face, which I like. Yeah, and that's that's what I mean yeah. by interpreting. Yeah, you have to interpret Gene Colan's lines where he's just looking at gray tones. He's not looking right. at you know distinct lines, and so yeah. he's. Right. He's making those choices of of how many lines to put in and following yeah. the, you know. You know, I thought did pretty right. well with Colin was uh, Bob Smith on Night Force. Do you remember that? Yeah, Bob Smith did a did a great job on on Gene Colin stuff at DC. Yeah. Now the, that, that, that bottom right. figure of Captain America is so Gene Colin, like yeah. the pose. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the rendering you know. kind of looks like uh, Dennis Cowan a little bit though, like oh, especially right. in the arm. Yeah, but that's the, what I'm thinking. Yeah. The figure in the foreground is that Bucky. That doesn't look yeah. like Gene Colan at all to me. No, that's Neil. That's no. that's all Neil. You know, the my favorite uh job that Klaus did was was uh I don't remember the issue. I, I see the splash page in my mind's eye like nobody's business, but it was over Gil Kane. Uh there's a Hulk. Uh and he's Are you like, talking about that Defenders oh, annual? Is, yes, is that it, Andy? Yes. Yeah, I believe that's it. Do wait, you, wait, wait. Do you mean what? Wait, hold on. Do you mean the Defenders annual? Because I don't remember that, but I remember the Avengers What If that the Hulk is in. No, I think what if be in that no, be that. it, it yeah. starts off like Hulk picks up a car and throws a car, but like he's kind of jumping out at you. Uh, I'll look it up. I'll, I'll see if I have it in my collection. Hold on. No, and yeah, I, think, I, don't, I, I think that's what I was thinking of is that the What If. Yeah, because I don't really? remember. I know he did covers for Defender. I don't remember Defender's Annual though. I'm just thinking about the the characters that he was inking. And it was yeah, a, yeah, like, a, a variety of characters. And his shit. I, I wish I could remember what it was. I remember panels of him using Zipatone. You're right. Master. You're right. It's uh, what if three page mm -hmm. one. Yeah. It's a, and it's the exact image. It's the exact image I remember. But uh, yeah, I guess it was a a, a what if. Yeah, it must up. be. So here are the here is pencils. Yeah, I mean Gene's right. pencils. I mean they're intimidating. Like yeah, I would I would like, mind taking. I was gonna say I wouldn't mind taking a crack the, at it now. Could you but, zoom in on the top right panel that face? Uh yeah. Both faces. I mean look, there's there aren't any lines there. It's all. Great tone. It's all tone. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, yeah. It, and some artists well, have tried it, interpreting that with wash. I mean, it's just there's a zip a tone, cross hatching. I mean, there's this a hundred ways you can go at it, but it's still you have to interpret it. Yeah. Right. You guys remember the, the couple times they printed his pencils? Uh, I think it was ragamuffins or something like that. They did. Yeah, DC and, tried. And, and, oh, uh, well, wait, here you go. Here's was, Neil Dinks um, over that oh, same page. Yeah, nice, nice. Can you show the pencils again? I was digging up yeah, that see, one. That was, it doesn't. It looks cool, but it doesn't look like Gene Colan anymore. Yeah, what was right. the, the detective story the way oh, he did shit. direct? He did pencils to print. Oh, Nathan Nathaniel something. Dusk. Nathaniel Dusk, yeah, that's a cool. uh, dude. Right. I I I could see this in in Scott Williams' vision for sure. Well, but Scott, Scott draws. Inked. Too, yeah. What did Scott put out a sketchbook? And if I knew where it was on my bookshelf, I'd get it. Where he inked a bunch of different people, and yeah. there was some Neil Adams stuff in there. And this is before he inked a few Batman pages over Neil. Um, because Neil's a lot of side of the pencil, too. And oh, one yeah. of the drawings he inked over Neil was like it was a Conan, I think, that was really never supposed to be inked because it was pencil kind of like this. And hmm. Scott just interpreted the hell out of it and made it look fantastic. Do you ever see his Elswin pages that he inked over Burn? Yes. Those man, can you imagine if they just said, "Let's publish this and make a mint"? Because they would, dude. They would. They would. They that would be the top selling book at uh, DC. Yeah. For sure. See, I, yeah. I, I look at. I, I that's look the at one. This. Yeah, yeah. That's. The I one. look at this and I look at just how juicy those weights are oh yeah, oh, yeah. i mean that's, that's with inking line weight variety is 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 key and most inkers don't do that most inkers especially today their their line weights are all the same yeah 
Yep. Unless it has well, it's a because a lot of them are inking their own work and they just don't know what they're doing. Look yeah. at that Hulk on. Well, the pens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. His thicks and fins and, and, and so yeah, the contour lines. It, it's just, you don't see that anymore. Yeah. yeah. I was looking through job. some. Was that Sal or is that Gil? It's Gil Kane. It's Gil. It's Gil, Kane. Gil Kane. Yeah. Yeah. Um, DC put out this week the uh, a facsimile edition of a Batman uh, treasury edition that mm. Neil did. And it, it's it's like the birth of the demon stuff. It has one issue in it drawn by Irv Novick, but it's all inked by Dick Giordano. And I mean, you just look at that and you totally see that, you know, Klaus was obviously worked with and influenced by Dick, you know. And somebody asked me on Twitter who I thought in the 70s was the better inker, Klaus or Dick Giordano. Ooh. And I said, if you're talking about the 70s, it's Dick. I'd say it was Dick because I don't think Klaus really came into his own until late 70s and the 80s. Well, yeah. well, Giordano was 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 much more versatile. He could ink a lot of yeah. different types of of pencilers. You know, a, a lot of the stuff that you're showing on, I think it's Twitter, the Gil Kane stuff that you're showing. I remember, yeah, I was hanging around DC in the early '80s, and and I was uh, uh, Giordano's assistant. I inked a lot of his backgrounds, and I. I was able to ink some of uh, Gil Kane's covers, the backgrounds, and, and Giordano was inking the figures. And so I, seeing Giordano ink Gil Kane was like a, a teaching moment for me. I bet. Oh, wow. I bet. Yeah, yeah. it was awesome. It was awesome. The other <laughs> thing that, uh, that Klaus is really good at that he doesn't get a lot of credit for, except maybe from guys like us, but he can color his ass off. Like when he's coloring. Oh, hell stuff, yeah. So great. Dude, that Daredevil, you just said it, the Daredevil stuff. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and for the time period, holy mm -hmm. crap. That's, yeah, I mean, yeah. that stuff still holds up today. Yes, it, yeah, does. it does. Those yeah. choices, man. Yeah. Uh, Santiago says opinions of Al Milgram as an anchor. I mean, Al was just that guy that it was like, Get her you done. Know, they just went to. Yeah, you know? he was a, a company guy. Yeah. He wasn't. Oh, Vespa guy, five bucks. Thank you. Fraga, if you like rap, have you seen Pete and Bass? Yes. Two UK in their 70s yes. drill rap. They they Shuffle are hilarious. They, you don't know, really? like, if you if you close your eyes, shit is amazing. And when you look at it, it looks like your father, you know, like <laughs> my dad's 80, but you know, but it's still it, it, like it throws you off and it, it it's yeah. One. No, those guys are great, and that you know they're spitting about blasting people and, and things like that. It's, it's funny stuff. Yes, oh thank God. you, Vespa guy. Gary, do you know who uh, I think are Ian Aiken? Did oh yeah. Uh -huh. no. Do you know that? I, I loved his, his. I know his, his work. I loved his oh, work. Well, it's my, two different my... people. Ian Aiken is two different people. Ian, Ian well, Aiken. Aiken and huh? Garvey. Oh, I was talking Aiken about. Oh. Ian Aiken, no, he inked my my about? barbed wire, he inked my agent's law at, at Dark Horse, all my stuff at Dark Horse. Yeah, he was really, yeah. and he He's nailed good. it. I mean, he yeah. was this. He, he was this one first, of the one of the good guys. Yeah, one of the first times I was really satisfied with an inker who, like, man, these pencils are this, these inks are what I pencil. Like, wow, it was really great. So, was that before or after uh, uh, Craig Russell? Craig Russell? When did Craig Russell? He, I don't remember Craig, Craig Russell and give me. Craig Russell didn't ink you on, on some of your earlier stuff? I don't think so. Who am I Kevin thinking Nolan of? inked the job over him. Kevin Nolan? What? No, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin Nolan inked one of Dan's first jobs, yeah. and I yeah, hate we, him we for it. We showed it last time. Yeah. I, I hate him for it now, too. <laughs> I know. Everybody hates him for it. <laughs> but every, I guess everybody has, like, a, a a favorite inker, you know? Or, you know, it's like, uh, for me, you know, I my favorite is kind of unsung hero is Larry Stucker. Larry, he was oh sure he he, he always brought a, an extra flavor to it without overpowering it which i really really enjoyed the collaborative effort you know i really don't want my pencils translated one for one i like i like that uh that harmonic collaboration that, that third thing that's created it's like one, one of the guys and i've been called 
one of the favorite inkers if uh, i'm patting myself on the back that's why i'm really strong on this arm but uh the uh liefeld whenever i ink liefeld he he and i have a great time um and you know he he likes what the that third thing that's created when we put our our uh, skills together are you allowed are you allowed to ink his faces yes everything oh i'm one of the few. special i'm one of the few I but know. i but but i'm well studied and well versed and i understand his pencils that's true completely yeah, yeah that's it. you know it, really yeah. you need an inker who can almost be a mind reader because you even i when i'm drawing something even i don't know how i really want to finish it so right. you've got to trust your inker to 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 be sort of take over and go in the direction that you're going in yeah and make it happen and, and it's great when you get it back and go oh this is better than i thought <laughs> yeah, that's I, a craft I, I, Dan, you hit it. It's exact. That's yeah. exactly it. Is you try to read the, the penciler's mind, yeah. and and you know most times you don't. Most yeah. <laughs> well, I as like a penciler too, you got to you got to you got to read your writer's mind. Sometimes you got to think. Oh, well, what? That, where yeah. did they want to go? What did? Where? Where? What were they? If they could draw, what would they be drawing? You know that kind of thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. One right. of my favorite people to ink was, is Andy. He did a, a really nice breakdown of Sniper and. That was a lot of fun you know it's like i i feel like some people are built for finishing and some people aren't you know and, and I, I think finishing is a lot of fun and i think kevin nolan is one of those guys i mean he he tends to overpower people but you can tell he's having a good time too yeah well that's what they said about uh, tom palmer when i was first starting out at, at carl potts asked me who do you want as an inker and i said tom palmer he goes oh he's going to really overpower your stuff i said yeah that's the point <laughs> That's fix my cool, fix man. my crappy drawings you know yeah i didn't know i didn't know you worked with carl he was uh, that's my first editor yeah when yeah. i, a lot when of I the, was the, the master uh filipino artists did the same thing you know like oh uh, yeah Alcala, rudy nebris rudy nebris and and uh nestor redondo you knew that that's what they're they were going to do you may not even see your work when yeah. they were finished yeah. but that was not a bad thing no, it was no. I would love, skill. I would love to have had somebody like that on my first few jobs. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would, yeah, because then it comes out and you're like, oh yeah, that looks fantastic. People are gonna think I'm awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Bob. Maybe Oxner that'd be fun to try to yeah, ink I, some of you guys. Though. Yeah. yeah, I inked some of his backgrounds in my Giordano DC days. That's awesome. Oh wow. Yeah. He was, yeah, yeah he was very cool. talented. I think uh, highly, highly underrated. We don't, his name doesn't come up enough. I, he I never very, knew who he was. Busy. I never knew who he was until the professionals, but I was, a, you know, a Marvel zombie also fell into the, you know, the black and white invasion. I, I fell, fell way deep into that. Uh, the only DC stuff I really bought uh, because I wanted it was Dark Knight, Man of Steel, Watchmen. But, you know, guys like Oxner, like we are show professionals that we do on, on Tuesday nights. Uh, a lot of the guys bring up stuff. I'm like, who the hell is that? That's amazing. Oh, that's Bob Oxner. And for me, it's like getting a gift because I'm like, who the hell is that? What's that? And mm -hmm. then I d deep dive into it and I'm like, I feel like a kid again. Like it's a brand yeah, new yeah, yeah. It's all It's all new, you know? Yeah. yeah. And that was my experience at DC. I was a Marvel guy, you know, as a fan and then getting into comics was through Dick Giordano and Terry Austin nice. at DC. And I didn't know who most of those guys were. I had no idea who yeah. most of those guys were. And and so it was, it was, you know, a huge, you know, being a comic art nerd, you know, talking about uh, playing in a candy store. I mean, it was, it was, it was amazing. While I'm on it, as I'm thinking about it, Vince Coletta gets a lot of, he, he gets a lot of flat, but I don't think it's that deserved. Eh, you know what it is, though? The, the, the comic people, this is one of the things that used to like irk me when when uh, when I was doing stuff in, in early 2000s in the birth of the Internet. You grieve and you, you pain yourself over doing those 22 pages. And maybe right. here and there, there's a panel you have to just let go. And you're like, it makes you ill. And then you read a review and they're like, yeah, Frega sucks. Do you see that face on page nine? And you're like, oh, right. Yeah, that one panel, right. And, but I, I entirely suck. It doesn't matter that, you know, 85% yeah. of this was amazing. Right. That 15 right. defines you. And I think that's kind of what's going on with 
Coletta. You know, I think of those real wispy jobs that he did that looked like he took all the lines out and you go, what the fuck is this? But well, you're right. He did get Coletta, a bad. Coletta was a take the money and run guy. He mm -hmm. he saw comics as a job and he was the guy that could turn like a graphic novel around in a week. What? And, and and he inked a lot of the Marvel graphic novels, which to me, you know, kind of defeated the purpose of, of a graphic novel, but because <laughs> of the, you know, the deadline situation. And so yeah. he got his working method was crank them out as fast as possible. And that's why he took lines out. This is, it, it was a time thing. Yeah. I, when I was working at DC, um, they hired me to ink a Kurt Swan, Vince Coletta, Superman newspaper strip backgrounds. And so uh -huh. I was at DC sitting in, you know, a little room and they put a stack of them in front of me. And I didn't even recognize the inking. It was so good. It's wow. like, I couldn't believe it was Vince Coletta. And that just, you know, made me realize that Vince Coletta picks and chooses when he wants to take his time and when he wants to show off that he really was was very should, very skilled you said it was for so, a newspaper strip yeah the super that might, that might be why because you, you know like the comic even though the numbers were cool on comics news strips had many more eyeballs on it and right. and, and were more respected and paid <laughs> paid and much paid, better and paid right yeah paid much better and i so, remember toiling away in my little room and, and, you know, inking these backgrounds and, and uh, Bob Smith and Ernie Cologne came in and said, Oh man, this, these figures are inked masterfully. Who, who inked these? I thought it's Vince Coletta and they couldn't believe it. <laughs> That's how good well, it was. Jim, I mean, so Jim Shooter, I, I was talking to Jim Shooter in uh, Fayetteville. That was a con you and I were at Dan. Yeah. yeah and I remember. we were talking about Coletta and Jim told me that a lot of the stuff that Coletta took out of the pencils, you know, backgrounds, stuff like that, is because, you know, at least when Jim was the editor in chief or whatever, Jim would say, yeah, we need this job. Get it done. Do what you have to. Right. And that's why it was more because Jim was like, yeah, he got a bad rap for that. But people don't realize that editorial decision. we would. It, we would tell him to do that. Mm -hmm. And one story Jim told was he, and he couldn't remember who the anchor was, or maybe he did. And he just didn't want to say his name, but basically Jim did give a, give a different anchor at that time in the you seventies know, or whatever, a job that he needed turned around really fast. And the guy did it really fast and made the deadline. But the problem is it looked like a coloring book. So the guy didn't take out backgrounds or anything. He inked everything, but he inked it all like a coloring book. No sh no shading, whatever. That's what the guy took out. And, wow. and Jim had to have basically the bullpen or whatever go in and put blacks in the work and stuff because they just couldn't print it that way. And that's when Jim realized, I'd rather have Coletta do it and take stuff out than you know, have it look like a coloring book or whatever. So I don't yeah. know. Well, it's yeah. Coletta, like, yeah, he did definitely even his reputation today is tarnished, but he was right. very talented and he, he knew what he was yeah. doing. He really did. You look at the romance books. Oh, HR even says romance comic Coletta. You look at that. And I always say that when Kirby was doing Thor and fantastic four at the same time, Joe Sennett was perfect on Fantastic Four because it was sci-fi, high techy, so slick and clean. But for Thor, Coletta was better because it was more illustrative in a way. So mm -hmm. that wispy line work that Coletta did and the texture he gave the stuff just worked right. better on Thor. Yeah, I agree. You know? Uh, yeah, Joe penciled stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sennett definitely penciled stuff. What do you think of Coletta's work on Dazzler? Um, I don't remember that. Did he ink Jr. I know Jr. Jr. drew the first issue, but beyond that, I have no idea. Got to say, not a Dazzler fan. Dennis, yeah, that, you were a Dazzler fan. I think you told me that was your favorite comic at the time. <laughs> uh, if you're if you're trying to get me to say that it was my favorite, it wasn't. 
but I do have them all and I do enjoy, I did enjoy wow. it. Wow. Uh, so we know De time. Dennis is a misogynist because he didn't like Dazzler. Go ahead. No, I, I, I like Dazzler. I always enjoyed Dazzler. I, yeah, I, Dan, so did you like Dazzler? Dazzler. On. Poor Dazzler. Yeah, Comics for Life. That was not a book that I read, so I don't, I have no opinion on <laughs> who, yeah. Oh, Coletta yeah. inked Frank Springer on Dazzler. So that's different because Frank Springer was known more for inking, I thought, than uh, than penciling. So, do you, do you need uh, me to go pull out of Dazzler? Is that what you're saying? As long as you're pull, you're going to pull out of Dazzler. I mean, that's respectful. I can I can get Dazzler up if you want. You know, yes, me. yeah, like you can that. do that. Yeah, you can do that. Then I don't have to go. go pull you don't, the even though you guys have the records. Uh, you know, uh, Dennis uh, Torchbearer says Dennis enjoys cosplaying as Dazzler. He does okay. when him and his wife yeah, play dress up on those roller skates. That's right. Nobody wants T to see that. Tell Dennis. me, uh, tell me which one that you're uh, wanting wanting me to look at. Oh, I have no idea. You just have to look and find one that Springer. No, did. no, no. I'm uh, saying, I'm saying, pop my screen up. And oh, okay, hold on. It, Dennis prefers Gemma and the holograms. He does. That, no, that's it, truly it, outrageous. And by the way, it's J E M. <laughs> and, and and it's the holograms. That's right. Not the hooligans. The, the hooligans. It's like hooligans. Hooligan hool holograms. I don't know, man. I would just say pick an issue in the middle of the run. That's probably Springer. Okay. Let's, I can't imagine uh, Springer drawing like with... issue two. Maybe yeah, the one right. with that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Bill Sienkiewicz. Oh, Quasar is in it. This is a Bill Sienkiewicz cover. Inked by Get Romita. out of here. Inked, Inked by, by John Romita. John Romita. Okay, so yeah. Right here, Bill that, yeah, and a, John Romita. That's a, that's a well out. drawn and inked uh, uh, cover. That is bugging Dude, I've never out. seen Bill Inked by Romita before. Frank Springer and Vince Coletta. Good call, you guys. Holy shit. There you go. Yeah, it looks, it looks a lot like uh, Coletta. It looks a lot like yeah. the 70s. <laughs> those, those, yeah, that's, those glasses those guys haven't... Uh, She's got oh baby hands. Nine that. panel pages. Got a... <laughs> Dan oh, says she has baby hands. Confirmed. Okay. Dan likes his women okay, with I man hands. I do. <laughs> it makes me feel normal. Uh, this is a great panel. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, it's nice. nice. Page. And that, that really. I almost really... want to get this issue just because Quasar's in it. <laughs> yeah. That's a great design. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Except what? How do you read it? Is it one, two, three, four? Yeah, good or question. is it? You know, that's I the think only you're clockwise. Yeah, I, I think it's know. clockwise. Okay, not one, two, three, four, five. Okay, another niner. Oh my god! This... Oh, lovely. Oh, I like that. saucy. I like that shot. Overlap. I like. Just overlap. think about this and compare it to the what we were looking at earlier with Captain America and. Yeah. You know, yeah, just, exactly. here's a here's a story with a woman in it the way a woman would kind of be you know who's writing oh this? i'll have to sure. i'll have to show dan that captain america page and see if he can spot what's wrong with it okay who's uh, giving, who's giving uh, the artist uh, uh, danny, danny fingerroth okay from an idea by tom defalco okay. oh, so real early. quick carbon dioxide I, any mark beecham fans dude i love mark beach mark beecham's work. awesome he draws incredible leather yeah, yeah I realistic. He, mark didn't beecham, he kind of do more Photo feel it photorealistic style? Yeah. Yes. Yes. But he always but Neil Adams one. said that Mark Beecham was one of the best artists he ever hired. Really? really? On uh, yep. some Huntress back uh backup stories. I this I is also Beecham. Springer and Coletta. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. You ain't Beecham? Oh, here we go. Yeah. I gotta find that because that is such a that's like Joe Sinnott inking Beecham, which is weird. <laughs> no, no, Andy. Um I clearly, wait, wait, slow down here. Slow down here. If you oh, see sorry. it, I clearly didn't know what I was doing back then. It was it was one, oh. some, one of my early uh, early jobs. I was I was okay. in over my head. This Springer stuff's kind of a trip to me because there's like a weird flux on approaches to faces. Like this is a little more in realistic face, but then here he goes yeah, like almost tough. Yeah. yeah, it's got like a Toaf Hot Wheels feel to it. Right, this, right. This looks like an advertisement page, like you can you know, more than yeah. a comic page. Yeah, it does. Same here. It like is nice, though. Proud. I mean, that's nice. Look, this is Coletta, right? Yeah, yeah. And Frank Springer still? Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. That's and this nice is the graphic there, novel. That bottom scene there with that. Yeah. Go back one page. That that, that looked really yeah, good. This, bottom this, panel. Yeah, this, this that looks looks like totally very cool. impressive. Mazzucchelli almost. Yeah. I think this is when they they started doing the glossier paper, and 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 the they hadn't figured out the coloring yet. No, not quite. They, they now I did not a answer this. Line. I can't answer this question. Was Mark Beecham a people of Sienkiewicz? I think he was a people of Adams, not Sienkiewicz. Hmm. Neil Adams. Right. A good storm. Yeah, go to the original source. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, yeah the coloring on this is, is hurting oh, sorry, my Sorry, Dennis. Hey, uh, Randy again, Howell, $2. Though. Andy needs to do a stream on Bud Root art. I mean, I can do that one day. No problem. I mean, I've gone through his sketchbooks and stuff before, but I could dedicate a stream to that. I, I would totally want, like to do that, Andy. Would you? Yeah, we could do it together. Yeah, wanna, you wanna... maybe get that Dennis guy out of here. He's such a coat rider. Yeah, you, <laughs> I mean, we'll have it the DNA show. Yeah, but he's rivaling us now. This he's practicing his drawing, so he's going to be passing us soon. I know. Uh, <laughs> Beecham <laughs> Web of Spider Man art is amazing, dude. The one yes. with the black hat. That issue with the black cat, holy crap. Talk about a, in the 80s. And talk about black, black leather. leather. Yeah, that, yeah, I think I remember that was pretty risque for Marvel, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Okay, so he was talking about Beecham's painting style. I mean, hmm. could be. I kind of consider Beecham and, and Sienkiewicz contemporaries, so I don't know. Hmm. He did a book called Siphons for Now Comics, which was blue line colored, it looked like. But then Image reprinted it as a trade paperback, which I have all in black and white. And I freaking love it. If you're Bob a Beecham fan, it's, I, that it's sounds a superhero familiar. thing. Yeah, I'm a fan that? of black and white reprints. So you can see the, the line art. Yeah, I love that that trade paperback. I'll have to do a do a book look on that. Um, but oh, yeah, let me show that. Let me show Dan that Captain America panel and play. Yeah, I want to see Guys, it. don't. Don't, yeah, don't ruin it. it. I, I want to know what's wrong. I want to know what's wrong with We're it. We're making Dan have to guess while you, what is wrong with this panel. Andy, could it, you, while he's looking at that, could you find a Kirby uh, Captain America action page so you could see how action is supposed to be drawn? Are you talking Tales of Suspense uh, Cap or are you talking 70s Cap? Um, it yeah, doesn't I mean, matter. Tales it of really suspense, doesn't matter. Uh, 59 has a wonderful shot of him jumping out of a window. All right, well here we go, Dan. All right. And Let's this is a, this is a book that just uh That's right. Go back nice and tight, guys. We are watching the closeout stream and talking about comic art of Nice and Tight the comic book pencil art of Andy Smith. So close to 10,000 bucks. Go check it out and go back it. Um and Torchbearer is right. Mark Beecham did some penthouse comics painted work. I have that as well. All right, Dan, Shiny. here we go. Shiny. This came out this week. Come roll, please. Uh, this, this came out this, this week, and Dan, this is a mini series hmm. that takes place right after X Men Two Sixty Eight. Really? Okay. Yes, and it's written by Chris Claremont, and it has Wolverine in it and everything. Yes. Uh, well, first off, uh, Black Widow doesn't have powers. She's really good. <laughs> Boom! At, she's good at what she does, but uh, you just answered the question. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she. You win. The whole catching the shield business wouldn't fly, even if it was a ricochet. But see how, exactly. how uh, nonchalant she is, like like it's she's catching a and, a and she yeah and she's saying and and her tone. I know there's there's no tone, but I'm reading tone. She's Steve, Steve, like, right? Yeah, Steve, like yep. oh yeah, con yeah, con like a little bit of condescending. Um, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, you nailed please. it. Please, okay, yep. please. please, Steve, stop throwing your little shieldy thing around. Mm -hmm. Yep, I think it sounds yep. looks like it's mom showing up to to interrupt a kid playing Captain America. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, uh, our buddy Amis Ninja asks, was Jerry Bingham a student of Neil Adams? I don't think so, but I honestly don't know. So, what do they mean, student of? studied or actually apprenticed under uh i think he means i think he means you know heavily influenced by but i don't really see that in jerry's work by everybody what's that we're all heavily influenced by everybody. oh yeah hey uh yeah but you know some guys are heavily influenced more 
Well, uh, she's just, wearing vibranium a, panties. That's Why don't we, where you say I'm going to draw like this guy, Andy? Let's right. do the do the the panel, and more importantly, the chat a favor and just cleanse their palate of this with some tastiness. There, there we go. go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Tells us events. Oh, 59, oh my gosh, guys. It's so cool. Yeah, look at. I'll, I'll show you. I, I mine's in shit condition, and Aaron Lepresti would be very sad at me. But <laughs> see, I, I got mine right here. Yeah, I know this shot. This is one of those shots, and I liked underpants cap too. You know, I, I, I tell you, the older cool. I get, the more I appreciate Kirby. I, yeah. I was a huge yeah. fan when I was younger, dude, but it just seems I, to get I, better. I was like, a, huge, I was a just... big fan when I was younger, but dude, the older I get, the more I look at this stuff, and I'm just like, damn, that's comics. It's flying yeah, a million yeah. miles an hour at your face. Yeah. Well, his, his action yeah. stuff, like his fight scenes, well, he'll draw like Cap punching someone, and he won't draw what he's punching entirely. You'll just see part of a face, you know. And, and he, Oh, he yeah. He'll do the burst lines. lines. Look at this. Yeah, he does these action lines that fills in everything, and you feel the punch. You feel that power, which is the opposite of, of what they're doing now. Yeah. But his, you know, you notice a lot. Of, he has a good twist in a lot of these figures. I mean, there's, there's. He understands movement and power. Okay, look at that. Punch. The bottom left panel of yeah. something striking the shield. Yeah. Wah boom! Wah -boom. Exactly. You feel that, and there's. I know. That. I can. Yeah, right in your face. Look at him dodging bullets, dude. <laughs> and th just a stack of dudes. Like, and that, that. Like, I know that is great. Like. In hey, the panel where they're fighting the ninjas, because One, two, three, exactly. four. in that little room, uh, and, and they should be, you know, all crowded in there. But he doesn't draw it like that. Looks like Cap was hungry for some Five Guys right here. Yeah. <laughs> Boom! Oh damn! Look at this Ole! Look at that Ole! Just so yeah, That's so awesome. creative and 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 choreographing the whole fight. Yeah, he he's, he didn't forget to have fun. The thing is, they yeah. they for, they have completely forgotten to have fun in comics. Okay, today. Bottom I don't left know. panel. That's what I'm talking he's, about. He's kind of shooting a load in that guy's face. I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that could be interpreted yeah. many yeah, I didn't ways. See that at all? He, Superpower, Captain America. There. Yeah, he's got post ejaculation depression, and he's just like, I'm out. <laughs> <But> see, <laughs> how, like you coming at me? But you see I'm how gonna, he I, only draws Pat. half the figure, yeah, and the rest of it. Oh yeah, okay. Wait, yeah. let's go back a couple pages. That two pages. I love that shot with him. Uh, the dead guy's dizzy. He's he's disoriented with the with the this punch. One? No, go, no, no. You just had it. You just had this, it. This one. This one. Yeah, right. Oh, the top, yeah. top middle. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He's like he's like oh man, and he just <laughs> and he just takes him out. Look at yeah. the the first panel. He yeah. doesn't draw Cap's hand. Yeah. No. Because yeah, that, it's almost like you know, light, the burst snap of the pain created so when he punches yeah. somebody. And I love this. Uh, if you read the story, I remember the story well. Uh, at the end, he says something about maybe I'm getting old or something. I don't know if you can zoom in on the, on the script. Wait, wait, where at? The very last panel. Okay. He, he says, says something about oh, uh, maybe I'm just on. getting old. You know. Hold on, let me uh, get it for you. Whoa, wrong page. Let me go back and then click that. I'm sure glad it's almost morning. I'm one tired Avenger. I never used to feel tired. I guess uh, when a fellow reaches my age, he just starts to get soft. It was he like thirty. Oh, I think he's <laughs> yeah. going soft because of that bust tonight. Uh, to that's honest, right. Man, he, oh, needs, okay. he needs a sandwich and a nap. Yeah. yeah. They say that's that's how you draw a, a, a fight sequence. Anything else you guys want to see? You can, you know we we got tons of stuff. <laughs> was it tales of suspense when he fought Iron Man, and it was, was so good? Which issue? Remember, somebody else, somebody started the started the story, but then Kirby had to finish it, and oh. uh, it was him fighting Iron Man. This is you know what I yeah. What is this website? Astonishing. Uh, this is not. Oh, a it's not. This is my it's personal Dan's server. personal collection. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait, uh, that's it, your it, thing, it, Andy. You're astonishing. Yeah, but this. See, I I wanted to buy this one. But uh, because it's right after the, the 59, which is, you know, the solo story, and, and that costs a bit. But this is the first appearance of Hawkeye. Uh, mm. So even a shit oh, no condition way. one. Yeah, that's Hawkeye back there. Uh, the, even a shit condition one is like 100 bucks. So, you know, it's like, ah, uh, fuck. It's uh, a nice Iron Man. Is that Don Heck? Oh, oh that's uh, Don Heck. Yeah, it looks like Don Heck. Let's take a look. Go back to the... the hey, the, uh, Dennis, do you own yeah. the... First appearance of Hawk, Hawkeye? I do not. 
There you go. Uh, Tales of Suspense. Got something uh, to look for this weekend. Tales of Suspense. Look at that. See that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And dude, you don't see. That's, Dan, before you got here, when we were dissecting that page before yeah. that I showed you, Graham was on when we were talking about too. It's like the guys that draw comics these days are just doing the boring pose that Buscema did and how to draw comics the Marvel way, not the full on action one. Well, that's the thing that I've had this discussion a few times and, and something happened and I don't want to put it on this guy, but it, it kind of happened around the time Brian Hitch was doing Ultimates where, yeah. uh, where this sort of storyboard realistic naturalness came into things. And a lot of the tools that we know, like like you were saying, Gary, those facial bursts that guys like Roy Cr Crane helped develop, uh, you know, the the swoosh lines and crazy stances and people, you know, cap throwing five guys through the air. Those are all part of our tool set. It's part of comics vocabulary. And you, OK, you look, you, like baby. this man spread here. This, this is yeah. definitely. Yeah, but he looks like he looks poised. He more comics with man spread. No. They're about to attack. Well, the I gotta is, make he, a move. He's like he's the thing poised. is, you show that to somebody now that doesn't know any better, they'd be like, "Ugh, people don't stand I, I, like that." I it's know, like, who cares? You know, it's like who cares? It's cool. It's storytelling. You can feel the tension. This guy's. That's it. I mean, you yeah. really feel like that. Like but that's that's the thing that that exaggeration is what. You know, you go back to like, there's a lot of stuff now. And, and I, any any of you guys drawing comics now that are watching the, that work at Marvel, this is not a slide on your abilities. It's just sort of a slide of the, the trend. I try to look at a lot of stuff, a lot of new X books and, and new Spidey books. And I can't tell you who did it because there's this sort of malaise of sameness. There's no standout going back to what I was saying earlier about like, you know, the flaws or certain things that you do in your work that make you stand out. That goes down right. to exaggeration. The way you draw faces, the way you do a fight sequence, right. the way you design a page. Uh, there's none of that anymore. It's like a like the neutering of of uh, of comics and, and this this stuff. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And yeah. Marcus pointed it out. I remember now it was Gene Colan that started the job and then he got sick. So Kirby had to finish it. And Which it's one was it? Iron oh, this, this panel. Oh my gosh, this panel. Middle I can't panel. remember. This one? Oh, this yeah. one. Yeah. Look at the power on that. Oh, that's that, fantastic. That line, that line of action. Yeah. And everybody seems to be like these, uh, you know, almost like a perspective vanishing point, but this yeah. energy is shooting everybody hey, out. Hey, Dan, hold on a second. Hold on a second. We got somebody yeah. in the back room. Hold on. Bigger, pretty face and a real nice figure. Shoot your shot, pull, pull it. Do you see how big that black one was? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, uh, that hey, is Aaron, the best intro ever. Aaron, uh, tag me out because I got called by my kid that pizza's here, so I gotta go. Tag me out, boom. Okay, Andy. All right, Fraga. Good to see you, Dan. Re really good luck. Uh, yeah, good to see you too, Gary. Good to hang out with you. Same as always, Dan Lawless. You guys are class acts. I will see you soon. Be well. Bye-bye, Dan. Dan. All right, bye-bye. See you, buddy. Thanks. It's Mr. LaPresti. <sighs> Boy, that was timing. Wow. What about, a day. He doesn't Our, like you at all. Your, your timing is perfect. I haven't hey, can we go job. back just a little bit in the chat here? And I just want to – this guy, meant, uh, Carbon Dioxide, mentioned – Bob Larkin. I mean, can we just give a shout out to Bob Larkin? I mean, that, oh, Bob uh, Larkin uh, is great. I just love his stuff. You know, he was such you know a what big, I want. You know, first really big painter. I feel like in comics, like really made you know the, the car characters come alive. I was he, he was, but one thing I want to know is, and I I love the covers that John Romita Sr. did for like Origins of Marvel Comics, Sons of Origins, the the late women of Marvel, because they were all painted. And what I want to know is, because I know he did advertising stuff for a while when comics were slow. Um, and maybe you guys know the answer, because I don't. Was he painting with acrylic? Was he painting with gouache? Looks like What was he using? Do What's you that? have any of those that we can see? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can find one. 
Yeah. Andy. I don't remember. I don't remember seeing those. Yeah, Andy. Oh, I know Aaron knows what I'm talking about. Oh. Okay, so listen to this. I was watching Finch doing one of his draw streams or whatever. And David Finch. Yeah. And yep. someone brought up Bob Larkin, and he didn't know who Bob Larkin was. And I went, David Finch. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> he didn't come know on, who he Dave. Was? Oh, by the way, you guys found Marcus uh, um, Killigrew on on Twitter. He's posted all this uh, uh, Romita's romance. Oh, Romita covers. cover a day. Yeah, oh, they're great, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm. I really I appreciate to find a good Marcus doing that. There's a lot of those that I haven't seen before. Yeah, I'm looking and go. Oh my gosh. Yeah, again, I've never I've seen any of yeah, them. Yeah, so good. So they're just good. so freaking good. Man. Yeah. These. So these are the first two. Oh. And Remita okay. painted them. Okay. And I don't know if they're acrylic or if they're gouache. I'm sure Joe Jusco knows, and I always keep forgetting to ask him. Zoom in on uh, that Sons of Origins best you can. Okay, hold on. Because I can probably... Mm. Looks like because gouache was really popular at the time for for advertising and stuff. And looking I, at the, yeah, I they just, don't look like oils to me. They look like they look yeah. like either acrylic or gouache. Yeah, yeah, I would say acrylic just based on like the you can tell like underneath the uh, the forearm on the watcher that sort of the that that sort of rough edge that he's getting on yeah. the um, on the muscles there on the forearm or the watcher. Yeah. Looks very, like the, looks very looks very acrylicy. How would you like to acrylic paint a typewriter? Oh, um, I know, right? Yeah, dude. I, mean, I, mean, I wouldn't. On, I'd hire that it. out. Acrylic. I wouldn't so want tough. to it's like, paint it's like the hand. With, it's like right. painting with Elmer's glue. <laughs> it's just <laughs> like, like painting with Elmer's glue. Is that what you <laughs> the consistency is like that. It's, yeah. It's tough to figure out, but once you figure it out, you can get some stuff done. Oh no, Marcus! Start all over again. That's what you should do. Is <laughs> throw it out and start over again. Now this. Let me see if I find a better image of this one because the origins one is pretty dark. And that. Oh, here's a good I've got shot. Those books over oh there. God, I don't know if that's going to be. A, oh, let's try this one. It's a little lighter. Oh, that's a good good size too. Mm. So. I just, I, I saw the, I remember, because I bought this, not new, but in the 80s, and I just love the fact that you can, it's a comic book style, you can still see Remita's style shine through, but it's painted, you know. That Spider-Man, that Spider-Man pose is awesome on this cover. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite thing on this yeah. cover. And the thing, too, he did a really nice job on the thing, but that Spider-Man is really cool. Yeah, I think the only... That's strange. The big it's critique crazy. with the Spider-Man and the thing that I have, not that I could paint it better, but the fist on Spider-Man coming forward and even on the thing needs to have a little more highlight to it. Yeah, it's or it's the awesome. or the figure behind it needs to be darker so it pops out. Because yeah, and it. it's not it's not foreshortened either. Yeah, well, that's why you so. can probably you can say it's probably acrylics because acrylics can get kind of muddy in that way. You know, they're, I, they're, yeah, I was just going to yeah, say I don't yeah. think I don't think Romita was a you know an accomplished painter, uh, but just the figure work is what I'm talking about. Like on that spider, oh, yeah. of the pose and everything, I think is great. Well, I want to say I've got the Romita sketchbook that I think Vanguard put out. I think it was Vanguard that put that out. And there's some there's a few things I think in there from his advertising days. I haven't looked at it in a while, but uh, you know. I mean, for that for the fifties when he was doing that advertising stuff, you know, held right up with. I mean, not some of the best because I mean, some of the art and advertising in the fifties and sixties was just mind blowing. The the painting, but um, I do remember some of that was gouache, good. not was, Remita, but in general, he was competent at it. I'm just saying it wasn't. Um, yeah, I mean, you look at Buscema's like his two uh, Savage Tail painted covers. Yeah, nice. Well, you look at that and uh, Busema, and I've tried to find him on eBay, painted some novel covers as well. You oh, know. did he? Yeah, I didn't know he did that. Hmm. Yeah, 
Um, uh, they're in one of the bo art books of his I have, too. I, I just have to find which book because there's so many of them. But, uh, yeah, he did. He painted some novel covers as well. And, um, and they're, you know, they're cool looking. But those Savage covers you're talking about, I think those are oil. Yeah, they were. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Get that Thor free download like, of How to Draw Comics. Thor looks like he's doing some kind of disco, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. Uh, I would just like to know, like, the time, yeah. I guess the technique is the same technique when you paint in uh, opaque mediums like that is, you know, uh, dark to light. So I don't know. I don't paint enough. Yeah. So every time I try to paint something, it's like starting from scratch and relearning and everything. So it's uh, it's difficult for sure. Yeah, you've got to kind of like keep doing it because it is. I mean, it's. I, I I would step away from painting for like years, then you come back and you're like starting over again, you know. And then you finally get the hang of it or start to feel good about it. Then you stop doing it for a couple more years and you start over again. I haven't actually I painted called... anything in years now. Oh my gosh. Was it the women of Marvel Comics? Because that's another one. Um, yeah, here it is. Oh, the the bad superhero guys, women. The superhero women. Yeah. yeah. I think this is the one that's like really expensive because it's got the lowest print run of any of those. Um, it's Bring actually the not that bad. I just bought one. I just bought this one. Well, you, it, you it wasn't probably, that bad. Yeah, you probably bought a beat up copy though, didn't you? No, no. The reason I bought it now, it's not mint, but it's really nice because the one I had was beat to shit. That's why I bought it. Well, Again. how much you pay for? Like, it? look at that red Sonya. No, it's nice. You know, that's better than is the other ones. Boy, that does look like acrylic, doesn't it, Dan? Yeah, it does. And Gary, yeah, that's that's probably acrylic. Yeah, you know that Sue Storm really looks like Bruce Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks doesn't like it? Bruce Tim. It looks like Bruce Tim drew it. <laughs> no, it's, it, it looks like Bruce Tim. I mean, Bruce Tim has that old school style when he does comic mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, with Kirby, but it definitely has a remitter feel. Some of his stuff. But honestly, this whole cover looks like what Bruce Tim does with markers. Yeah, you're right. Well, check out which the is hip, really amazing. Um, check out the hips on uh, Medusa. Oh yeah, birth and hips. Yeah. Does anybody think that yeah. Red Sony could actually lift that axe? I don't think so. <laughs> She'd be like yeah, falling yeah. over with that thing. Grumpy yeah. wants to know if that's Hella in the back. It is. It is. Yeah. Can you go oh, yeah, okay, there? Yeah, and look, like hips. look at look at Captain Marvel there. She's you mean Ms. Oh, Marvel. Yeah. Get it right, Dan. Yeah, see on. those. Yeah, this is not uh Adam Hughes. Warburg. <laughs> That's right. A little Black Widow action. No, this is a great trade. I've got I finally got all these, but yeah, who owns this original? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's the most important thing about these? We go back and see their faces. What do you notice about all of them? The teeth, pretty. They're smiling. They're smiling. <laughs> That's They're smiling. They, they yeah. don't smile anymore in comics. Yeah. Girls. Yeah. This is the thing: is back when they were trying to sell comics to men, they actually recognized that men like to see girls smiling at them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they all have they all have bright eyes too. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Really yeah. nice. They're happy to see you. They, right. the, the, they don't the, hate your guts. That's what that's. <laughs> they don't hate your guts. Yeah. They <laughs> have the, even the Helen's happy to see you. Wholesomeness, but and they could still yeah. kick your ass. Yeah. yeah. Hell is happy to see us. And, and so, the thing is, isn't that these women aren't strong either? That's just the bullshit about the the that women are subjugated. That they're these are strong women, you know. But, yeah. Uh, just, but they're just they just like you. They yeah, like you. Right. It's true. And rumor has it Black Widow can catch uh, Captain America Shield. So that's right. Yeah. That's that's right. We were, she could do with her we were going through that page, Aaron, that I showed in the yeah. uh, private chat. So it's so ridiculous. In fact, Dan showed up. So, you know, Dan, when he first showed up, he missed it when we went through it earlier. So I said, Dan, I'm going to show you this page and I want you to tell me what's wrong with it. And as soon as he saw it, he goes, uh, Black Widow catching Cap Shield. She's not that strong. <laughs> He's getting a superpower. Exactly. Mm. 
should have broke her hand the next scene she's in a cast going i'll never do that again <laughs> no, that's I, right. I mean that's how it should have been written that right that they make I it look- a thing that you know that it's an effort and she hurts herself and it's you know instead right. of her doing it so nonchalantly yep right yeah she, well, she can't caught have it, weak like, women and, and she, instead she of she the winter soldier did she caught it like the winter soldier did in the movie Except he, he was using his bionic arm. Yeah, yeah, he had like armor, <laughs> and yeah. <He's> like, <laughs> and he and he actually has super strength, and he was right. still using his bionic arm. Yeah. So, well, you know, but you know, just looking at this picture, I haven't seen this many women, women smile at me in a long time. Yeah, just, just leave it up forever. <laughs> I'm, so like, good, yeah. I'm just basking right. in the, the it's like, actual uh, liking Bear, of us. Torch <laughs> Bear Studio says it's acrylic. They checked on heritage auctions. Okay, there you go. Oh, his Where other ones are on. To? I got to go to Heritage. That actually, you know yeah, what? Let me stop sharing. For, man, got nothing else to well, do. Not only that, but you can download high res scans from Heritage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So let's yeah. go check out Heritage. Just see quick. a good scan of that. Aaron, pull pull your campaign up, and we'll share it while I'm doing this. No, I got something else I want to show you real quick. Okay, you can do that too. Did you finish that, Namor? I did. And okay. some Mariner. Yeah, I don't. Okay, so first of all, this is the source material, Andy. And oh yeah, I remember that. Okay, it's like it's a classic, right? But I've always wanted to redo it, and for some reason, I did it. Uh, you can make me. Think <laughs> you now. still don't know why. For some reason. Stronger than a whale, he can swim anywhere. Oh wait, he I gotta breathe do it this way. Oh what? You oh, don't have a great. scan of it? Yeah. Wow. I have a scan of it, but... Uh, and did you actually uh, draw that logo? Yeah. Oh, well, I, I, you did the lettering? No, I, I did you do all the lettering? Well, yeah, I light tabled it off the comic, but yeah, <sighs> so I inked it. You I love that lettering. So is that up for sale now? You, Gary, you know me. Everything's for sale. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I'm asking. Hey, real quick. Uh, Grumpy, uh, what's if you're talking about when Dan was on, that's Dan's personal server. If you're talking about when I showed it, um, I'll pop a link into the chat. Give me a second. So wow, is that is... Uh, sense, but yeah, I mean, I didn't... Uh, I just felt that... I love the cover, but I felt it was a little stiff. I didn't really feel like they were engaging each other like they should be, so... And you filled filled the panel much better, too, which is yeah. like a one of Kirby's strengths, and for some reason he didn't do that. On that. Yeah, there's a yeah, lot yeah. of dead space on this cover. Yeah, well, you definitely improved Namor, that's for sure. His figure's much better. Yeah. So, there you go. Yeah. That's oh, and Gary, cool. I don't know if you can really tell here, but I found I found a uh, Raphael that I hadn't been hadn't used, and I was able to do all that feathering, and oh my gosh, it was just a dream. The delicate feathering you did with Yeah, it just... It, it just did it. It practically did it itself. It was amazing. Yeah, now, what ink did you use? I use yeah. a combo of... Uh, it's an excellent question. Um, I think I'm using... Like, you know, I try to ask those. It's... Uh, we see uh, Aaron's napping bed there in the background. I think it was that a porta potty yeah. or... <laughs> no, it's just, he curls up <laughs> tight on it. See what I said? Nice and tight. Go get it now. Nice and tight. The comic book concert of Andy Smith coming down, closing tonight. Go back it. We're only 200 and some bucks away from five figures. Woo! Um, Speedball Super Black. Oh, you don't find that stuff chunky? Like thick? No. No, the acrylic stuff gets chunky. You can make me small again. I'm, I'm getting self-conscious. But there you go. Thank you. Um, but the... Um, you, that, you can make me big. I'm fine. Does get, the acrylic gets chunky. <laughs> make, it, make dad big. <laughs> yeah. um, so keep telling us, Aaron. <laughs> no, I said the, you know, that acrylic black, I don't know who makes it. That gets, tends to get a little chunky, but yeah, yeah, I, don't yeah. Like, I don't like uh, acrylic inks. Yeah, I don't either. No, and that we, stuff, that stuff gets plasticky. Yeah. But most of the, most of the ink you get is not black enough. You know, like Hagen's is notoriously gray. You have to let it evaporate, you know, take the lid off and let it evaporate for a week for even use it. But well, that's why I know, like it is that you can, you can control. <laughs> well, if you're, well, if you're doing Frazetta, yeah, but. Um, no, I mean, you, you don't wait until you're out of ink before you order some new. Well, okay. right. True. Uh, every well, time you guys talk not. about ink, every time you guys talk about ink, I think, where's John Malin? Oh, what? <laughs> John Malin, every time you talk about ink, 
You need John well, Malin to be there. Splatter. You know, he's, <laughs> he's offended by splatter, but not, you know. Uh, you guys don't get it, but. He's all, he's always talking about the blacks. Go ahead, Aaron. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, okay, you were, that was like that was a joke that was too far removed for me to connect the dots. Uh, John Torchbearer Malin. has a, Torchbearer has a request for you, Aaron. Yeah, I do like the super black. See, you need John Mailer right oh, now. You're supposed, to put an S, you're supposed to put an S on the end of it. No, I'm not. You know, come on. Uh, no, that, that that's the best. Other than Pelican, which I don't know, they still make Pelican. I mean, I Art says he do. uses it, and he posted like this big bottle that he buys of it. But I'm like, it's but not it's cheap, not, that's yeah. for sure. It's different than what these because that's that was my yeah. preferred brand. But the they don't. Well, it used to have lead anymore. in it, didn't it? Isn't that why it was so black? Is that they put lead in it, and that's why it got in trouble, and they had to change I don't, it? I, I've not heard that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. We we're all. Maybe, I can't find any John uh, Romita paintings. <laughs> On heritage, I can only find prelims. Are you searching the, the already actual... sold stuff? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. While, while you're looking, uh, it reminds me you're talking about black ink and all that stuff. Uh, remember that show, Impractical Jokers? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we were in a, an art store, and and they were posing as uh, uh, salespeople, and, and none of them knew anything about art or art supplies. And they had to right. tell one of them, one of them had to say they were talking to this black woman customer and he had to tell her, he asked her, what, what's your favorite color? And she said, you know, red or whatever. And, and he had to say, my favorite color is African-American. <laughs> and he oh, couldn't say Jesus. it. He couldn't say it. No, he couldn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> now that's one of my daughter's favorite shows. She's seen every episode. And oh, we that's actually so went funny. All those guys live. Oh really? Yeah, I saw them live. The Actually, that's do. how big a fan I am. Yeah. You, yeah, that's yeah. Those guys are they were funny. What's up, Ray Dog? That's a longtime friend for over thirty years. Wow. Oh, um, and look, he even gave Dennis a nickname. I he gave he coined me as Smitty D years ago, and now Dennis is D Nice. So D Nice. Your beard like looks fake, friend. Dennis. My beard looks oh, what? Shit. I mean, my goatee? Yeah, did you color it or is that the natural color? Okay. Unfortunately, I'll that's even good. back him up and know, say dude. that's he's actually almost, natural. He's a from kid. Further away, it looks dark. On. You look like Spock from uh, Mirror Mirror with a fake goatee, is what you look like. <laughs> wow. That's cool. That, that, that is a huge compliment. Yeah, I was going to say, man. Could, I think you could just do this. I think you could. No? Okay. <laughs> Hey, hey, Paul, how here, was, uh, you know, how just, was that? Uh, so this Aaron, is sadly real. Aaron, are, do you need me to remove it? This is why we, we keep talking on the show. My wife has been trying to talk me to remove it. She wants it gone. And yet when we're on the streams, we decide to ask, you know, whoever's on the stream. And there's we've got quite a few. They all want me to keep it. They like it. Bud Root went and grew a goatee because he liked mine so much. So we got our picture together as his filled in, and we were like twinsies now. I, so I you're, a, you, you're an official influencer now. Apparently. Yeah. You look like the evil Dennis from Mirror Mirror. If there was like an evil Dennis in that episode, that's what you look like. So Again, I, you are complimenting I'm him. good with that. I've got my <laughs> agonizer. <laughs> Yeah, you, your agonizer, please. The only thing is you can't get it. You, you, fuck, I didn't do it. It's not my fault. <laughs> Fastmaster Dan says you'll be hearing from Spock's lawyers. <laughs> of course. Wait, you, you would know this, Dennis, because you're the biggest Star Trek nerd I've ever met in my life. Well, I don't know do they that. make like a toy agonizer? Has anybody ever made one? No. <sighs> No, trust me. If they did, I would have one. I know. That's why I asked you because I want one. I want to. I want to use it on Shelly. Just go your Shelly. Your agonizer, company, please. There was a company that did props a long time ago. I remember seeing this probably in '09 when I was in Vegas, and I think there was a prop company that had one. They weren't cheap at all. But yeah. uh, and I, I don't think it worked. I think it just looked like it. But uh, you know, Aaron, this this whole conversation is making us all agonizers. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no, I got to oh, ask Dennis yeah. one more question. 
Art of Roy, real quick, says the cover was done in gouache. And uh, once you guys are done with the question, I found it on Heritage with the super high res scan I'll share. Okay. So. Do you know that, uh, is it is it the play set or playbill or something that did that giant uh, um, enterprise oh. that the, the roof came off and had the little figures that would go in it? Yeah, it's, I've got one. It's right here. You got one? Okay. Yeah, it's right here. I almost bought one at a toy show, but I didn't think like the detail was nice enough. I mean, I like the fact that it lighted up and had sounds, but I was like, eh. So I didn't do it, but now I found I could get it on Amazon for 200 bucks. So if I ever wanted it, I didn't even know where I can get it. No, dude, it oh, that it hurts Dennis because Dennis paid more than that. Yeah, the, the, the saucer is a misshape because it's the only way that they could make the bridge full size in order to fit the figures. So, but everything else is pretty cool. The side panel comes off. The dilithium crystal, if you remove it, it'll shut it down. If you plug it in, it starts the Enterprise up. Plus, you can put it on your tablet or your phone, and it's all AR. So it's augmented reality. So you can play and make all the sounds and do whatever you want right on your device. It's wow. Cool. Yeah. All hey, right. Dennis, you do have a hater uh, of your the goatee, Paulus. Do you have a, yeah, it's called Aaron. <laughs> Paulus is shaving his, his, his goatee off because of you. That's that's a right. that's, that's, that's some that's some serious someone. hate. Yeah. That's some serious goatee hate. I'll never wear goatee again. <laughs> So, all right, Andy, bring it. All right. I'll start with the coolest part of the image, the hands. Um, okay, so Heritage says this was gouache over blue pencil on illustration board. Okay. So, number 21st, who wants to take guesses? And I'll tell you who's closest. Okay, or what was the question the again? What? It's sold on November 21st through Heritage Auctions. This of, year, uh, or no, it's sold November year. twenty, November two thousand twenty-one. Oh, look, oh, okay. he pasted up all the characters, so they were done they separately. Were separately, yeah, yeah, and it's it is gouache. So I'm going to say two hundred thousand. I'm gonna, no, not that high. I'm going to go. <coughs> well, it's Romita, maybe. I'm going to say. I'm going to go forty-five thousand. Gary. What year was it done again? What year uh, was this drawn or what year did it sell? Oh, 2021. Okay. Um, oh, 2021? Then I'm taking that back a little bit. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 30. Mm, more than that, I would say 75. Dennis, do you even want to try? 100, 150. Well, uh, what is it closest without going over? Is that what they say? Yeah. As long as I Dan, win. what did you say? Two hundred thousand. <laughs> Dan is closest. Three hundred and twelve thousand dollars. Whoa! Wow! Wow! wow. I, was way I didn't know I was an expert. Wow. Dang! I thought it maybe because of the iconic Three, nature of it. Yeah. Twelve thousand dollars. Hold on here. Wow. I, I think it would have been more without the so I can if he would have painted everything on the same canvas. What? That's the thing. I thought maybe because it was cut and paste that maybe that would have affected a little bit. But you do. Apparently not. Wow. Imagine yeah. just you did this, you know, in an afternoon. Well, like, a, Hello. a day or two and like, you guys just, talking? it's like printing your own money. Yeah, but he didn't. He didn't get that money. He didn't get any of that money, Dan. <laughs> he printed it, and somebody else. Yeah, that, that's that's something I was thinking about. You know why he did this? What was his page rate for doing this? Oh gosh, you know, you know, for a, if it was Stan's oh, book, so I took it, my speaker. Had to be, you know, I forget more than a mental guy. Okay, so Andy's having trouble. Hello, he can't hear us. I don't think. Can you oh, not hear us? Anybody now? talking? Somebody talk. Yeah, we're, oh, we're, here. Right we're, we're here. We are here. You we are here. You can't hear us, we're Andy. We're literally all talking. Hey, let's hey, wait. When he comes back, let's everybody, all talk, move everybody, our mouths. Everybody, <laughs> everybody <laughs> mind. Don't say anything. Right. This will yeah. get my and, other speakers to work. Yeah. Stop we can't do that to him. <laughs> yeah, we can. Are you kidding me? This is this is great. That no, this is what the evil Dennis would do for Mirror Mirror. Okay. 
He's I missed a lot of conversations. So 312 is what I said. Let's backtrack like you guys never talked about it. Amazing, oh, yeah. right? And it's yeah. all pay stubs. Yeah. That's I wouldn't have thought anywhere about. near that. I thought 100,000 would be pushing. I yeah. know. Ramita stuff has become crazy expensive. Well, I mean, yeah. the question is, what would it sell for today? So would it be more or because we are seeing a huge shift in comic values going down? Yes. You know, is it if it were to be put up on Heritage today, would it go for that or would it go for more or less? It's yeah, well, but original art is different. That market is different than, is. than comics. Yeah, those have some serious players in them. But if 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 somebody put it up for auction, it it might not do that as well right now as it did in twenty twenty one. I'm a love. I'm loving this close up. Of the Hulk, we can see I it. think you can definitely pencil. tell it's. I think you can definitely tell it's gouache now yeah. because of the transparency of some of it, and then maybe acrylic. I think for that's highlights and stuff. I think that's colored pencil right there. Maybe I'm wrong. For where no, the highlights? Kind of brushy. No, uh, no, you, uh, Heritage says has says gouache. Yeah, here says there's any color. You know, I, mean, I really am curious what will happen when because what's what you these are nostalgia buys. What happens when this this generation who grew up with this stuff passes on? Will the next generation still value this stuff? Yeah, it, it'll be like because it really. I mean, when we see this stuff, we all felt it. We saw it when we were kids. We we're like, "Oh, right. that's it!" And you yeah, want yeah. it. But yeah. I'll tell you, you know, if I if I had see let's see this this picture today, made today, I'd be like, "Hey," eh. you know, right? Yeah. No, Dan, I, I don't think it will. I think it's going to go like westerns. You know. Um, like my dad's generation, I mean, I, I talked to these guys at the shows and there's a few of them left out there and they were big into them. The Westerns have plummeted. Everything about them has plummeted. The, the uh, memorabilia has plummeted. This will be the same thing. I think yeah, it's going to be. Well, that's right. what I suspect. I yeah. Generational thing. Yeah. That's what you want to know. What's, what's really funny, ironically, maybe, is if you look at these colors you think it was Bruce Tim doing Copics. Yeah. Because you can do the same That's technique with Copics now. Yeah, you're right. And colored pencils. That's what maybe that's what he was influenced by looking at this stuff. I mean, I could oh, take I, that I could take that Hulk and paint the crap out of it and do a really nice job and have trouble selling it, you know, for more than a couple hundred bucks, you know? Sure. But put it on a cover and make it for a kid, and then they come back and you know, it's like then yeah, you get these prices of dollars, right? Yeah. No, you, the nostalgia drives almost all of collecting to a certain yes. degree. And when that, I have this conversation with David Williams and other people all the time that they think that the market is eventually going to bottom out for this stuff because they're the new, the, you know, the new generation just isn't, you know, everybody's doing stuff digitally or comics. Who knows? Comics are dead in 20 years. And then right. it's like, is this stuff still? And then, like you said, our generation passes away and, is there still this nostalgia for this stuff? It's a good question. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. This generation is all about NFTs. Oh, where did those go? <laughs> yeah. I saw an article with something. They, they hacked it. It's hacked like, what? The, yes, NFT. the NFT site. So that all these people, you know, their stuff stolen. Like, well, no. you know, there you go. That's how stupid that stuff is. It's like, it's just a, program it's just some bits if it get hacked it's like it's got their stuff's out there yeah, yeah it's like i don't see how you see that's i just don't understand i don't see the value in something that's not tangible right you know and i know that money is kind of it's only worth something because we all agree it is but it's still something you have in your hand you know what i mean it's like like digital art i just don't make me a print of that and you're like well, yeah, there's something Jim I never read a comic on online. I, I have to be holding it. Yeah. yeah. Well, and that's the thing. There was a, you know, we've told this story before, but Dennis really liked this one piece of X Men art from uh, five years ago or so. And, you know, it was from one of the newest books. So I said, well, the dude's on Facebook, contact him and see what he'd sell for. It was a splash page. And the guy was like, oh, I do, you know, he, I think he lives in Italy. He's he does everything digitally. And he said he would sell uh, a 
basically a print on really nice heavy paper with uh you know that that almost notary type stamp on it right. saying it's a one-off for 750 bucks and it was like get out of here I'm not buying a print for 750 bucks right well that's what they're doing they're selling the the single print at and pretending it's the original saying this is the Correct. only print i'm making of this art that i created digitally but it's like you think he's deleting that digital file no right. he's hanging on to it someone else is going to get a hold of it 10 years from now another print shows up you know what i mean but exactly. but it's the only one he would make because he would put his seal on it and then because it embossed it i'm like but there is nothing to stop you from printing out another one and yep. then putting your print on it because it's not numbered one out of one or anything like that unless you did it all it it, it just made no sense i I, yeah. I wouldn't do that or yeah. someone stealing it and printing it out you right. know right That's true yeah. yeah uh you guys we have to clean it up uh queen mickey's in the chat i know i see mm. clean well, it hey, up. Well, so so you know what i did for dennis i found a nice copy of uh the full color page and uh since i have a big printer i made a full color 11 by 17 printer the splash page for him in color so going. hey let's see the close up Make you brought up a good point uh, let's check it, it out it's actually sitting on my it's 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 on my wall oh, hanging up right it. now we are nice and tight the comic book pencil of andy smith nine thousand seven hundred twenty seven dollars so close to ten thousand bucks 273 bucks it's all we're away from you good all right so tell us about this book andy sell it a little bit what's yeah, that man what is this i will sell this book this book is an oversized 64 pages we have busted that last stretch goal it will now be wire bound so you can totally lay it flat for scanning if you want to put vellum over it which is a thicker tracing paper for you young guys that don't know what vellum is to practice how your much, inking how much is this book and how many pages is it it is 64 pages it is 30 bucks it is oversized is a uh, eight and a half by like 11 and three quarters right around there um i picked 64 of my favorite fully pencil pages and inside front cover has a has a penciled shot on it inside back cover does as well so technically 66 uh because i didn't <laughs> want to waste any space so this is a book you can practice your inking on huh yeah you yeah. can it's gonna be yeah, Andy it's get knockoffs all over the internet here pretty soon right you can get the bundle which gets you the digital tier as well nice not a low res digital pdf but a nice high res so you can pop it into uh procreate clip studio photoshop oh. your favorite uh digital program to practice digital inking if you would like or hmm. print your own blue lines many options uh you can get your own copy of dynamic hero templates still available and uh the sketchbook 64 pages came out in 2014 i think 2013 nope 2014 i added 20 pages guys now it's 84 pages for the same cost when it was 64. Wow. you can get that as well so go Andy, check it out have, guys do you have any book and headshots uh, left on there or do you have any of your art video art reviews available well wouldn't you know dennis i've got a ton of the headshot commission left <laughs> one out of ten sold that's fine i don't mind less work for me but a lot open <laughs> and then uh three out of ten of the figure commission seven by ten you pick three characters and i pick one out of the three to draw three out of five of the portfolio reviews have been claimed that's where it's you and i one-on-one -on, -one on a stream yard like this except it's not live it is just recorded and when the two hour video session is over let me get to it i download it i send you the video so you can replay it whenever you like and then any draw over stuff i do in photoshop i send you those files as well so you can uh have those to reference whenever you like is also wow so really there cool you go opportunity. lots of good stuff so cool. and uh and if you want you can get the trading card if you didn't back it when if you didn't sign up and back it 
where you get the trading card for free for all you lucky guys. Uh, no, you're not, but I can make you a wrench, Aaron. Um, Should make and I would do that. Or a ratchet. There's too much responsibility uh, for wrench bearers. <laughs> or a ratchet. It is, Aaron. I mean, you know, I know how you are. Um, well, it makes it yeah. easy. Actually, it makes it easier to post stuff, I think, doesn't it? If you're a wrench. Oh, look at that. 9777. Seven, seven, seven. Do the math on that one, Dennis. As I Did make you say 9777? 7, 7, 7? $23 away from 98. And 223. Oh, look at that. All right. Let me let me uh, wrench them on up. Here, let me. Uh... Dennis, while I'm doing that, uh, oh, how yeah. did the Star Trek show go on Graham's channel? The inaugural Star Trek show. You talking to me? Yeah, yeah you said Dennis. You were on it. You said Dennis. Oh, I meant Aaron. Yeah, Aaron, was, how did the uh, inaugural Star Dennis Trek show Dennis go? Dennis was not paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> I knew what he meant. Like, how come I wasn't on that show? Um, it was uh, Garney was a hoot, man. That guy, I gotta like do better Star Trek research. That guy knows his Star Trek stuff, and who would have thought it? Ron Garney? Does he? Ron I didn't. Garney. Wow, I had no idea. Is, is Ron was... doing many shows? Or, uh, is, is he coming on many, many of these shows? Or... Oh, he'll come on your show. He's if coming you want to Heroes on. Con. He's mine because he has to draw and he won't do it. See, that's really oh, you mean shows Aaron. like that? I thought you were telling. Uh, that's yeah. how Aaron he is uh, coming back to heroes this year for people. Is there he's their coming to heroes? Trip. I believe he's yeah, actually exactly. coming to South Carolina as well. Yeah, he's one of my favorite modern artists. Like, uh, he's one of the guys that has kept the spirit of the comics alive as far as the way I like him. Yeah, you know? and the good he's grumpier than I am, so it's like he's a nice, like, makes me look whoa way nicer. That's super Here's, grumpy. That, that's good for me. To I be, can't believe you know, somebody's grumpier than you. That's crazy. Yeah. What's well, not? Is, yeah, I mean, is he more? Is he more ornery? Is he more ornery? Is he more crotchety? He has no you know, reason to be ornery. Grumpy. He's crotchety. He's uh, <laughs> fed up with society. Uh, yeah, he's he should be on his front porch, definitely. But he Yelling knows Star Trek, so that that boosts him right there. He knows Star Trek. Now he we we, at, we talk, Thank you. We talked about the pilot, the the original pilot, Thank the you. cage, the cage. And he rated it highest. Graham gave it a five. I gave it a six. Uh, Ron gave it a seven. Because he felt it was a really good science fiction story. You know, none of us liked Christopher Pike. You know, um, what's his face? Um, who's the actor? That's Gary, thank you very much. Gary. Gary's bored. He's like, wake me that up. That is done the actor that played Pike. My God. That's from you, you Gary? That that crickets? I can't think. Nice. Uh, Jeffrey Hunter. Jeffrey Hunter. Yeah, nobody liked Jeffrey Jeff Hunter, Hunter, but we had varying re responses to, and of course, like many shows, we were all over the place, you know, talking about different, but it was all Star Trek, and Garney was impressive with his Star Trek knowledge, so there you go. That's cool. Mm -hmm. We should have um, a, grumpy, I, a grumpy contest, like, who yeah. could, could be the most grumpy? Yeah. I well, did I'll pop in. <laughs> And How watch it for a little bit. Put videos up and and have them do recorded videos, posted on Twitter or X, of them being grumpy, and then see, then choose a winner. <laughs> Call it uh, the truly grumpy old men contest, right? <laughs> I, I did pop in and watch for a little bit. Did Anna not make it, or what was the deal? She had something going on with uh, I can't remember what it was now. With uh, oh, it was Peach's birthday, I think. Oh, her husband. Her husband. Yeah. So she'll be there next week. Isn't Anna like the the best like i've seen her clean the clocks of uh oh know, dude she's she cleaned we, dennis's clock she yeah, Cecil? We, we did trivia we did trivia and andy had some questions prepared for us at the end of our show i knew every answer but she is fast she is so fast <laughs> she had it out just like that and i'm like uh, 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 every time she's amazing she is absolutely yeah dude amazing. if if gar if you think Okay, Aaron. So, out of you, Graham, and Garney, who do you think is uh, knows more? That's a good question. Well, not I'm I'm least. I mean, I don't know the like the the really ridiculous details. I just know because I watch the show relentlessly, but I, I don't really dig that deep. And um, Graham knows stuff. Garney was, I don't know, it's very close between Graham and Garney. They were like going back and forth, and I was just listening, going. Oh really? I didn't know that. 
what does NC, you know, 17 stand for? And, you know, you're just like, uh, you know, the thing, the numbering the ship, on the, yeah, numbering. the ship. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you know, Aaron, you're the game show guy. I think one show you just need to pull a surprise and be like, guys, I've got five questions. I would like to ask all three of you to see who knows these. And then you'll know. And you'll see how quick Anna is. And it'll blow your Maybe mind. it should be like everybody versus Anna. Like that could be like the game. <laughs> the problem is, like I said, she is so fast. So she knows everything. Yeah. And she's as before you can even speak, she's already got the answer out of her mouth. She's just, um, she's young. I mean, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. a mind, <laughs> mind work. Yeah. She's young. Yeah. Her brain is, yeah. All uh, I can Mickey. do is like Kirk impressions. And I know like a lot of the lines from all the shows, you know. <laughs> And I know the names of the shows, but you start getting into the weeds. I'm not that guy who's like, uh, what was the uh, combination of that safe that uh, Kirk opened up on episode uh, 30? Uh, to the <laughs> yeah. What color underwear was he wearing? Yeah, exactly. I'm not quite that good. Um, yeah. Mickey, I see your corn dog. Ha ha. <laughs> uh, how many women did Kirk sleep with throughout the season? Like Dennis and Aaron, go. Wait, like I'm all screaming? three seasons? There's yes. Little- she couldn't find a corn dog icon, so she got creative. I'd have to go see. I'd have to go through and think about every episode and go, "Okay, did he? Did he? Did he get it on with that chick? Did he get it on with that chick?" Go uh, safe. There's something that people would keep score of. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's people. I bet there's people that know that. You know, could just I know there, there probably are. It's no, there's like, 32 women and two Hawaiian flavors. Struck code of the NC of the Enterprise in Star Trek Three. You know, I. There was a time I could tell you I, I I don't I'd really have to think about it. Well, can you tell? Oh, wait, okay, Dennis, can you tell us who the two actresses that played the Green Orion Slave Girls were? No, really, you can't even tell us one. The actresses? Yeah, the names yeah. of the actresses. Mm-mm. See now, okay, that's see, Dennis, back room, that right? is Dennis. not my cup yeah. of tea. So, Aaron, we all have our specialty in Star Trek. You yeah. want to talk to me about starship design? Warp factors, what weapons they are. I can tell you, yeah, whatever. All you're thinking about is, oh, okay, what girls played this that were barely scant, that were scant. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, that's most, was, most important. It was Susan Oliver and it was Batgirl were the two that played. Uh, Yvonne Craig. Craig. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, is that it? Yvonne Craig? No. Yeah, Yvonne Craig. Yeah. Yvonne Craig, yeah. yeah Craig. And season three. I can't believe you didn't know that, Dennis. You well, have that, gone that, down that, in that so many not- in my wheelhouse. Dude. Dude, you've gone down so many notches I for me. On I can't believe I told yeah, Graham it, he should have it, you on the you show. Want, you want, you, you could be the technical expert. Dennis, you have my respect for not knowing that. <laughs> you know, at the very beginning of this, they were asking, you know, what, what would your favorite job be like? You know, you're like Green Lantern and stuff. Mine would be right now, I don't know about the new track, but it was like, if they would have invited me on, they said, design new starships and come up with it. That would have been me designing brand new starships that fit within the lore and the actual physics of the Star Trek universe. I would have done that in a heartbeat. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> what, whatever, Lopez, whatever. <laughs> See, that would make a great T-shirt. Whatever, Lopez. Whatever, well, Lopez. <laughs> Whatever. Um, he comes yeah. on, insults my my goatee, and has no love for for technical. You know, I do have. By the way, here's a trivia question. Actually, give me one second. I'm gonna. Now he has. Oh, well, I got a trivia question for you, but now he's got to go look it up. Oh my gosh, exactly. this guy's a poser. He's an absolute poser. Look how he looks without hey. his uh, his goatee. Yeah, I know. He's got. He looks pretty, pretty more rugged. rugged, Yeah. No, it's not a trivia question. Okay, so I've actually asked, and I've never been able to get it. So you know, we all have our our technical manuals, right? Right. Yes, we all have them. I'll go show you mine right now. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, hold on. Mine's mine's right behind me. Dan, where's yours? I have. Okay, I admit it. I have that. It's in here somewhere. My back in that stack of stuff. Sent that to me for my birthday. I didn't have it until then. So full screen it. Now notice this is this came out in 76. What what's the price on that? Does that say six ninety five? Yep. Yeah, it's a little hard to read. Now six, here's my other one. Are they shrink wrapped still? Seven ninety five. 
Okay. So there, there's two different prices. Both of these are first prints. Both of them are the original editions from it. Because, you know, I have the 20th anniversary and stuff, too. So sure. there's your technical manual. And there's your technical. I've double checked. These are both first because they only made one set. Yet there's two different prices on it. Nobody has been able to tell me why there's two versions of the original. And as clearly, clearly they used the sun to slingshot around at warp speed. <laughs> and back in time, changed the price on one of those books. Simple. And what was the speed that they had to do it? Warp, at least warp eight. Warp 9.6. <laughs> Is it 9.6? So hey, I just 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 asking. Okay. Nobody has ever been able to explain why there's two versions. I just open. did. Yeah, I, I heard you. I mean, a real explanation, not, <laughs> not, not air fantasy. But what is the difference between the two books? That, that's it. They're they're now now they both have. No, I thought I thought there was a visual difference inside or something. No, or not outside. at all. These are the same. They're, the ISBNs are both Ballantine books, and they have a, a different ISBN code. Okay, so Dennis, I'm going to ask the question that everyone, including the chat, is begging to know the answer to. That if they're exactly the same, why did you buy them both? But but they're not. They got two different prices. <laughs> <laughs> did you? What about what about the indicia, the small print? Does it say anything in there? That makes them different. I already look. Trust me, I, I have looked at it, and 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 they're not. They are they are one hundred percent identical. They are both original first prints. So I'm I'm wondering, and this was a theory, and I I've actually put it out on the internet, and nobody seems to know. Was this kind of like Marvel Comics, yeah. where they had the twenty five cent, and then they had the thirty cent variants? Do you think? I've got one here that's $40 and another one that's $50, and they're exactly the same except the price. Nice. Right? Are the prices you know what I call that? Around? I call that good marketing because it made Dennis buy <laughs> both the books. So, Dennis, I can, they're exactly the same except can, the price. I can only assume that they released it at $6.95 and someone said, no, 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 those are supposed to be $7.95. <laughs> Someone made a mistake, and then yeah, they went what back were we to thinking at six ninety five. That's that's the only thing that makes sense, you know. Maybe hey guys, I Jimmy, gotta to take off. I gotta take off. All right, the Dan. Chief, the right, chief Dan. is home, and and I hear her shoveling. So I better get out there. Yeah, get <laughs> we got we got snow by the way. Shoveling? Oh my yeah. god, are you serious? You got snow? Yeah. yeah. Wow, you that's must gross. be one of them northern folk. I am. So, all right. All right anyways, Dan, good luck on the campaign. Buddy. And we will see you guys later. See you, Dan. See ya. Right. Bye. I'm going to see you, Dan. I'm going to pimp because I don't know if Aaron saw it. So I'm going to show Bud's variant cover that Dan colored. Oh, look at that. It's like companion piece. That's yeah. why we did it. If you got the one, you got to get the other. Very nice. You can put them right next to each other. I see you put the uh, credits on this one. What are you doing? Uh, I mean, they might be there when we go to print. They might not. I don't know. Okay. So, but point is, if you bought one, you got to get the other. Go sign up for Cordrat the Awakening. Link in the description below. Or I'm sure Randy Howell is going to post it any minute now. No, no, no. Randy's gone. He said goodbye. That's why I think oh, Randy. Randy's gone. Another wrench will post it. And if not, the link's in the description below to sign up for Cordrat the Awakening. And you can get the beautiful variant cover by uh, Bud Root, drawn to scale, because she is taller than Lilith. So, mm. there, and the eagle does appear, the black eagle does appear in the story. That is a so freaking huge bird, man. Yeah, it is. I was yeah, yeah. Well, it's a fantasy book, so you can do that. Well, yeah. no, I'm not just, it's just, that's that's a an imposing, uh, imposing bird, for sure. You're damn right. You're damn right it is. So there you go. Uh, check that. Is it snowing out by you, uh, Mr. Lopresti? No, it's. No. Uh, we just had a nice like 70 degree weather for like four days, and now it's like gray and kind of semi rainy it's again. Rainy, yeah. Oh well, it's not semi rainy here. It's pouring here. Um, Aaron, I actually heard uh, that in Washington, Washington State, 
they're not going to require the bar exam anymore for lawyers. That's true. I live in uh, Vancouver. Wow. Is that just like, is that just more encouragement to make our population more stupid than it already is? No well, offense to anybody think, in the chat. I think, it's a, I think it's a free market thing that if you were going to hire a lawyer, if you're a lawyer, aren't you going to advertise that you pass the bar? So who are you going to hire? Yeah, I don't, I don't get the advantage. It's like, are they going to take away? Uh, we got now doctors that don't have to go to medical school. Hmm. Yeah, I don't yep. know. Wait a second. Now, I haven't heard that. You mean doctors that, no, not no, like I Dr. Joe that. Biden. Who's, you know. <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying that's what I'm saying is what's next, you know, oh, 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 the way the bar right. exam. So it's like, no, but I think, you know, most people aren't stupid that they're, they're not going to hire a lawyer that has not passed the bar. Right. right. Even First though there will I'm be lots of them you. available, they're not going to, you know, because if I had my choice, I'm not going to hire, you know, well, it's Jeff like, Bodine is my, my lawyer. It's kind of like I'm buying that. When it's like buying that Star Trek manual. You're going to pay six ninety five or seven ninety five. Yeah, only <laughs> well, a fool would pay seven ninety five to get exactly. the same book. Yeah, no, no, because a true person would buy both. <laughs> we we know what type of lawyer Dennis will hire. Yeah, exactly. The one that didn't pass the bar. <laughs> no, no, I would hire one of each: one that passed and one that didn't pass. No, All right, Dennis, right. do the math. Hire both. Do, do the math, Dennis. $9,919. I'm doing it. $81 away. away. Hold on. I got a little uh, grand. Nine That's one. only a, a couple of books nine away, one right? Nine. Oh, my God. You are only $81 away, Andy. 81 Come on, That's people. just a couple books away. Who's going to be the one that put it over the top? If we get three more backers, boom, we hit it. Now, because I have OCD, I would like four more backers to make it 140 because yeah, of my OCD. Absolutely. Guys, right. guys right. just think the money for this book will go help my OCD. And when you say how, it's psychiatry. That's how. I have to pay for a psychiatrist. No, oh, okay. So. Are they are they uh, legitimate psychiatrists or or ones that haven't, you know. <laughs> haven't no, no, I made sure the mine have passed. Passed. <laughs> exam. Do they, they have the passed. do they have a diploma on their wall or or you know. yeah they do and it's at least 20 years old so I know it's legit. Uh yeah. Vespa guy, two bucks. I identify as passing the bar. Well, hell, there you go. That's all yeah, right. okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. What I mean the psychiatrist, I mean the C B D for my okay, date pass. Paul? Paul says, I don't need a manual. I have all that useless Star Trek trivia in my head. So give me the answer. Just tell me why and make it real. Just want to know. Whoa, Queen Mickey. That's not funny. No LOL. Come on now. Look at that. Three back it. And I I can I'm like, whoa. And then, you know. It goes no, right she'll yeah, no, no. she'll refund it and then back it again. So she she'll be the one to put it over the top. We need three more, or we could get somebody to do the bundle for seventy, where they save twelve percent. How do I and get that? Get somebody to, how do I get that Cintiq you keep advertising on there? That's what I want. Oh, see, that's not for sale though. That's just oh, the demo. That's just like see. false advertising or something. I'm like, ooh, how no, it, no. Do you see a Cintiq advertising? It's right there. there. It's right yeah, there. Right there. It says digital. I, I, when you yeah, click on it, it says you received the digital money. edition. There's nothing about included items as sent to I just think it's the I don't, same I, price as the book. I think or it's false an, advertising. It it's yeah, for an it iPad. Well, Aaron, I hear there's some good lawyers out there that don't even <laughs> ask the bar you can get Yeah, you might be able to hit one up to lose that lawsuit. I mean, win that lawsuit. Okay. I might do You that. know. I hear Latita James is doing pretty well in New York. So, yeah, you can just, yeah, you don't have to, you don't have to know anything about law. You just have to know who you hate. And then uh, you could, you could get Fanny Willis down in Georgia. Geez. She seems great. All right. Um, She's probably looking for work. Do you guys, do any of you guys have Cintiqs? No. Yeah, I do right here in front of me. How no. much are they these days? Oh shit. That's a good question. I've had this thing for, I, well, no, I've had this since 2017, mm. and I want to say, I think I paid 15 for it. So those are the ones you can draw right on the screen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> right there. <laughs> mm. 
And this is this is like the 27 inch one. So I mean it's like well, a desk almost. Aaron, you thinking about going digital? Well, no, I've got I still this Wacom tablet, Wacom, whatever however you pronounce it, this thing is like almost this is as old as Josh. And I'm still using it, but it hasn't been working recently. So I'm thinking, is it done? Is it finally died? And it I need to get is. yeah, probably. Need to get yeah, something. but Aaron, on a serious note, there's there's other brands besides Wacom now that you can get that are like like five six hundred bucks besides who wake them whatever whoa, whoa, whoa. hold on I just <laughs> that's not what you said you. Well, i no, said whack them because i always thought it was pronounced whack them but i don't Some know people call them whack them sometimes wake I thought it was wake -em. okay wake them but there are there's other brands that you can get that are left i like whack them though i like that okay so the reason mine was half Holy of that Moses. Mine was about fifteen, sixteen hundred, but it's because I got a refurbished one. But I'll be honest, I've never had a problem with it. So, dude, are you kidding me? Thirty-five hundred dollars? I'm not paying that. Shoot, I could buy a car for that. Mine is it? I think mine is that. Hold on, let me see. Because you measure diagonally. Yeah, my, I got the twenty-seven inch one. Yeah. Yep, there it is. But I got it in two thousand seventeen. But like I said, I'll look for it since uh, we're talking about it. While you're talking about it, uh, Mickey is asking an interesting question. Is there any original art from the book available to buy? Are you referring to Nice and Tight? Oh, no. There's no original art from the Nice and Tight book for sale. No. Because? Because I don't sell it. That's why. Oh. He's not a... Uh, he's not like Aaron. Not a capitalist like me. Yeah. I saw okay, although I can't, you know, I'm like Aaron too. I if I like I'll sell my shoestrings, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here, here's one. It's a it's a 24 inch and it's 1100. Well, that's better. That's yeah. still four that's figures. That's insane. That's a lot of money. I would have thought they would have come down by now. No. The thing is, they, they're just getting more expensive. But if huh. you get a refurbished one, like I said, I did, it's great. Or, honestly, Aaron, well, you want it so you can use it on your computer, right? Yeah. Because an iPad sure. is great, too. When I worked in politics, most lawyers I knew were great, but there were a few pompous clowns, and I took great delight at humbling the clowns. Uh, what's the Star Trek question, Dennis? I just got here. Paul Taylor, 10 bucks. Thank you so much. So, Paul, Paul, while he's looking that up, I've got two versions of the original Star Trek manual, the technical manual and 20th anniversary. This one was $6.95. Valentine, this is all released in the same year. Somebody did mention Canadian or not. They are neither one. There, there was only one. No, no price difference. I already had looked into that. This one is seven ninety five with the different number. Both printed on the exact same year. Both of them have the exact same insides. Uh, I already went through that. The indicia of it. They are both listed as uh, first printings. First printing November nineteen seventy five. The one and only. As is this one. So why are there two different prices? And um, what they are exactly the same. By the way, I've gone through them page by page, and they are exactly the same on, on everything. We don't know why. I've actually put it out in the Star Trek forums, and nobody has been able to tell me. Most people didn't know there were two prices. There you go. That's uh, well, that's Paul, you're hopefully going to answer that. Here's one, Aaron, that it's gotten over 9,000 four and a half star review or 9,000 reviews. Four and a half stars average, four hundred forty bucks. Twenty two uh, or twenty one point five inch display, and uh, there you go. So see, the stuff the come nice out thing of the is, screen like that. This is like what's that? Images come out of the screen like it's showing. They do. Um, the The nice thing yeah, is that uh, competition is a great thing. So other companies besides Wacom. Are doing uh, cheaper ones. I like uh, I like Wacom better. 
here's another one from Huan or however you say it. That's a 21 and a half inch for 500. So just got to shop around. But dude, I tell you, man, once you, once you start using a pen. Oh, Dan's back. We can't hear you. Aaron. Boom. Hello. Yeah. Aaron, we can't hear you. You're, you're muted. Yeah. There you go. Well, I, I was going to say, because I have, this thing is called an, an, an Intuit or, you know, where you yeah. actually draw the in, pad, right? Well, they yeah. still they still sell new ones of these for like, yeah. you know, 300 bucks. So maybe I'll just get a new one of these. Yeah, but if you're paying 300 bucks, why not pay 200 more to get the one where you're actually drawing on the screen? Because I can use that $200 to get an old comic book. Hey. Oh, what, my God. What, 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 uh, he doesn't what, understand what, how nice what, it is to draw right on the screen, Dan. Why don't you just get yourself a, an iPad Pro and call it a day? What's give it? yourself? How does that work? No, give yourself. <laughs> get. Yeah. Well, Buy. To, to give yeah. yourself, to give yourself, you have to have certain proportions. If you know. <laughs> oh, uh, wait a minute. Well, how much? Yeah, I don't have. Man? I don't have the uh, financial resources to give myself stuff. <laughs> how much are those, Dan? Uh, well, you could get like I, what I would do is I would go and get an older model. So let me let me look up uh, a price on one of those. Yeah, yeah, because I can tell you when I bought my iPad Pro and it's the 12 inch diameter one, that's the biggest you could get. Uh, in 2017, it was 1100 bucks. Here's a used one on eBay for 269. I'm not buying used electronics on eBay, buddy. I can tell you that right now. My computer that I do everything on is a used electronic from eBay. Well, yeah, but you probably you did. Yeah, but you're probably capable of fixing it if there's something messed yes, up. Yeah, there, that's right? rolling the dice if you buy something yeah. used on eBay. Hmm. If you'd like get it on Amazon, there's there's some there are, uh, you know, backups if, if it doesn't work. Yeah, well, eBay, you're, you're you know you're out of luck. There's buyers. There's you're not out of luck. There's there's uh things like warranties and things on eBay. Well, then you, you know? have yeah. To buy I mean, Dan's right. If you buy if you buy something used from a reputable seller, you can get warranties and stuff for that. That's yeah. Stuff. I was just yeah. saying, man. You know, because the Intuos is great. I've got the Intuos, and on a certain level, I, I you know I prefer it uh, when like sort of. You know, when you're looking at a screen and not looking at your hand, it's almost like the Betty Edwards uh, blind drawing, you know, like, you know. I'm used to it, though. I've been using it for so long that I'm just yeah. used to it. Well, then then do that. I mean, I know colorists that, that still use it, you know. Um, but uh, there, you know, I've got like mine. Mine is a, uh, this is a 2008 Cintiq 21U. This one here. Mm hmm. Yeah. So it, you might be able to find one of these used too. Uh, in fact, uh, my, my friend Andre Kromoff, the a colorist, sold me uh, one of these, and it was pretty cheap. So if this one goes bad, I have a spare. You know? And here you go. You've got this too, a Wacom 12-inch one that you draw right on. Because I used to have, before I got the 27-inch, I had a 13-inch one. And that works great too, especially because you can just set it on your lap. Why yeah. you're working. You know what, Aaron, Aaron listen. Aaron likes to work with no, stuff. No, 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 hard. no. This yeah. is because this is you guys. I know when I left because I always like have it on. I know you guys thought I don't like Aaron, and Aaron knows I love him and, and <laughs> I love he's representing I, right now at the I garbage. And I and I wore this not knowing I would be seeing Aaron today. <clears throat> um if you are cool with paying for shipping. I have two of the smaller ones, and I will send you one. You know what I'm saying? You mean the 13 inch ones? Dan? Yeah, yeah. It, it's like either 11 or 13, but it's the one that has the little flip up. But yeah, it, yeah. and it works works perfect. Are you talking about an Intuos or a? I'm talking about a little Cintiq, a little one that you draw on the you, screen. You draw on the screen. Yeah. yeah. Dan, how about no, I, I pay you for the shipping? You send it to me, and then I'll sell <laughs> it to Aaron. <laughs> I like that. See, see, Gary's got the right idea. He's got the right That's idea. Right. All right, let's do no, that. no, no. Cut out the middleman. Cut out the middleman and just uh, give it yeah. directly to me. No, but seriously, if if you you know, we'll, we could figure out what it costs to ship. I'll just send it to you because it's just sitting. It's sitting in my storage closet doing nothing. Wow, really? Think about it. Just no, think about I, it. I just, yeah. I mean, that seems very generous of you. 
bro, you're my bro. What are you talking I about? Know, but I don't want to take Aaron. If you want to know how ever. generous Dan is, uh, a month and a half ago, he came up for a convention and stayed at my house. Oh, I can tell you how generous Dan is. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> see, instead, if you switch out, if you switch out the word shipping with lip balm, I say, as long as you provide <laughs> lip balm, I'll do it for you. Uh, so, you know, I'm generous. What do you want? Dennis, have you ever had any of these dilithium crystals? The mints? Yeah, fresh from the warp core. Uh, how old, Aaron, how old are not, those? Not with, not with that one. Definitely not with that cover. By the way, we do I'm now gonna... know what Dan's working for. Stat zero. Dan's yeah. trying to get bonus points for hey, the next game well. show. He knows me Scandal. well. So now we know the next game show, if Dan miraculously gets everything wrong yeah. but wins. No, watch, watch. <laughs> I'm going to ruin it all. I'm going to ruin any goodwill that I have right now by saying these words. Do those mints taste just like the Star Wars guy that's printed on there? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. How would I know such a thing? Somebody sent me these as a birthday gift this year. <laughs> what? I know you that. better put him back. I know Somebody that. I did not me. do that. Dennis, <laughs> this is Star Trek you know, man this himself. Is, this is what's the expiration date yeah, on someone, Dave? Aaron, what's the yeah. expiration date on those things? They're, uh, like they have inspiration dates. Uh, it's they're, they're, you, you got to take them on a five year mission, so they're at least that yeah. new. <laughs> five year <laughs> mission. <laughs> the thing I always thought was weird is they always say that the stormtroopers kill the red shirt guys first. How is it? How is it that they went to Endor and uh, homie with the red shirt didn't die? Mm. Just wondering. We'll just be, uh, you know, it's one of those uh, things all I, I'd never thought about before, but now I probably won't be able to sleep tonight. So, we're, we're so gonna Torchbearer says, Dennis, I have two tins of the mints. I'll sell you one tin for four and one tin for five. They are different. <laughs> No, see, he won't. He won't buy them if they're different. They have. They got to be exact. Yeah, they got to be the same. same. <laughs> he's not. Paying, he's not paying an extra dollar if they're different. They need well, to be the right. same. It, is the price printed on the can? Because that's the difference. If they are printed, they are two completely different objects. No, see, it's better if you hand letter the the prices. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Use a it's sharpie better. and write on sharpie, the back. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, that wouldn't happen. The only people the stormtroopers ever hit were Luke's aunt and uncle. The red shirts were safe fighting them. <laughs> they can't. They couldn't shoot straight. Wait, wait, can't... wait! But Luke is from Harry Potter, right? Yes. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yes. No, dummy, Dan, you're still <laughs> wrong. Luke is no. from Battlestar Galactica. No, 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 no. He had Gandalf try, like train him with a Quidditch <laughs> with a Quidditch broom or whatever. <laughs> I thought I thought you were talking about the rifleman. <laughs> I was. Yeah, right. <laughs> Little Luke. There's another one for you, Dennis. Hold, that, hold the log. Oh, Mickey, I know the answer to why they're different, but he's a Green Bay Packer fan. I don't help those cheeseheads. You know, oh. you Chicago people just have a lot of hatred rolling through your veins. That's well, you all know, I'm going to. Nah, man. Kanye West is from Chicago, but. So is R. Kelly. So let's. Not okay, so I, I'm pretty sure if we have Mickey on the show, all I'll hear about is the Super Bowl shuffle. What else do they got to talk about? What yeah. that the Super Bowl shuffle wasn't that? Uh, that was the Iggy uh, from Cincinnati. Yeah, I was gonna say that was the Iggy shuffle. The the Bengals, right? <laughs> Iggy shuffle. No, Iggy the shuffle Iggy. was. Yeah, yeah, that the one I just did. Yeah, yeah. that's that was yeah. for Bengals. That is totally different than the Super Bowl shuffle. The, the Dennis, I, I, I missed hey, that. That, that, that guy had uh, the the lead coach was Mitch Ditko, right? <laughs> no, it was <laughs> Mitch Ditko. Mitch Ditko. <laughs> that would be a great SNL skit. The Bears. The Bears. The Bears. Mitch Ditko. Yeah, Mitch Ditko. He uh, invented Spider Person. Yeah, yeah. My dad right. used to call Brett Favre Birch Favre. So. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Hey Dan, you missed this. I found a nice high resolution of mm. this wonderful cover. The uh Busema? Oh no, that's shit. John Remitted Senior. Yeah, it is. And they're all paste ups. 
Yeah. Holy shit. And, and here you go. Everybody on the panel knows the answer. So, shh. How much do you think this original sold for in 2021 on Heritage? 2021. And those are, they're, this isn't a paste up. It obviously it's a paste up, but it's a paste up of originals to, right, right. to make this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh man, um, these are all, and it was painted in gouache with. Uh, well, it said it officially like, illustration board, blue pencil, and gouache. I see some uh, colored pencil in there too, but. Uh, <sighs> Um, I mean, it's kind of historic and a lot of the people that would give a damn are still alive. So, uh, I'm going for 250,000. Wow. Wow. You would win because Dan Lawless yeah. was closest until you 312,000. Okay. Yeah. 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 That makes sense because here's wow. the thing. A lot of the, a lot of the, like the first off the collector's market is massive. There's also, um, like the, it's a small, like the, the high, the high rollers. It, it's a small amount of people. Uh, I saw them standing around together in San Diego this past year, but, um, <laughs> you know, you got your Dave Mendel's Nick Barucci, Life oh, yeah. um, a, another guy called the vacuum. That's his nickname is the vacuum. Um, <laughs> wow, they, that's, you, that's uh, Galactus. Yeah. But they're, they, you know, but they're like, there's certain stuff, you know, like, Rob will always duke it out for some some burn X Men. Virtue oh, yeah. will Virtue will always duke it out for any Bill Everett or uh, um, early Daredevil stuff like that. Oh, I didn't know that. That's Nick's sweet spot. Um, and there 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 are some guys that like this is their era. This is when they were buying. They probably bought this off the stands, and now they're you know sixty years old and have money. That's me, except I don't have the money part. Well, you right. also, you know, you're you're a dad, and you you put kids through school, and you know, the, there's different different things, you know. True. Yeah, but this is beautiful. I, I'd never seen it this high res. That's it. That's incredible. Gotta love heritage. But here's yeah. the other thing I mentioned too to the guys is, doesn't this look like something that people do today using pure Copics and color pencil? Yes. Absolutely. That's crazy. Is yeah. you know, this is from the 70s, so let's say 45 years ago, gouache paint 40 years later, give me a set of Copics and some colored pencils. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but Copics, I'd rather have yeah. the gouache, you know. It's gonna it's gonna last longer for sure, you know. It's yeah. on more durable paper. I mean, what what was this 77, 76? That's a good question. I'm not sure. 75, 1975. Okay. Thanks, Stat. Take Sounds care. Right in, the, right in there somewhere. Um, okay. So, so yeah, this, I mean, this thing is, uh, you know, 49 years old and, and, uh, still looks gorgeous. I mean, that the, the paper is a little yellow in the back, but you know, uh, I think that white all around those characters, it might be gouache or, or some sort of, um, uh, forget what you call it. Um, before you paint that shit you put down. I oh, gesso. Might be different. gesso. Thank you. Thank you very much. So yeah, like a gesso. Yeah. Yeah. So the question is, how do they preserve it? Mickey wants to know. Uh, like the way I, I yeah, the, the way I keep my stuff, because I, I own a few originals, nothing uh, in this echelon. I, I own a lot of doodles by a lot of incredible artists like Frazetta and Kirby and stuff. But the I keep mine in uh, acid free archival uh, like bags and I keep them out of the sun. They're they're in a dark room. And I look at them when I want to. And when friends come over, I show them. And and when when I do suss up my studio and, and give it a, a, a vibe, I'll definitely get the UV, uh, the UV glass and, and all that stuff. So none of the elements can affect it. So that's probably yeah, I don't I mean, I the few things I have framed in my office, I don't have behind any UV glass. They're just frames I got from Walmart, but they're not in the sun. Right. And then all my other original art is in uh, portfolios and another portfolio. So and those I mean, are those are acid free, too, because they make those. Uh, yeah. For, you know, it's like the same stuff. Com the good comic bags are made out of. Yeah. You know, the, the good night. Court Bear. Thank you for joining. It's date night. Well, have fun, whatever you're doing. Dude, and, have uh, a thank great you very date much, night. Man. What's that like? Good Lord. Yeah. I know. What's a date night like? Dennis, Dennis, <laughs> you guys have a lot of date nights. What are those like? 
Uh, it's let's see. What does Andy say we have to watch tonight? Because we have to do a review. That's usually what it is. Oh, I don't tell you what to watch. Oh, yeah, you do. You know what I find to be really cool, uh, Mr. Turner, is that yeah. I have been in that room. Yeah. And I know it by heart. And it's just so cool now. And I've been in Andy's. My tank stick. My tank stick's not here anymore. Oh. Don't say it. Don't, you need to, to separate those words because that sounded like taint stick. It did, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah big tank stick. I like. He uses tank. We, we, well, I guess I'm, I'm, I guess. Damn! I'm when I go over to his house, he gives me that taint stick. He bends over and he goes, "Give it to me." I'm like, "Yeah, ah, can't yeah. your wife do this?" What, yeah. What game you want to play? Okay. With my taint stick. Now I hear the new taint stick has a little ball that you can roll. <laughs> Andy, I think a little it's ball. Done. If it's Dennis, and a little, and a little sure. paddle. Andy, that you I, can I think tweet. it's time for another. Uh, uh, update on your campaign <laughs> okay well the update is we're we're holding steady at nine thousand nine hundred nineteen dollars eighty one dollars away from ten thousand dollars three more backers is what we're looking for can we do it can we do it we need three more backers three more backers here come on come on come on down three more backers get the digital tier get the feature perk seventy dollars seventy dollars you can do it you can do it drop it now drop it now hit that button make your payment now there you go. Wow. Thank you. That was beautiful. That took a lot out of me, actually. So Thank you. I need a, I need a tank stick now. <laughs> love uh, Erica, Eric and Boyd says, uh, don't, don't taint it, love. Well, so Dan, Dan, if you do get to come over when you come to Heroes, you will notice there is some differences from when you were here last time. Mm. All right. Did you take down that one poster? The one poster. Yeah. I can answer that. He didn't because oh, I know no. what you're talking about. Hey, we don't have to name names. I just thought it sucked. Uh, so anyhow, uh, I do I do love all the little spaceships. Uh, you know, that, that collection of spaceships that you have is fucking awesome. Hey, let I me answer the question up, real quick. Way. Hold on. Sleeping uh, psychopathy. How do we receive the digital version? So when the campaign's over and I do the fulfillment for digital stuff, I will be sending a link to it so you can just click the link and go download it so that is how you'll be receiving the digital version load yeah. all right i got a question for you guys andy you share my screen i will i was waiting until you said so there you okay. go okay so i can get journey into mystery 123 and a 9.4 slabbed for Ooh. 500 bucks it's a 600 dollars book so i get it 100 dollars under current value or i can go thor 160 which has the Galactus versus Ego, the Living Planet, yeah. and that's a four hundred dollar book that I probably could get for three fifty. And it's raw. Nine oh, it's slabbed. It, Both is of this them are a, slabbed nine fours. Is the, is that one pictured the the one sixty? Is that the book itself, or is that just a picture of? It's just of, a picture of. Oh, okay, because yeah. uh, I was like, that's not a nine four. You see all this chipping at the No, top, no, no. They're both know? slabbed okay. versions of this that I can get for under value, but one. Uh, you know, one's got the Galactus. The other one is, is just, you know, Thor 120 or Journey into Mystery 123. It's an older book and I, I love the cover. Yeah. I like the Journey into Mystery just because it's one, it's one, two, three. Love that. Yeah. Two, it's, you know, three issues before, isn't it three before he got his own, it switched just to Thor. Wasn't it yeah. 126 when that happened? Yeah. 125. I think that's wow. cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and I do like that cover. I mean, God, I like both covers to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I, I would go with the 160 because I think it's that's that's an iconic cover. Th thank well, you. That's exactly what I was going to say. 160, and for me, I'm I'm a little selfish. Galactus with the with the space stuff like that. I, that is just. All right, let's get the X Men no, no, guy no, out of here. Wait, 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 let me Nobody needs to hear what an X Men guy thinks. I'm gonna be. <laughs> I'm gonna play devil's advocate. Uh, I'm going to go with the one, two, three, because I'm a big fan of a little head. And now you got like four of them. So, uh, you know, you got four little heads, five if you count. Thor. Well, I love I love the cover. I just I just think the, I, the the only reason it's even a question is because I think the Galactus appearance is and plus with versus ego, the living planet makes it perhaps long term, maybe a better and in, in, potential investment. Oh, I see. But. One, the okay. 123 is a much older book. It's, you know, probably 
three years young younger. I think it's 1965. So it, and nine four 1965 book. That's hard. Dude, that's well, that's got to be rare, right? There, there's that, but but also, um, you know, they're slabbed. Uh, they're slabbed, and like to me, you can't open them. Uh, yeah, that's well, why I, got, well, hey, I got essentials, dude. I can read these. No, no, no. I'm not talking about. That, yeah, I'm not. My talking. next question was: I assume you have reprints of all this stuff, so you can look at them that way. Yeah, Absolutely. no, I, 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 but I, I just for when you pulled these images up. My eye went to the one, two, three. Uh, I recognize the Galactus and and the investment and all that, but the that is a what if, and the, and this one is is a definitely yeah. You're still gonna save a, a you know hundred bucks. You may spend a little more, you know, but uh, that that's what I would say. But um, trust I'm your leaning heart. that direction. Trust your heart. I mean, what what direction are you leaning? Yeah. The Galactus. No, no, no. The journey into mystery. Because yeah, this, this, oh. this is how this I would is do how, journey into mystery. Yeah, I, I was taught that uh, when you have what we call here a classic dilemma by by literal definition terms, if you were to uh, flip a coin, say one twenty three is heads and one sixty is tails, when that thing is in the air, in your mind, your subconscious will say, "Oh, I hope it's right." Mm, exactly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So but, give that but, a shot. Aaron, Aaron, the thing is, this is a trick question because there is no wrong answer. They're both great. <laughs> That's They're amazing. True. Yeah. That's true. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah. Okay. This, so yeah. we've got a fence sitter right below me. And and Wait Aaron, just think think of the money you're saving on on the tablet that you can spend. I, the, I'm sending you yeah, one. Second He's, book. He's he's saving money in sh by just paying for shipping, so right. he can right. get. You can the get them he, both now. No, he can't get them both. <laughs> How do you explain that? How do you explain that to the 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 hungry just dog? Because he's yeah you know, saving money on the tablet. Yeah. Well, sure. I'm not I'm not above getting both, but I'm trying not to. <laughs> okay. Well, if you're getting Dan's tablet, but eventually you're, you're going to get it anyway. Go. Yeah. Well, it's true. I have an idea. Tell me the seller, and I'll go buy that journey into mystery now. And, and then Mark, your decision is made. Not, that's, that's why I'm not. Yeah. That's why I'm not showing you guys. I don't want anybody to go in there and scoop me on these. See? Yep. Oh. And then sell it to you. Later. Yeah. Exactly. Guys, you, got, you buy? Do you you buy these on? You buy these on eBay? Uh, sometimes. Uh, sometimes Comic Link. Sometimes okay, my but, comic but, shop. But but you won't buy electronics on eBay. <laughs> <even> <laughs> I was but, gonna say that. Yeah, but but the thing is, is like the electronics. You go, oh yeah, this isn't working. It's clear this doesn't work, or it's fritzy or whatever. Clear. You'll never know if that's not fucking garbage pail kids number four wrapped in some other shit. It's slabbed, dude. CGC labeled. We're assuming that it's you know. Assuming. Yeah, Dan, but, can you get a tablet on eBay slabbed? Yeah, exactly. There you go. Gary's got the right <laughs> idea. <laughs> Why don't you just buy a really nice near mint unslabbed one and get it slabbed yourself? Then you're because then it'll money. come back for less than what I think it should, and then I'll be pissed. Yeah, I want someone else to take the risk for getting these okay. things graded. I'm not taking the risk on on my book. So, so essentially, what you're telling me is you don't care what is inside the slab as long you're buying the certificate. You're buying the certification. I'm trusting. I'm trusting CGC. You're, but you are buying the certification. That's what you're purchasing because it's right. backed in it's backed in CGC whatever, right? Thank you, Andino. Yes, you, I'm but, aware. But I'm aware issue. of it. Look at you have but, to look at the books, and you can tell by looking at them. If they're a nine four, you can tell by looking at them. If they're not, you know something's Jake. And I'm, I'm I'm not gonna fucking mince words right now. Okay, Buy a used iPad. Up. Buy a used iPad on on eBay. That's what. I'm <laughs> <doing. laughs> <laughs> And another I mean, point, I think, another point, I think you buy 123 <clears throat> and then you send the picture of 160 to your son and say, I did such a great job raising you. I know you love me. Yeah. And I know what you do for a living. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You yeah, know where I'm up, coming dude. from there. Hook me up. You, Pretend you, this you, is... go, you go, hey, Josh, you want that babysit in action for free, right? Right. Well, yeah. There is a cost yeah. to it. And, yeah. and, and, yeah, there are and ways, see, Aaron. There the way that Thor is reaching out is me reaching out to you, son, for this book. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yep. Give me the book. Take my hand. Take it's my symbolic. hand. 
He's only reaching on that 160. He is not reaching on the one, two, three. He's pushing, he's holding the barriers back from crushing no, he's, his son. He's, he's doing Samson, dude. Yeah. You know, there yeah. you go, Delilah. Or is your son. He's you pushing are down the, 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 was it the Philistines that he fucked up? Yeah. yeah I love how we talk about Bible stuff, but say fucked up. No, uh, you but, said that. I didn't. Yeah, you did. I didn't drop an F. You did. An yeah. F what? F what? F bomb. What? No, it's spelled differently than that. No, I'm not going <laughs> to. Okay, but here's, right, guys. Okay, wait a minute. Guys, wait I can minute. I can make this decision for for Aaron really easy. Hold on, I won't even full screen myself. I'll just do this, so I'm almost full screen. What you really want to buy, and this will only cost you five hundred, because I'm giving you the friend discount. Is the nine point nine core draft? Ooh, number one. Yeah. Yellow one lane. Nine. Why is it yellow? Because you signed it. Uh, yes. And so did Dennis. How did you get nine, a nine, nine, nine. nine. No. Did you go, Hey, which which backer did you take take a book away from? Nine point nine. These were ours. We <laughs> said, Andy, hey, how are I you? I'm totally <laughs> fucking with you, man. How are you passing off these these crappy comics that aren't ten point oh? Nine. You're proud of a nine point nine. Where's your <laughs> Where's your standard? You know why? <laughs> because. Because Where's your quality control, man? I, I think the only way you could get a ten is that if it went in the from the printer into a, a you know a vacuum sealed <laughs> like thing, then was taken into like one of those uh, clean rooms, you know, and then looked at and then slabbed in that clean room, then you'd have a ten. All right, do do ten. All right, point here's the question. Exist. Wait a second. Here's the question. Obviously, 123, that cover was inked by Coletta, right? I mean, you guys agree with that, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. What is 160? Is that Joe Sinnott? No. It looks like Coletta no, to me. It looks too rough. 160, you think? Uh -oh. Oh, it might be. Look Coletta. at his eye, yeah. 160 yeah. looks like Coletta to me. Well, that Galactus face looks better than it should. That's why it threw me. But you can see some of the scratchiness on his leg, can't you? Yeah. It's hard to tell because and you that, can't see the, the detail. And that, and the hand does has no consideration for how close it is to the camera. The lines are just as thin as on Senate the face. Senate would have beefed that outline. That's up. exactly yeah. right. Yeah, Kilgore well, knows. Coletta. Marcus says Coletta. Okay, well he would know. He would. All right, guys. I got breaking news. Breaking news. Do, 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 do. Whatever. We are at nine thousand nine hundred fifty nine dollars. That's right. Yes, one dollars away from. 10 grand guys let's make this happen so i can go eat dinner yeah <laughs> let's make this help, happen. help andy eat yeah that's true andy my, my, uh, my window. half hours daddy's hungry yeah, i know dennis window. has been texting me going my wife wants to cut my balls off because i'm still on stream yeah. and i keep Hold telling on. dennis whoa, whoa. you whoa. wear the pants that's in that family four, that's Tell 41 that woman up. that's 41 dollars right Yep. 41. You, yeah, you got the lip balm out for 60. Just tell them what a deal it would be. <laughs> oh my God. What a deal it'll be. Dennis will hand deliver it to you in the continental United States. You know, it's it's that Fraga Smith uh unibrain that's going through. You were probably both thinking the same thing. They were. <laughs> we you really know were. it. Uh, guys this is a book like none other hold on i gotta pitch it more it's this nice is a book and like none nice. other it's not just a sketchbook of say i don't know rough sketches and pinups and stuff it is a book featuring fully penciled pages that besides and the anchor and the editor really nobody has seen before except for maybe a few i put on my website Andy, I have a, I have a, uh, an idea, but maybe it's dumb. And guys, don't, guys, being on the panel and you guys in the chat, if this is dumb, tell me it's dumb. But what if you did like a just here, just now stretch goal that if you hit ten, that you will do uh, five sketches and they like like Malin's golden ticket, you'll do five sketches and maybe they'll be the lucky backer that gets one with a sketch in it. But you got to hit. I mean, grand. you know, yeah. for ten grand, if it it hits ten grand, I could do five little head sketch cards and just randomly put them in. I guess. Why not do a sketch in the book and make that book extra valuable? Oh, a sketch in the book. In, in the book, yeah. Because, because 
Yeah, but what but but what I'm saying is oh Art of Boy want, wants Arnie. Hold on, let me see if I can get it. Hey man. Ring ring. Who is this? <laughs> it's Fre it's Frega. Uh, no, no, what are you doing? I'm fucking the maid. Um, <laughs> oh, okay, damn. Man. Uh, just hurry up with that. Hurry up with that. I can't believe uh, he called you while he was in the act. Okay, what are we talking about here? We're talking about Nice and Tight by Andy Comic Book Pencil Smith. I'm reading. I'm reading. Uh, it's not my... You have to cut me slack because this is not my first language. It's Austrian is first. Uh, you need to back this book. But, but Arnie, do you think he needs to do a sketch in the book? I think it's added value. A sketch card. He does them all the time. But the book, there's five out of the whole world. People will come to you at conventions and say, can you put a sketch in this? And you say, no, there are five. <laughs> <laughs> From his lips to your ears, guys. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Yeah. Uh, we got to get you a ventriloquist doll. That would be awesome. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. An Arnold ventriloquist. That would be great. I, you can have your hand have up a... Ernie's butt. I have a command, the commando action figure that came out back when commando came out. I still have it somewhere. I should pull it up. Yeah, you should, Dude, that man. thing, there's no way that thing even looks like Arnold. If it's, that it, looks, it looks dead on like him. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll pull it up. Look, Arnold. Yeah. Find a picture of it. Refresh. Let me, uh, let me remove this. So here's the problem with doing a sketch in the book. Dude, there is like, there's no real white space anywhere on the book to do one. Then you do In what the they book. call a, a remark. That's pretty oh, racist to, to say yeah, that. You could do, yeah, do it like with a paint pen with a different color. That's kind oh, of I hear like you. what Chris Stevens does. Oh, damn, look at that. There Woo! it is. Dinner time. <clears throat> what? I, I want to do the, re I appreciate that, Dennis, but I'm going to do the refresh like this. Yeah, but I was trying to get your attention. No, look at you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Sincerely, I got a full screen nest. Nothing against you guys, but I have a prettier Dude, face. That's awesome, uh, bro. Sincerely, guys, um, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much. Um, the, the whole point of doing this campaign was to do a different type of art book uh, to get out there showing off, like I say, some of my favorite pencil pages. 64 pages, oversized wire bound now so you can lay it flat um and i wanted to have a campaign out between the core draft campaigns and uh i thought this would be something unique and cool so sincerely thank you all for uh for backing it that is that is really awesome and, and making it hit uh 10 grand so thank you sincerely thank you guys and mickey no awesome. refunding <laughs> yeah <laughs> really fall your head you bastard don't do it. I swear to God, if that happens, you're paying the difference. Here it is. If you want to show, if you want to show the figure, it, it's a good looking figure. And this is from 85, you know? Oh, but, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not I bad. mean, it, you know, especially for 85, that was a sculpt. That wasn't a laser scan or any of that. They didn't have that back then. That almost looks like that's not the same proportions as the old He-Man figure, is it? No, no, not at all. No. All right. Well, I'm looking at like the arms and I'm looking at my classic 83 He-Man figure and the arms almost look the same. Yeah, but this, this was from Diamond Toys. Mattel would have uh, held on to that He-Man thing pretty oh. tight. And this looks like Arnold in, in Commando. You know, he didn't have the cool stopwatch that he had. Yeah, that made me want to stopwatch so bad when I was a kid. I was like, oh. So you had shit. that figure, huh? I still have it. Yeah. 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 It is we like talk, Commando. We talk to each you other. Check that out. I've got a commando one of them too. That is not commando, that is ninja. It is better. Check that out. Wait, what the hell is that? Oh, yeah, get it. All right. That? And that's from Predator. <laughs> yeah, who is that though? Don't, don't, that's it's young also, thing. Guys, think of the technology. That's from 1987. Was that some boardwalk somewhere or like some uh state fair? <laughs> that was when the, back in the day. This is how old I am. In the mall, they set up one of those shops, yes. and they were able to do it. So this is the original felt for where they put your face onto it from yes. 1987 before 
Photoshop was a thing. Those were the good days, man. You could get uh, uh, those. You get glamour shots. And remember when you could go into, they had these t these t-shirt places with the iron-ons all on the wall. And you go, hey, give me a five, give me a five and a 15 and extra large. And then they yep. pop the shirt on and iron that shit on. And you'd leave with like a glittered oh, out yeah. shirt yep. with Hello yep. Rad with BJ and the bear on it. <laughs> yeah, but you know, the, t the problem was when Dennis came home with that, his mom was so disappointed because she specifically said glamour shots. Uh, <laughs> he, he, he heard blammer shots. Uh, That's right. Uh, That's right. Wow. He did. So, unfortunately. Well, um, well I was going to say now, Andy, I don't know if you noticed, but you should have been proud of me. I didn't have to go to the bathroom until it was the four, four hour and one minute mark. I've gone through two of these, which are 40 ounces, and I stayed out for four hours before I had to go to the bathroom. I didn't Just, even notice you went. Did you turn your camera off? I did. Wow. He's got a coffee can. It, it, no, chair. I saw it. I saw it. When I came in, that's where he was. You know that's what funny. I did? Nobody realized Dennis was gone. I, <laughs> even did. In the I did. I did. You know what? I did it for 20. Oh, I know. What? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Never mind. There's there there are youngsters in the chat. There's kids in the you know, audience. Funny, I never realized until we we saw Ghostbusters uh, last night, the new one, mm. and I never realized the innuendo in the song, uh, that one line busted make makes me feel good. Yeah, I mean, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> I leaned over to Dennis when they said it in the movie and said, "It sure does." It did. I kind of wanted it, to start it, dancing it, with him. As the kids would say, no cap. There was no capping. That's right. Yeah, that's right. No, no yeah, I don't know what that means. I mean, I guys, if you liked, if you liked uh, the first, I noticed the cheese smell went away, Mickey says. Oh, so wow, she did notice you. Wow, the hate. Mm -hmm. Wow. Like I said, the only people that ever hate on Packer fans are Cowboy fans and Bear fans. That's it. So you're easy to sniff out. The cheese smell that wafted up from his taint stick. You know, <laughs> you know to clean it every now and then, but he just won't. <laughs> oh my god! You got a pat in that name. Taint stick. What taint stick? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think it's I'm gonna get one. I am gonna get one. The taint, the taint stick too. It, it really does uh, look awesome, and and, uh, and it does it does have the ball in the middle. It does. Oh, God, I wish you could just show what you're talking spinner. about because nobody has a clue. I'll, I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. I guarantee yeah, I Gary and D Gary and Aaron are like, what the hell? Are they still making innuendo? What are they talking about? I have no idea. No, right. okay. Back when you guys grew up, there were such things called arcades, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So so all the great fun of the arcades is back because I've it's called the tank stick. He's gonna he's gonna pour up so you can see it. <laughs> and it's got you can play two players you it's know gorgeous, how you, there and you had player one and player two and oh. any game you want so it's got the God, centipede ball so in the middle that goes because it. i've got it I sitting it. over here but it's kind of yeah I, i'm tired of going over to your house just to try to rub a ball because you don't even have one on your taint stick no no i've got the ball i got the centipede ball i just don't have the tempest spinner yeah which is super crucial Look yeah, it didn't thing. exist when I bought mine. Look at that thing. Well, that's the thing that drives me crazy because I've got the retro pie. I can't play Discatron. I can't play Tempest. I can't play right. regular Tron, you know, because it needs it needs the paddle. Uh, so and and this this is everything. This is two players, all the buttons. You just assign them out through RetroPie or whatever you're using. And 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 I, I feel like we're trying to sell this shit for them, which we're not. Which we should say we are, and they give them to us. Uh, but uh, th these, they're called tank sticks because they they are built like a motherfucking they are, tank. They are awesome. But what, they are heavy the, duty. Okay, now this is a serious question. Dennis, you have one. Yeah. Why is this one, you can't even, it's pre-order. until. I mean, what's the big difference it between what you got? One. That, this paddle, yeah. that, this, uh, I'm, it's loading. Uh, come on, load. Oh my but God! You and your feel good. stop stealing Wi-Fi from your neighbor, and the he's thing would be loaded. He's actually right taking he's it doing from this my... on the 13 inch that he's giving uh, uh, yeah. Aaron. <laughs> I'll give I'll give Aaron a 13 inch. Oh uh, so God. so so, uh, but that paddle, that paddle up there, the 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 little swivel wheel. It's a spinner. 
yeah, that's that's the big difference. And and there's so many games. There's, you know, that, I, I don't want to put a percentage on it, but maybe even 10 percent of, of, of classic games need it. And yeah. it's it's frustrating to have the ROMs and not really be able to play it the way it was intended. So that's a it's a new design with that <laughs> because mine looks just like that minus the spinners. Yeah. So um, you know, so you can play almost all the games from the uh, '80s. Um, you know, like Tron, and I mean, we just played Golden Axe, and uh, you know, there's just so many great classic games, but they're they're all ROMs. So I hooked that up to the 75 inch. Oh yeah, we're sitting God. there playing all that right up there. It's a blast. I can't imagine playing it on a screen that big, for real. You know. Yeah, it's fun. But uh, 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 Vespa guys, it sounds like Frega sells the open seas. I I do, but I don't because uh, with RetroPie, you can buy uh, pre-made cards off of Amazon and off of ebay so if you go and buy a a, a, a raspberry pi computer i have the raspberry uh, 4b i bought the 556 or no 512 i have a 256 too but i bought the the 512 uh gigabyte uh little mini mini uh di what do they call those little little mini stick things uh, the sd card little micro sd card pops right in start it up and there's like 250,000 games on it which is uh, pretty awesome. Uh, Aaron, I didn't think I would ever be saying this, but I wish we were uh, talking about Star Trek again. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, my wow. God. Wow. Gary, oh. Okay, hey, Gary, if you don't mind me asking, what, what year did you graduate high school? What year? Yeah. 74. Okay. All right. So. Hey, Dan, what year were you born? The year before. <laughs> so no i get it so what one of one of my uh one of my best friends uh this guy brian murray he was born in 60 you were born what 57 uh so is that right gary 57 yeah. oh, that my mother-in-law is born in 57 <laughs> uh, so that, thank you for uh, thank you for that little tidbit God, no, she, she's, she's very young she's very young <laughs> Uh, no, but what I'm saying is, is like when I talk to Brian Murray, who's 13 years older than I am about Star Wars, he says, I was already uh, getting pussy and, and driving cars when Star Wars came out. So it didn't really hit me in the same way it hit you. And it hit me when I was four. And it was like, oh, my God, this is magical. So I can imagine by the time 74 Arcade games were in bars in around 77, 78, and became a little more mainstream around 80, 81. You were already an adult. That was yeah, stupid, I was an stupid, adult. Then. I that was stu yeah. stupid kid shit, you know. <clears throat> so I, I get no, it. I, wasn't, I didn't dismiss it. I just was interested in other stuff. Yeah, ladies and 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 uh, and, and Star beer. Trek, yeah, and beer. You could actually have a beer, you know. It's true. I wish I could have a beer. <laughs> true. Aaron, pull up Kit Carter. Kit Carter, Planet Doom. Come on now, let's sh let's show some Kit Carter goodness. All right, I'm prepared. I'm still we're contemplating gonna, we're, my. We're going to roll till we're going to roll for 15 more minutes till eight o'clock Eastern time. It's, in, it's there to share it. Then my wife won't kill me for having dinner so late. No, there it is, Kit Carter, it. guys. That's look right. If that you want to, if you look at that, I'm only uh, forty-seven dollars away from one hundred twelve thousand. That'd give me one, two, two, two backers. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, um, yeah but I got to tell you, with my OCD, I really like that one, two, two, one because it's the uh, same forwards and backwards. Yeah, but we need to move forward from it, though. I know. Let's uh, get this, this to one, three, three, one. How's what if that? it said one, two, three, four? Oh, I'd love that. That well, was actually uh, that was actually Graham Nolan's when yeah. he came on earlier. His was, was one, two, three, four. He picked up nice. two backers and screwed it up right away. Yeah. Mm. Um, this is a 64-page graphic novel. It's eight and a half by eleven, Andy. So it's bigger than normal. And yeah, it is. Uh, you have a hardcover edition right here that's signed and numbered, limited edition. And uh, then you have the soft cover, uh, painted by a uh, good friend Chris Stevens. Look at the you know though. When, yeah, Very when you look at certain parts of it, it's a hardcover. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. And uh here's the inside. Um yeah. some of it anyway. I love you know what I love about that that this piece 
is yep. that I can hear it. I can hear that yeah. molten lava. I hear his roar. I hear the crackle. You know, this is such a great piece. Well, thank you. It is. This, yeah. is, uh, this is inked by uh, Matt Ryan, colored by Kelsey Shannon. There's the double pager right there. Look at that. Um, our own Dan Lawless is providing the art for the back cover. Wow. Oh, that's, that's gonna, oh I didn't know. I didn't. Uh, I don't remember when you made the decision to make that the back cover. That's cool. Now, is that the back cover on both editions? Yes. This is nice. sort of a, uh, I mean, and I mean, this is the highest compliment because I'm a huge fan, but this has got a, a kind of a Joe Chido vibe to it. Yeah, yeah it does. does. You know, and His the palette, faces. especially yeah. the palette. Yeah, His faces were so good, though. I mean, it does, uh, he does the pretty woman face like nobody else. Really, really yeah. good. And the oh, yeah, very classic pinup style. Oh, who did that well. one? Who did yep. the Frank? Who did the Frank knock? That's Gary. Gary that's did. Gary. Ah, that's gorgeous. G Gary Martin did that, and it's it's colored ah. by um, Kelsey. And this will be in the uh, in the hardcover, but not in the soft cover. So this is there's an art gallery in the hardcover that will not be in the soft cover. So this is awesome. Okay, hold on. This is an emergency uh, cut in. Our okay. voice says, "I think I figured out the price difference on the two Star Trek fleet tech manuals. One was printed for direct sales; the other for a collected sleeve edition." Probably. I added the question mark. Mm. Mm, I like hey, that. Gary, I have a question about that. Go back to his real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't want to have to lose respect, so I hope I get the answer I want. All the curved lines on the tech in the background were freehand brush, right? <laughs> I like the aggression. Uh -oh. I like the aggression in the right. All right. Uh-oh. Gary's about to, you're about to lose respect for Gary. He did use a pen. Some he of it's pen. And when you say More pen, do you, when you say pen, do you mean micron or do you mean a dip pen? No, no, I don't use croquils anymore. Okay. Uh oh. So I some of the, some of the uh, curved lines are, are with a French curve and a, and a pen. Oh, yeah. Those are, those are a pain in the ass, man. I have yeah, a hard it's, time it's drawing like, a circle. I have no system. It's, it's how um, confident I'm feeling at the time. Wait, mm -hmm. what is Marcus talking about? Add the nips back in. Was was this drawing shorter? I mean, longer in the in no. The... Uh, Dan Lawless had nipple topography on this one that I removed. Oh, had him removed. I was asking about Gary's. Wait, are you is... going to remove them on the back cover too? Yes. No, he's going to well, do it. A... No. Okay, so here's a serious question. So you did the edit, or Dan did? No, he. I made him do. I did it for posting on the. Uh, for oh, I but did he'll this. do it for the real thing. He, he he did it on the actual art. Man, can I, I suggest something? Art. Yeah. You, are you a fan of like uh you know like spot coating, UV coating and stuff? I've never done it, but but what if you did her lips with spot coating, embossed the nipples, and spot coated those? You, know what I mean? <laughs> you just always got to take it one step too far, don't you, Dan? <clears throat> I I'm, I haven't gotten old enough like you guys to to you know be yeah. grumpy. Well. Well, because Kit Carter's actually a a, a trans woman, uh, would it be cool if Dan edited in her uh, package down below? Oh my gosh, they just ruined the whole book for me. Um, <laughs> this used to be the cover, Andy, but now it's not, and it's in the in the gallery. But that's the only place you'll see it in the hardcover hey, gallery. Hey, she's Francis Ford's movie about cars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Take your time. Uh, you can get you can get t-shirts black and teal. <laughs> There's the image that goes, and it also says Kit Carter, Galactic Ranger on the shirt. It, you're not seeing it here, but uh, it does say. Oh, there it is on the shirt. Sure, right there. Is that Phil Diaz behind her? It is. He right. posed now, for it. Sent me photograph. Now, another another serious question because it's not like I go scroll through your campaign daily. Mm -hmm. Did you just add the t-shirts like within a few months or something? They weren't always up there, were they? Yeah. The oh, great okay. thing about this campaign, unlike all my other campaigns, is actually everything was done by the time I list, I, I brought the campaign, started the campaign. So I, that's awesome. Everything has been there since the beginning. <clears throat> and the great thing about the t shirts is I don't have to uh, end early uh, because I have a, um, I'm, the, cause since these books are bigger, right? They're going to ship in a bigger box, which actually the t shirt can fit inside. So I'm not shipping the t shirt separately. I can oh, nice. put them in with the book. So that's really sort of helpful. That's really cool. And uh, then you've got an eight and a half by 11 Kit Carter sketchbook. Um, Gorgeous. The big movie that. poster. This is the color guide for the movie poster, but you can see the layout here. And uh, when are you going to be painting on that? Um, 
I better start soon. Uh, <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I got one more. I got one Gorgeous. more uh, painting. Oh, this is hold on. Yeah, make that big like I am. There we go. This is just the acrylic underpainting for this kind of like a quick red Sonia thing. Just a. This will be my third acrylic painting. I'm, I'm starting to kind of get the feel for it because I think I'm going to do the movie poster in acrylics. So I just Aaron, want to do one more warm up. What are you painting that on? Is that just Bristol? What is that? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm actually concerned, uh, wow. Aaron. That's not in mint condition. Well, no, it is because nine point four. Yeah, this is what the, that's what the, okay. uh, the, the paint did to the board. Four, Forty three dollars confirmed. But he, here's my question. Let me finish so that, it first. That's oh. two. That's just two ply Bristol. You're painting that on. Mm -hmm. Why aren't you taping it down to the board so it doesn't war? Thank you, Andy. Because uh, I don't care enough. My the these are just like care. Care. these are just like beautiful. It's just a warm up, right? These are just tests. I'm just like yeah. I've done two already on that that same board, and you know, once. Well, once what are you painting done, this one on? The actual poster. Oh, I, that's going on really nice. Uh, it's either going board. on. It's probably going on canvas actually. Well, oh, it okay. should, uh, and because you know, uh, when when it's on heritage years from now, we want it right. to be in pristine condition. That's right. <laughs> exactly. We're going to be analyzing it. What did he use? What kind of? Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, Aaron. Uh, well, I mean, Gary too. You guys are you guys are older gentlemen than Dan, Dennis, and I. So years from now, when I pull it up on heritage and we're we're really going through it, and you guys are looking down on us. Uh, <laughs> You know. With uh, Andy, we looked down on you already. That was going to true. I feel that is, I felt that coming. I felt that coming. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like that. Oh, mm -hmm. Ryan Blevins is back throwing shade. Aaron oh, Presti's tests are like full fledged shade. masterpieces. He's sick. Give him a break. He is sick because he doesn't even know how to spell fledged. Um, <clears throat> uh, but no, okay. I mean, I finished these. I stick them in my portfolio, my sketch portfolio, and they flatten out. So no, I know. Have you are you putting those up for sale out of curiosity or what are you doing? Oh yeah, Every, hey, come on, hey, Andy, everything. Hey, Aaron, Aaron, why did I even ask? Hey, that? Hold on, Aaron. Aaron, when you said you didn't care and I said, "Oh no," Art yeah. Roy, Art Roy felt the same thing I did. He says for sale, so never say you didn't care. Uh, uh, you don't say that. Don't ever say that, man. And do do I? I'm reading a Bible plan right now. Uh, that is uh, that at the end of the day, if we want to do a good job, we, we should be working for Jesus. I know that sounds crazy, but um, always well, care. No, I'm not. I didn't mean I didn't mean I didn't care about yeah. the artwork because I do. Obviously, I put time and effort into it to make it as good as I possibly can. Well, it sure looks like it. But yeah, it's beautiful. I uh, I don't care if the paper curls up is kind of what I was saying. You know what? There's a trick. And I'll tell you, because uh, there was a while I couldn't afford really good watercolor paper. So I was doing it on cardstock. And what I found that uh, even after it curled up, when I put a couple of pieces of paper down and used a hot iron, that I was able to uh, to get it all situated again. If I may, something else works too. Let me show you this. Yeah. It's a steamroller? Now, um, when I did this one, this was well, the first one I did. Full screen. Yo, that's gorgeous. I remember seeing that on Facebook. Yeah, exactly. I saw that. On I did. Yeah. Holy smokes, I thought that was twice the size. No, it's really? nine by 12. Great, dude. It, and so, what is that on? Same stuff? Exact same paper. Why is this flat? I accidentally spilled a tub of water on my drafting table and it soaked this. I Holy freaked shit. out and I realized it was acrylics and went, oh. Okay, oh. it's not going to bleed. And then I went and set it down, let it dry, and it dried completely flat. So if you what? accidentally spill a tub of water on your painting, it will flatten your paper out. Well, okay, so here's the question. Somebody says, show the Conan one. So I'll okay. leave you large while you do that. Is it vellum or smooth surface? Uh, vel uh, vellum. Isn't vellum and smooth the same? No. Oh. Vellum is textured smooth is smooth. Oh. Now, see, Aaron, this is where you messed up on that one. I even Ooh. said when it was in pencil, if you turn that into core draft, I could possibly use it. But you decided <laughs> not. <laughs> well, can't isn't acrylic opaque? Yeah. So give him a haircut. Well, he yeah, needs a haircut, a shoulder it. pad. It's easy. It's opaque. Just go on top of it. But see, look at look at this is pretty flat. And I, I just put it in my portfolio and it just from the weight of the other stuff sitting oh, on it. Cool. It, it, that works. It's pretty flattened out. So yeah, yeah that's cool. 
Now, so the underpainting, I assume the underpainting you're doing is acrylic as well, right? Yeah, it's just watered down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I use it more like, like oh, a watercolor. Here you go, Aaron. Yep. We already got sales. Well, we need a little bit more than that, Mickey, uh, for those wow. paintings. I got hours into those paintings. But um, anyway, so this is going to be, well, I'll show you right now. I've got the, the printout. This is how big the finished painting is going to be. All right, full screen. Oops. Oh, yep, cut her in half. So this is the finished that I'm going to light table on to the, the canvas. How? So pretty, And there's going to be bleed around it, obviously. Yeah, wait a second. How are you going to light table that onto canvas? You, you mean stretch canvas? Or what do you well, do? Okay, I'm sorry. You you can actually put it down on the on the light table, the canvas, and like tape this to the back of the canvas because it's right. inside. Oh, and the, the light, the light oh, will pop up the in frame. There. Okay, but uh, yeah, I I misspoke. I'm going to transfer it onto the canvas. So you rub school. some graphite on the back. Yeah, and exactly. Then That's how I'm going to do on. it. Okay, okay. And then I'll do like um, then I'll ink it basically with burnt sienna uh, acrylic. And then, so all the line stuff is there. And then I will do a, the background painting will be uh, all orange, kind of like this, this dude right here, be all orange. And so we basically have sort of this orange blue complementary thing. And then of course her suit will end up being blue and everything, but my back, my underpainting is all going to be orange on it. Now, so. can I make it? So I know what you, I understand what you're saying when you say ink it with, you know, acrylic mm -hmm. burnt sienna. Mm -hmm. Another option that might be easier because, you know, watering down the acrylic, it's, I, I mean, you've just been doing it over the past few weeks, but <clears throat> it's just using burnt sienna ink that's waterproof. And then it's already has the consistency like you're inking. And that's true. Won't. Yeah. Yeah. I could get, to, I think actually, I think I have a jar of that brown ink in there from like, 20 years ago that I never opened up that um, the waterproof India ink. That's like, yeah, uh, you might want to experiment with that. Cause that would be a hell of a lot easier than watering down acrylic enough to, you know, get that, uh, ink. that, uh, ink -like it's flow. consistency you need. Right. But it's, it's more of a loose, it's kind of like I did on this. I mean, I, I ink her with, uh, All right, with hold on. acrylic. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get it. It's yeah. loose. You know what I mean? No, I'm, I'm not like, I'm thinking about that Ghostbuster song again. Busting makes me feel good. Okay. So anyway, <clears throat> but anyway, so there's the campaign. You can also get uh, uh, laser. You like you know, if you're selling the two piece drawing you just so showed, and how much? Oh, the drawing. The drawing's yeah. like this big. No, mm. no, the I'll uh, use Xeroxed it up. The drawing yeah. for the painting. Okay. The painting is oh. going to be a lot when oh, I get it but, done. But, but, but. Mickey's asking, uh, she thought that, or, or, I'm assuming Mickey's a she, uh, yes. th that uh, she thought that two-piece thing was your original, but what you had done is taken your a layout and blown it up to be that big. Right. Yes. But, but the original is how big. Would you consider selling Literally, that, uh, consider selling the pencil uh, your um, layout? But yeah, I probably will once I get the painting done. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. But I can't remember if it's in if it's in a book or if it's not. It's laying around here someplace. I got to find it. <laughs> but it's in one of my flat files here. But yes, Art Roy is asking, uh, can I get a scan of that, Aaron? I think I can paint that in a Drew Struzan style at half that size. Well, I can get you a scan of it after I'm done. I don't right. want. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you want you no influences? No influences? Yeah. Yeah. No, I understand that totally. When you're done, yeah, sure. Well, I don't want him posting his finished version versus my finished version and people going, well, which one is the one that's going to be on the, you know, there gets confusion oh, yeah. that I can certainly, if you want to mess around hey, with it. Can I, I color one right now? Huh? Can I color one and post it tonight? <laughs> no. Is it going to be one color? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, we're never going to get through this. Uh, Wait, so it's going to look like the paper then. How are we going to tell it's color? Mm-hmm. I was thinking of doing it in like a monochromatic black and white and be very faithful <laughs> to the line art. 
Uh, anyway, so okay. you got Garbage Man, Power Cube, Trade Paperbacks. You can get the second printing of Wraith of God number one or the first printing of Wraith of God number two. All four covers are available. On this campaign. So there's all that good stuff in there. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Thank Beautiful. you, Andy. guys. Definitely go back it. Um, Mickey says she's looking out. Okay, so Aaron, hold up the actual pencil piece so she knows because it's not two pieces. Yeah, those two pieces are Xerox copies. Or you don't uh, know where it is, Aaron. Yeah, I'm not sure where it's at right now. So so what he <laughs> held up was just a printout uh, that he made God. larger. The actual pencil sketch for for the painting is on one piece of paper smaller. Actually, like, you know what? It's it's eight and a half by eleven, I think, actually, on a like a piece of 20 pound copy paper, now that I think about it. <laughs> What the? When did you do that? <laughs> he did it about five minutes ago. No, he's <laughs> Gary is fast. <laughs> hey, did you use reference to do that? How Gary? hard is it to draw an angry me? Well, I Not was gonna, that. I, I was going to say, how did he get a picture of you on the toilet? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you would be surprised what you can find on the internet. And no. the fact that you outed Aaron for only having three fingers on that one hand, I mean, that's not cool. He was oh. trying to hide that his whole life. Oh, oh, put that Wait hand down. I take it back. It isn't for sale because there was a perk on here where all the prelims associated with this campaign, someone bought already. So that uh, gets to go with the rest. Of, so whoever that bought prelims the, for the book, not the original the art perk. The yeah, yeah, I remember, Aaron, you mentioning that. that, that that's right. So it's yeah, yeah. back with the... Uh, so whoever backed that gets right. all the prelims and stuff for the associated with the campaign. Awesome. Sorry. If only Aaron was smart, he would have said, but I can do a new one. <laughs> I can do lots I can of say, things. I can send you a signed copy with a little remark on it. Yeah, yeah they'd be exactly the same. They're just different prices. <laughs> <laughs> See, I get it now because I didn't understand that different thing. But now that I know it was about that Star Trek book, that was <sighs> good. that's right. Solid. That's right. Andy, congrats, right. man. Yeah, guys. Uh, thank you so much, Aaron. Uh, thanks, thanks for sharing that. Go back, Kit Carter. Of course. Thank you, guys. We're at uh, 10,184, 140 nice. backers. I'll hit awesome. refresh one more time. But I just did and saw that, so I doubt it'll change. Oh, oh it no! did. It ruined your OCD. Oh, my One, goodness. 10, Thank you, everybody. 10,224. Nice. This is excellent. Thank you excellent. guys so much. Uh, I love Queen Mickey. Does my name look like Dennis? It doesn't. No. Nope. Thank God you don't either. My God. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, um, apparently you would look like evil uh, Mirror Universe Dennis as well. <laughs> Or evil, no. evil mirror universe Mickey, you know, with the goatee. Oh, uh, Paul, Mickey. you have a good evening as well. We are, yeah, we are going to sign off. Thank you, everybody that joined for the past five hours. Thank you so much, and thank you deeply for uh, for helping me get this book out there. I love doing stuff like this. I I'm a huge fan of art books. I've got a ton of them. And uh, I just, whoa, I love whoa, doing this whoa. stuff and getting it out we, to you guys. We got one last thing to do. Like fire tonight. I don't even know. Let me see if I can even find it. It's on YouTube. Remember, you got to drink a shot. You promised everyone a shot. Oh, I did, didn't I? What, what kind sure of shot? Did. Like a Ghostbusters song shot or like? Uh, oh, like hold on now. Hold on. I'll do this. I'll do one. Hold on. I got to, I got to just get up and grab it. So while I do that. He's Dennis, missing. try to be entertaining for once. Hey, Dennis, is this the drink you taught, taught him to make called the salty noggin? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, okay. That was you guys. When I, I'll tell you, when I walked in and uh, you were, because you stayed over at Andy's house and yes, I came I did. in that morning, you both looked like you were up like all night and drunk hey. and they were. Donuts I and all this stuff. I I just had to turn around and walk back. I never out. knew that I was that flexible. That's that. You know. <laughs> I can hear you. Well, you that said to be entertaining, I so I thought I would just tell the truth. Well done. Hurry up, well Andy! Done. I'm gonna miss the uh, early bird special at IHOP. Oh my god! Uh, you already have. Just chill. I gotta. <laughs> <clears throat> Gary, where are, you, where are you located? I literally, here, I'll just show you what I'm doing. Vancouver, Washington. 
Oh, nice. Here, hold on. I'm not that far from You might get to see me cut myself. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hey, look, it's my avatar. No, I. so I've got this. Is that your peanut butter? No, this isn't. Oh. This is... Uh, that this looks like a sports is, ball. Uh, bourbon. Oh, sports ball. This is bourbon. We got it actually uh, in upstate New York, and I just love the decanter that it's in the football. That's awesome. So uh, I, I've never opened it. This is... Uh, well, this is literally the first time I'm opening this. Andy, so I, I, want you, I want you to take a shot, then say, give me the bourbon or give me the brandy. That's what it is. Give me the brandy. I don't even hey. know what that's from, but I'll say it. How about, how about this one? Would you like some bourbon to brush your teeth with? All right, let me get a shot. Right. The brandy. Come on, Dennis. You don't know that what that's was... from? Oh, I wasn't listening. Sorry, I was looking something up. Yeah, that, the, the bourbon to brush your teeth is a, a Sean Connery line. I never heard give, that before. Who Brush said, okay, who said this? Give me the brandy. Give me the brandy. You just did. Yeah, Aaron Lepresti. I have a shot glass. We, we saw him do that's, it. That's Star Trek, The Enemy Within. Gosh. How, Green Lantern shot glass. Awesome. You know what that oh, does? Is Levins it, is here. Is it you want takes, to give me to a takes, shot. What's up, it, Levins? What's up, Levins? You, sh you showed up in time to watch Andy drink. How's it going? I did Evans. So, oh, boy. So, so Dan Evans. here, I'm going to show you something real quick. Oh, remember that is. Mm. Remember how we were uh, looking for that flavored uh, Tennessee whiskey? Yeah, the peanut butter one, right? Okay, yeah. check this out. Look at what we found for our next road trip. Wow. Bourbon ball, mint What's chocolate that? chip, cookies and cream. It's all the same company. Mud yeah. pie. Salty caramel. Oh, Aaron, you'd like that one. It's salty. And uh, mango habanero, salty watermelon. Oh, I tried that mango one. Cinnamon. Check these out. That pecan looks uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cookie I know. Meal, I, peanut I know. butter, amaretto. There's the peanut butter, I, yeah. Dennis, I know why you like these, because they all taste the same. <laughs> Dude, peanut yeah, butter whiskey nice is so one of good. More. Yeah, it ate. Paul Taylor, Andy, let me try some of that peanut butter whiskey, and I was I was a little uh, suspicious of it myself. I, now I want a bottle, but I can't. Yes, but what do you mean the, can't the one oh, with right. chocolate is yeah. no longer made. I verified that. Here we all go. Right, Thank Here you all is. for uh, getting it to uh, ten thousand figures, baby. Congratulations. Congrats, Thank you very much. Shoot! 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 Woo! Ah, give me the brandy. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> give me the brandy. Oh. Woo! Give <laughs> me the brandy. That uh that's lighting me up. That burns, baby. Woo! Well, Andy's not getting up Cheers, tomorrow, buddy. Morning. I know, Buffle, really. Buffle I mean, I'm shot. a lightweight when it comes to alcohol like this. You gotta drink it all to get a touchdown, I think. <laughs> Woo! Nah. Yeah, I drink as much as Dennis. You probably would. You yeah, probably would. If you switch it you know in your hey, mouth for what, five what, seconds, it makes it burn less. <laughs> See, Dan, I told you when you were here in February, if you would just swish it in your mouth for five seconds, <laughs> but it Andy, would burn less. But I don't know how to swish it in my eyes, and that was the problem. Oh, right. Yeah, you can't really oh, swish God. it when it gets in your eyes. So, oh, well. Could you guys well, say, guys. Uh, uh, hold on. I, I got one more thing. Andino, if you did have a road trip with Andy and Dennis – you're going to have to have some corn nuts. Just saying. That's right. By the way, I brought them for you this last time because, you know, that is my uh, traveling mix of choice. Yeah. Because Dan likes corn. the nuts in his mouth. That's all I do. Is. No, yeah, when, I did. when Dennis and I drive to a show, he cannot resist uh, having salty nuts in his mouth. That's oh, true. Dang. I'm into cornography. Uh, I hear you. What is all this? All right. Here we go. Listen carefully. I hope you guys can hear this. I can't hear it. Oh, <laughs> I heard it. Wow. Uh, yeah. You know what? Evil Kirk. Listen, never in my lifetime have I grabbed a person by the back of their neck and gotten and their said, face. Give me the brandy. Not one it's time. good times. It's good times. You, Usually he says, give me the whiskey. No, mm. it's give me the brandy. Give me the brandy. He likes it sweeter. Mm. He's, it's, it's the evil Kirk, man. It is. It is. The, the split Kirk. That's right. 
Nope, Dennis likes salty nuts and five guys in his mouth. I mean, I'm just saying. Oh, my gosh. Jesus. Jesus. I heard he'll even do the old in and out, you know? Oh, he, oh my God. He loves in and out. He likes he'll, in more than out. Though. <laughs> this is literally the entire thing. <laughs> All right. I'm going to break down and contribute to this uh, uh, motif. Nice. Aaron, do you remember the the, the, the hamburger place around here? In- Northwest, it was called Hot and Now. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> she wants it hot. She wants it now. Yeah. And, it didn't and, last very long, though. It was, it was, it was quick. She'll go to Wiener Schnitzel depending on the dog's size. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't need drinks anymore. I'm uninhibited. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's oh, all Andy man. needs is to, you know. Be yeah, more I uninhibited. Has an in, inhibit button period. Yeah, yeah it is like still, all the time. Yeah, Mark he, Kilgrew can vouch. He's he's been there yeah, as if I. It's a, a nonstop uh, throwdown, and then then I'll come in and uh, you know be uh, Andy's brethren. But like like uh, Dennis right. said, we kind of we kind of share the same uh, sense of humor slash joke mind. No, it's it's, it's the true. same brain. You literally share a single brain. <laughs> That's right. All right, Damn, we Mike actually have gone up again, 10,306. Thank you wow. all so much for making this close it's out. It's another shot. Fun. It's another uh, shot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Shot, Fine, shot, I'll do shot, one shot, more. Shot, 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 shot. It's Friday night, And uh, by the way, everybody watching, tomorrow night, uh, I think it's around 7 o'clock, Graham Nolan. Nolan's doing a closeout oh my for, uh, for his uh, campaign. Yeah. of return return, Monster, Island. Monster Island and Return to Monster Island. So be sure to subscribe to Graham's channel so you get the notification. That's right. And uh, I'll be popping on for a little while for that. And hopefully may, some of these yeah. other fellows sure, will too. Make sure if you get a chance, tell the people you love that you love them. That's right. And okay, fine. One more shot. I love you guys. Oh, did you do this? Oh. I just meant... I just missed the shot. Can you do it again? I literally just missed it. Yeah. Uh, no, Brian, I cannot. Blevins, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, watch it on the replay. Come on. Yeah, Blevins, you can buy me one in uh, South Carolina. How's that? South Carolina. Wait, are you yeah, coming yeah. to SE Con? Brian? Yeah, I am. Yes. I am be there yeah. yes. I'll see you, man. I'll, I'll finally get and, to see you. And That's I'm great. also going to be at Heroes Con, too. Yeah, awesome. he is. Awesome. Hi, Boo. How are you doing? All right, guys. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. Thank you for getting this book. I'm getting it to the printer next week. Until next time, we'll catch you guys later. Check out uh, Kit Carter, uh, Monster Island. Gary's going to be shipping his book soon. Hope you got it. Uh, Dennis and I are going to be really pedal to the metal on Cordrath. And Blevins, well, you know, he's just a cool guy from what, you know, Dennis tells me. So uh, oh, yeah. until then, bye-bye, everybody. I love you. Have a good sleep, okay? Nice and tight. The comic book pencil art of Andy Smith. That's me. This book features 52 pages of some of my favorite full pencils that I did for other companies over the past two decades. The raw pencils as they were seen by the inker and now you can see them for the first time. This book also comes in a digital format so you can practice your inking in your favorite program. Back it today.